Yeah, we spit and then we getting it, and then we getting this money, and we getting this money, and we getting it, and we getting this money, and we getting it, and we getting this. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to We Want Picks. My name is Jacob, aka the Freckled Salamander, here to bring you my live stream for UFC South. Follow Brazil, and we are excited and cannot wait to get this night started. It is going to be a night of pure bliss, money making action, and maybe some baby making in the process. Let me just start off by saying right now, as you can see, we're back on the layout, back on our PC. PC should be fixed. I say should be fixed, and we're going to assume it is fixed, but I will say right now, I was sitting here listening to some music about 10, 15 minutes ago, just hanging out, just really just trying to get in the zone for the stream, and then all of a sudden, the PC just randomly just restarts for no reason. Didn't give me any errors, didn't give me anything, just restarts. It seems like it's good to go now, so maybe it just needed a little bit of a kick before the stream started, but we are on the, uh, I mean, this is like a fucking... Like a over two thousand dollar PC I bought. It's been going to shit. There was a memory car or memory core broken on it. The graphics card went out. I've sent it back and forth to this place in Ohio. They sent it back. This is the first stream live with it since we've getting it gotten it back. It seems to be running fine, but uh, we'll see what happens. Let's keep our thoughts and prayers with the PC, not only with the PC. But also with all the fighters on the card tonight, let's make sure everyone stays healthy, stays good. We don't want any nonsense on tonight's card. But how is everyone doing, man? Rent's due tomorrow, and let's send you to Brazil. $1.99 from Stoic Sand to get us started off right. We appreciate that, man. I'm excited to be here, man. How's everybody doing? I'll be honest. I, I, how many people are like me today in the fact that I, I've just been sitting here, man? I, I'm, I was, like, so used to, I guess, like, the earlier start times, and I really enjoy, like, the 3 p.m. Right now, it's 4.30 uh, Central Time in Central Time. I've been really enjoying like the the 3 p.m. start times and stuff. It feels like today has just been fucking dragging on. I did wake up early, woke up about 7 a.m., went and got breakfast with the puppy, came back, went to the gym. I mean, obviously went to the gym. I'll put on some size now, man. I'll tell you what, I'll put on some size now. And let me tell you this, too. I didn't have on this hoodie, but I have two Brazil hoodies. By the way, is everything looking good, sounding good, everything, everything good? I, I, everything should be good, but I just want to make sure. But anyway... I had another uh, Brazil hoodie on today at the gym. That's my new strategy moving forward. As far as like trying to pick up a Brazilian female in my life, I think the way to do it is just let them know, hey, this is what I'm looking for. So I got a couple hoodies, obviously oh, for the stream, but yeah. obviously for other things as well. Um, so my, my new strategy is wear Brazilian stuff to the gym because that's really all I go to, right? I work from home. I do everything at home. I never really go out. I go, I go to the gym and I want to find a little gym honey. You know what I mean? So my new strategy is to wear Brazilian shit to the gym so they see it and they're like, oh my God, oh my God, I am from Brazil. I am from Brazil. And they're not going to sound like that because they're Brazilian, but that's the only way I can... They're gonna, it's going to be kind of like that, but with the Portuguese accent, Portuguese accent. So they're going to be like, oh my God, I used to live in Brazil. And I'm going to be like, oh my God, you're coming home with me. That's the new strategy. But today, today I had on my Brazilian hoodie. I'm minding my business. You know, I'm obviously, obviously when I'm in the gym, eyes are on me. Right, I mean, I'm a, I'm a celebrity status. I'm the salamander. I walk in the gym. Everyone's looking at me. To, at me. But today, in particular, there was a gentleman. Okay, I'm wearing my my Brazil. Also says Brazil on it. Just Brazil with the Brazilian flag, much like this one, but it's black and it says Brazil with the S instead of the Z. I'm minding my own business. You know, rocking. It's arm day today. A uh, Saturday arm day for the girls. Right, the gym is packed on Saturdays. Arm day every Saturday morning. We got to get juiced. I'm sitting there minding my own business, curling. I, I, mean, I got 75s, right? I'm just curling some 75s, minding my own business. It's, it's a light day. It's a light day. So I'm just hitting the 75s. I see a motherfucker walk by. This guy's got on A. Everyone look at me. I do jujitsu, right? He has that 
rash guard on, right? And I'm sure you guys have seen the people in the gyms. If you guys go to the gyms, I'm sure there's got to be somebody that you go to that gym where it's like, hey, everyone, no matter what they're doing at all times of the day, at all times when they're in a public place, they want everyone to know, hey, I do jujitsu. Hey, I do jujitsu. This guy's at the gym with his jujitsu rash guard on, right? It's got the jujitsu stuff all over, whatever. He's walking by and he gives me a little side eye like this because he sees the hoodie, right? He sees the Brazilian hoodie and he knows that I know that he knows that I know a fuck ton about jujitsu. I've never taken a jujitsu class in my, in my life. I've never rolled with anyone, but I'll tell you right now, you fuck with me. You get in my guard? Or, I mean, not my guard. I'm not, I'm not pulling guard, right? I'm not, I, there's no way I, I'm the one on the bottom. This guy, probably five foot four. I'm going to say 140 pounds. You could tell this guy was a leg lock guard pulling specialist. If this guy, if I got in this guy's guard, if anybody, if, if, if I get in anybody's guard at any point, you, got, you better fucking pray to God that we have a safe word between me and you. You understand that? If I am in your guard, full guard, guard closed, whatever it is, if I am in your guard, you better pray to God that we have established a safe word before the guard game gets started because I'm coming for punishment. And once I see red, I'm one of those dudes, man. Once I see red, there's no stopping me. But this guy was giving me the eye, going through the gym with his little jujitsu rash guard on. He saw that I had the Brazilian stuff on. He understood I didn't even look at them. That's the key here. When they're looking at you, you know that you know they're looking at you. I look right fucking through that nerd. He wanted some. I could tell he wanted some. I could tell he wanted some, but he, he listen. I don't give out pieces. I don't give out slices. If you want me, sweetheart, you gotta take the whole pie, baby. You gotta take that whole pie. How's everyone doing though? Scale of one to ten. I, 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 I don't know what. I, I this. I'll tell you right now. This stream is fueled by Monster. I've been waiting around all day. I've been sitting here twiddling my thumbs. We're starting to get a little bit lazy. We're, we're fueled by Monster, so we're gonna have some tangents today. Mister Rax is here. Let's get a, a really quick roll call here, and then we'll we'll start looking at bets because we have lock of the week on the first fight. Of the night. Oh. oh. Let's get a roll call right now, man. If you guys are in the chat, if you guys are here to have fun, make some money. First of all, like the stream if you haven't liked the stream already. Second of all, I need to, I need to hear from you now, man. I need to hear from you now. Mr. Rax is always in here bringing all the energy, all the plays for us. Ignacio always in here. Kale's in here. Stefan is always in here. D, as always, is always in here. Joseph, Sneak Attack, Zach, Andrew, Michael Leahy. We've got Bob McCanty, Charger Dad, 210, Flip, JC, Sydney, Light Speed, Aaron, Jordan, Javier, Tanner, Rob, Torque, Gage, Gucci Kai. Yo, what's up? Gu Yo, Gucci Kai. Gucci Kai, man. Your mom hadn't reached out, man. I've been trying to reach out, man. Gucci guy, your mom in. I mean, she's not she reaching out, man. I'm trying to be your stepdad, man. Gucci guy, come on, man. You know, I, you know, if I was your stepdad, yo, I mean, get what? What was I doing last night, Gucci guy? And tell and and tell me, and tell me that you're not interested in this. And tell who else was doing this as well. And I don't want to hear anything when I say what I was doing last night. Okay. I don't want to hear any back talk. I don't want to hear any, uh, uh, or any like, of course you were, any like this, okay? You know what I was doing all night last night? Guess. Just somebody guess in the chat what, what I was doing. Somebody, <laughs> Rick Sanchez says another man. That was not last night, no. Just guess what I was doing. I mean, all night last night. Jerking off? No, it's no nut November. Come on, get it together. N -n no nut November. Rewatching Seinfeld? I have never seen. There's two shows. Uh, there's a lot of shows, obviously, but two popular shows that I have never watched in my life. I've never watched more than 30 seconds of Seinfeld and Friends. 
I've never watched either one of them. I have no idea. Seinfeld, no thanks. Friends, from what I've heard, isn't even funny, but people love it. You know, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. But yo, Quint's in here, man. Quint knows what I was doing last night. Nobody knows what I was doing last night, man. Ooh. Guys, and this is why, and this is, yo, Gucci Kai, and this is why I'd be a great stepdad. I'd be a great, I'd be a great stepdad to anybody who's got a mom in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I'd be a great brother-in-law to anybody that's got a sister that's in her 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I mean, you guys got to put in a word in. What I was doing last night, Gucci Kai, and this could have been me and you all night long, Gucci Kai, if I was your stepfather. I would, I would, I would, you would hear me leave your mother's bedroom, close the door. I just put her in the bed. She, I just put her to bed. She's going to be well rested. She's, gonna, she's, she's knocked out for the count, right? I mean, she's feeling good. Took care of her. I'm walking into your room. Now it's just me and you, Gucci Kai. You know what we're doing all night long, Gucci? Fortnite, baby. We're playing Fortnite, baby. That's it. That's what I was playing all night long, man. OG Fortnite is back. OG Fortnite is back, baby. Hell yeah. I was on that Fortnite shit. When Fortnite came out, when was it? 2000, 2017, 2018 or whatever. It came out like in August or something like that. September. I'm in there. I've been a day one Fortnite. It got the game got away from us, right? I mean, they brought back the zero build. I came back a little bit for the zero build type stuff, and then it just got too a little too crazy. And the maps were like this. OG Fortnite is here, and I've been running all night long. And that could have been me and you, Gucci Kai. I just need an introduction. All I need is an introduction to any female. It's over, baby. <laughs> it's over. This is weird. Turned off. We'll be seeing you. Your name is fucking like 25k gaming and you can't even appreciate some Fortnite talk? Get the fuck out of here, pussy. Too old for Fortnite? <sighs> Never too old for Fortnite, man. I'm feeling good though, man. I, I think this is going to be a good stream. This should be a fun, entertaining car. There's no doubt about that. UFC Sao Paulo. I'm excited for it. You know, I got the Brazilian flag behind us. I'm repping Brazil until I die. It's crazy that the next time that the UFC goes to Brazil... I'll be there. And not only will I be there, I'll be in somebody's corner. And I think we all know whose corner that will be. I might even be somebody's fiance in somebody's corner the next time the USC goes to Brazil. So I'm excited for this card. It should be fun. We'll see if it ends up being chalk. It feels like it could be chalky, but there's some favorites that are a little bit wishy-washy. We do have lock of the week on the first fight of the night. That is cool. Somebody type in the chat. Somebody type in the chat fanatically Kuai Kawi is it Kawi I think it's Kawi Kawi Fernandez he's my lock of the week I have no idea I think is it Kawi or cool I think it's Kawi is it Kawhi Leonard we're we gonna call him Kawhi is it Kawhi oh god I think we're just calling Kawhi man I mean Kawhi is a fucking Kawhi is a, is a winner Kawhi is a killer. He's a silent assassin. We had Mark run in his mouth, right? If, did you guys see Mark at the at the uh, official weigh-ins? This is what you don't do. And these are the people. How many times have we seen people act like Mark? Mark. Are we rocking with Mark? We're not rocking with Mark today. How many people, how many times have you seen people act like assholes and idiots at the ceremonial weigh-ins and get fucking put out bad? After they do it. That was Mark. Focus. There you go. I mean, he was all about it. Flipping off the crowd. The only thing he didn't do was like the suck it sign. Look at the girl in the background too. This is my favorite part. This girl in the background. She's like, oh no, sweetie. What are you doing? Look at her face. It focuses. Look at She's like, oh my God. Uh, she's like... Mm, ah, sweet, ah, ah, I wouldn't do that, sweetie. I think it's supposed to be the Brazilian flag in his in his hair. But listen, I mean, this how the, I mean this. I'll tell you right now how the lock leaks will play out. You got you guys want the uh, the intel? You guys want the script 
as they call it. This is going to play out. So Mark is going to come in and he talks a lot of shit, right? He talks the talk and he's this and this. I'm going to put on a show. The only fights that Mark really wins is when he just lays on somebody for 15 minutes. So putting on a show and I'm like the flashy guy. That's not who Mark is anymore. But I think in this fight, he's going to try and show off the striking. Here's how it's going to play out. Within a minute or minute 30 of this fight, Mark is going to get a little aggressive. He's going to get head kicked, right? He's going to get head kicked. He's not going to enjoy the head kick. He's really not going to enjoy that head kick. He might not get knocked out, but he's not going to, he's not going to enjoy it. And in that moment, he's going to decide, uh-oh, I need to wrestle. Now it is time to go back to my wrestling bullshit, and I need to get this fight to the ground. The issue is Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard, our boy, very good jiu-jitsu, very good jiu-jitsu. And Mark is going to take a telegraph shot, and he's either going to get guillotined, or is he, he's either going to get stuffed, swept, back taken, rear naked choke. All of this is going to happen within three minutes of the first round. He is going to get touched on the feet. He is going to panic wrestle. He is going to get either immediately submitted or swept, reversed, back taken, and then submitted in the first three minutes of the fight. And I can't wait to see it play out in real time. That is the lock of the week. How many people are on, on fucking Mark, by the way? Can you guys just let me know? Patrick Watson with the $1.99. Going to the Austin card by chance. Got a beer for you. I don't know. By the way, the odds just open or uh, updated for Kawhi. Plus 170 now. Money coming in on Mark as the line closes as we get closer to fight time. I don't know. It is only like a three-hour drive from Dallas. And the uh, the ticket seemed pretty uh, reasonable as of right now. It's a pretty good card, too. Is that the... Is it, it's hard, That's headlined by Armin and... Um, and dare use, right? And by the way, why is Armin guys? I I I'm an I'm an Armin hater, right? If you guys have followed us on the channel, if you guys have listened to my breakdowns about Armin, you guys know I'm an Armin hater. I am an Armin hater. I can't believe that Armin is a dog to dare use. I can't believe that Armin is a dog. I don't know if he still is. But he was a dog to Darius. I can't believe that shit. Because Armin should be the better striker. Darius has got power, but he's not really that good of a striker. He's got really good oh, takedown defense. Yeah. You know, Darius does. Obviously, we saw, we've seen that happen again. But he kind of got exposed a little bit to, uh, to Charles. I mean, you get in his face, you can hit him. You can hit him. And I don't like Armin, but he's, I mean, he should be the more well-rounded fighter. If he just keeps it standing, in my mind, Armin... I think he should just win the fight. Benio beats him like he did Gamrot. Gamrot's got no striking. Gamrot, Gamrot has got has no chin and really no striking. Like really no like technical striking. Armin's a good technical striker. Armin can box. Armin's a good boxer. Armin, Armin's a good boxer. So that's how that's just my initial reaction. I might change my mind. I haven't really looked at it. It's just my initial reaction was like I'm pretty surprised. It's a close fight. I don't think Armin's gonna smoke him, but I think Armin can definitely do enough over fucking five rounds to uh to, to hurt that guy and, and maybe wear him down and maybe start wrestling later but i don't know and i'm an arm and hater man i honestly am an, an arm and hater i i i don't like i'm not like a huge fan of Darius. i kind of like a hater of both of them honestly because i i said that gamer i was gonna smoke Darius and that didn't happen but always bet the underdog in the main event wait till this main event man Who? I'm, real, I'm feeling better and better about Derek Lewis. If you guys don't know, I am on the Derek Lewis side. And I'm feeling, uh, I was watching a lot of his highlights and some knockouts today and stuff. People underestimating the skill set of Derek Lewis. The guy knows what he's doing inside the octagon. I know he's like the one punch power guy, but he knows what he's doing. And people will be like, oh, he lost to Spivak. He lost to Spivak. Yeah, I mean, he fucking, he did. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he did, but uh, sometimes one plus one doesn't equal two to that to that extent. But uh, let's start looking at bets. Um, who's got the? Uh, hey, Quint, you want the chat bet for the first uh, first fight? You're in here early. We can get that going for you if you want. Become a premium member, by the way. It's only ten dollars a month. I don't know what you're doing. If you become a premium member, ten dollars a month. I mean, we're doing this stream next year. UFC, UFC Brazil stream next year, if you become a premium member right now, is in Brazil. We're doing this on the beach in Sao Paulo next year. If you become a premium member, that's how easy it is. 
$1.99 from Patrick. Again, Armin minus $150 if you go to Austin link at the event. Yeah, we'll, we'll let everyone know for sure. If me and Angelo go, we'll let, we'll let people know for sure. Armin's minus $150 now. That makes a little bit more sense. That seems more reasonable to me. Minus $125, minus $150. I wouldn't do anything more than minus $150, but, uh, you know, that's just how I see that fight. All right, picks real quick. Um, I am going Cowie. He is my lock of the week. First fight of the night, plus 170. Those odds have, they were down at like, weren't those, early in the week, weren't those at like plus 110, plus 105, something like that? Something like that. Um, so they've, they've got a little bit wider now. I don't know for whatever reason. Hopefully it's just dumb money coming out of Mark. Because usually when the public comes in and just starts backing somebody, the public's always wrong. But uh, Eduarda here, she's just absolutely huge. I like Ruiz. Ruiz is a good wrestler. She's so small, man. I mean, she's an atom weight. She's 105. She's going to struggle with the size of more, even if she knows what she's doing technically. You actually kind of saw that in the uh, Amorum fight. She knew what she was doing. She's just undersized. That's why weight classes exist. And Moore's a big girl, man. Uh, Denise Gomes, former lock of the week. I like her. I know a lot of people are on Angela Hill. I understand she's durable. She always makes fights close. I actually think that Angela Hill is going to get finished for the first time in her career tonight. We'll see how that plays out. Vitor. Vitor should win. I don't like Vitor. Honestly, he should smoke Modestus. He should not wrestle at all. He should just come through. Lay some big shots, and he should knock out Modestus in the first fucking, like, three exchanges if he wants to. If he starts wrestling early, fire his coaches. He should fire his coaches. Elvis, I like Elvis here. Um, if this was a full camp, I think this would be a lot more interesting. Probably does not go the distance is, a, is, a, is an interesting play, but Elvis, I mean, you know, Canyon, Canyon, Canyon is a uh, short-notice opponent. I actually had Rebovix as my original lock of the week, so if you guys are here for uh, Cowie, in uh, Kawhi, this is actually a backup lock of the week. Rebovix was my lock of the week. That fight dropped. Um, and Brenner is good. I just like Rebovix just a little bit better, especially in the striking, for sure. Uh, Renat, there's like this rumor circul circulating, circulating, um, that like Renat's like has an injury or something. I think it's like complete bullshit. I'm all over Renat on this one. I'm actually on the Rodolfo side here. Until Armin can show that he can defend takedowns, I can't trust him against a guy that can get takedowns. Rodolfo's got big, big physical takedowns, and Armin has got good submission defenses so far, especially against a guy like Cow or uh, Kyo. Rodolfo's next level, man. If Rodolfo gets him down early, I think he's going to be in big, big trouble. I like Rodolfo here. I know that's not a, like, a, a popular pick. Kyo, this is going to be interesting, man. Uh, Abus is very good. And a lot of people are against Abus because he lost to the champ and he, he blew his load and he's a quitter. And I agree with all those things. But this one could get very interesting very, very fast because like skill for skill wise, these guys are pretty even. Like these guys are pretty even skill for skill wise. I know Kyle's like a really, really high level grappler, but like in the striking, Abus is a better striker. It just comes down to gas tank and whether Kyle can get a takedown early. So... We might play a boost side on this one, live stream bets. I don't really know. Rodrigo, it's a rematch. I think he eventually he's going to get the takedown. He's shown that he's head and shoulders above Dante on the ground. So I like Rodrigo in this one. Gabriel, I like Gabriel. I think he should get it done early. Dolby, he is what he is. He's not a super dangerous guy. The longer the fight goes, it's going to favor him. But I think he's in trouble in this fight. And I am on Derek Black Beast Lewis. For the main event. I've been saying Jalton is overrated for a long, long time. I've been screaming that this guy has just been beating up on heavyweights that don't know how to fucking wrestle. He's got no striking. He's got no chin. He telegraphs everything. He can't set anything up with his hands. He's just going to be diving from across the octagon. And Derek Lewis is going to put this guy back to 205 where he belongs. And we're going to watch it right here. Are we back? Did it work? Did it work? I, I literally switched computers real quick. I have no idea if it's actually working again. Are we back? Oh my god, I think it's back. Hold on. Let me let me switch some stuff around. Oh boy. PC literally it just it just restarted randomly. I, I don't even have my stream up. I have nothing up right now. Hold on. Please hold. It might be laggy. Please hold. Hold on. Please hold. Oh, my God. All right. Jesus Christ. What a fucking disaster. Just PC just randomly stops. I switched computers. I'm on my old computer now. It's probably going to be laggy as fuck. But we're living. 
and I got to start the stream. Ho hopefully it's not, um, hopefully everything's not delayed right now, man. Holy shit. Or I mean, holy, uh, hopefully the stream is actually delayed. Holy fuck, man. What a fucking disaster. Hold on a second. All right. We got fucking this stuff up. Oh my God, dude. God, that shit fucking, fucking pisses me the fuck off. God, that shit pissed me the fuck off. $2,000 computer is supposed to be fucking fixed. Let me just make sure the stream, make sure this fucking fight's not starting right now. Oh my God. What a fucking joke. What a fucking joke. Absolute fucking joke. I'm literally so upset right now. I should have just kept it on this fucking... Unbelievable. All right, we're good now. We should be good now. We should be good now. I literally just switched computers on the fly, switched everything out as fast as I could. Has is, is the fight started yet? The lock of the week, the first fight. I'm just trying to get this going as fast as I can to make sure I don't miss the first fight, and then we're going to figure the rest of the fuck out. Jesus Christ. I knew the second that that shit reset on me, the second, the second that shit reset on me, as far as like right before the stream started, 20 minutes before it started, I was like, oh boy, this better not happen again. And of course, of course it fucking happens again. Oh my God, we had fights haven't started yet. All right, let me try and get everything set up. We got Dominic Cruz of Bisping. Thank God I got this stream back to starting because there's no way that you guys were going to listen to fucking Dominic Cruz and Michael fucking Bisping. The issue is, can I get this back? Holy fuck. I didn't even have time to like reset this computer and stuff. This might be a laggy stream, man. This might be a laggy stream, guys. I'll tell you that right now. We still got the Islam bets up. Oh my God. This might be fucking laggy as fuck. But we're going to see how it goes. I got to close some shit too. I got to close Discord. I got to start closing stuff on this computer because this computer doesn't really fucking it. handle it the way it used to, baby, sweetheart. Oh my God. It doesn't handle it the way it used to. Holy shit. I got to text Angelo. We kept it going, though. We kept it going. Through adversity, everyone... I mean, the way that we overcome adversity on this stream, that's just a tail, and I want to fucking punch a hole in my fucking... The issue is for this, that really is about to piss me the fuck off, is that I had music lined up. I'm going to see if I can add it right now. Can I add it during the stream? I, I got to add this, because I, I want I want this. I don't know if this might this might fuck everything up, but I don't give a fuck at this point. I want it. I want this so bad. I want it so hard in me because I did this special. Oh, this is going to work. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a little taste there. A little preview there. A little preview. We got to move it to the bottom. Okay, we got to move it to the bottom. Oh, you guys are ready for this? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We got to move this to the bottom. Oh, oh baby. I'm excited for this. Hold on a second. 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 Get Oh, ho, 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 ho. I had some Brazilian fucking music. I had some fucking Brazilian music that I wanted to play, queued up, ready to go. And I didn't put it on this computer because I didn't think we were fucking streaming on this computer. Didn't think we were streaming on this computer. Guess what? We got it loaded anyway. Load it up. Let's go. We're back, baby. It's laggy. Oh, it's not working. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Oh, I'm 
Pode começar! Turn it off. It will only turn. Okay. Oh, man. We're here. And we're living. And that's all that matters right now. It was almost done. It was almost out. My heart might give out. But we're here. We're going to see how long this stream lasts. See how long this computer lasts. Fuck. <laughs> Let me mix and master it for you. That's just one I found on, on YouTube. That's not me. I didn't make that. That should be copyright free Brazilian funk music. God damn. I'm, I'm dead. I got to type in these fucking premium bets and shit. What are we doing for the stream bet, man? Cowie by first round fucking domination. We're going to have a ton of time to kill, I think. I gotta make sure I gotta try and get this bet online up too. Alright, let's see if this is gonna work. Fuck. Oh my god. That was the I mean, as much as I was moving right there, that's that's essentially a a five round fight, what I just did right there. That's essentially a five round fight, what I just did right there. Alright, let me see if I can get this going. Uh, all right. All right. I think we might be good here. Let's do, I mean, we're feeling good, right? Are you feeling good? Fuck. Oh, I got Photoshop open too. We got to close that shit. Oh my God. Ashley, look at me. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Stream bet. Who wants to chat bet? I got to turn the air on or something. We got to go Cowie first round at least. First round no matter what. First round no matter what. Round one Cowie. I mean, easy. That's an easy 50 bucks to get the start to get started. 50 to win 300. Easy stream bet. It might not be first round. I pray to God it is. And I'm telling you right now, if this gets out of the first round. If this gets out of the first round. And we are all on the on the Cowie side, the Kawhi side. It might be time to, depending on how it goes, it might be time to panic just a little bit. He's a tough dude. But as far as like winning the fight, could be interesting. The worst case scenario for this fight is he gets taken down in the first 30 seconds. We don't want to see that. I hope that Mark tries to strike at this dude. I hope Mark tries to strike with this dude. Yo, Elizabeth, did you just show up? Because you just missed a crazy 10 minutes. The last 10 minutes have been fucking insane. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Stream bet. Let's go back here. Stream bet. We have Cowie. First round. That was 50 wins, 300. And I already got, by the way, guys, I'll be honest with you right now. And if you guys had joined the Discord, you, I think you kind of already know. I mean, lock of the week is locked and loaded for next week. If we win this one, I'm telling you right now, win or lose for this lock of the week this week, I'm a, I don't want to say it doesn't really matter. Obviously, we want to win. I, I want to win. This was a backup lock of the week, but I feel good about it. Actually, the very first bet I even placed for this card was on Kawhi, Kawhi, however we want to say it. I'm telling you right now, I don't think I'm going to lose another one until 2024. No matter what happens here today, I think they're I think they're gonna line up pretty nice for us. I think they're gonna li line up pretty nice for us. Ah shit, let me rewind. Yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, by the way, my PC, I'm on my laptop right now. The PC at five o'clock on the dot just fucking just shut off. And I warned the stream that that could happen. PC just randomly just restarts. 
I scramble around, I get the laptop out, I'm pl plugging in my microphone, I'm plugging in my camera to the laptop, I'm plugging in the wrong camera, I got like four cameras. But we're back, man. We're back, nothing can stop us, baby. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. Who wants to stream, Batman? I thought you got a new PC. Eric the Red, I got a PC. We streamed with the PC. It, it's worked before. The PC started acting up. I send the PC back to Ohio where I got it online from. They, they fix a memory cord. They say the PC is good to go. They send it back. I start trying to stream again. PC still doesn't work. They say, oh my God, the graphics card is busted. Let, let us fix it. I send it back to Ohio. They put a new graphics card in it. They send it back. I just got it back this week. I fire it up. It's been working fine. Yesterday, did a test stream. Worked fine. Was working fine all day today. 20 minutes before the stream starts, I'm sitting here listening to music, having a good time. The PC just randomly resets. And I'm thinking, uh-oh. But we're just going to roll with it. So I start the stream. We're rolling in. We get a half an hour in. Boom! Restarts again. We're in scramble mode. I'm sweating. And there's not an ounce on me that's not full of sweat right now. Fortnite killed your PC. I got that on Xbox, bruh. I'm not a PC nerd, motherfuckers. Xbox till I fucking die. I had a PS4. Went back to Xbox within three weeks. I got the Turtle Beaches. Come fuck with me on Fortnite, motherfuckers. Come fuck with me. See me on Salty Springs, motherfuckers. Shit. Yo, let me, it's for real. Let me go get a water and turn on the air conditioning. Cause I have like the windows open right now. It's only like it's like 75 out. I gotta turn on the air. Let me get a water real quick, and then the uh, lock of the week should be pretty pretty soon. So let me go do that real quick. I'll be right back. Let me play some music too. Should I play some music? I mean, fuck. Yeah, let's just play a little bit, like something like this. I'll be right back. <sighs> I see those Kawhi highlights, baby. I see those highlights, baby. I can't wait. You know what? I can't wait. I can't wait to type out this email. I can't wait to type out this fucking email that I'm about to send to these PC people. I'm going to restart that PC or reset it all. Factory reset and be like, I need my money back. Man, this is crazy. Crazy. I haven't gotten to the work. It's worked for like two streams. I bought this thing in motherfucking like July or something. Two grand I put in this thing. Here we go. Oh, I gotta get the timer up too. Hold on. Let me get the stream timer up. All right. Hopefully, I mean, we should be good on this computer. It might lag a little bit. We might have some lag issues. My stream itself, like the one that I'm watching, is probably going to restart every once in a while. But other than that, uh, we should be good. That, the fans are fired up already. Let me make sure the timer works real quick. Timer is good. Okay. All right. I'm restarting my ESPN stream. We're, hey, lock of the week, baby. Woo! Woo! Hope to get this done in the first minute. Like I said, I want to see a head kick. I want to see a, some panic wrestling out of Mark. Oh, man, I can't wait for this one. He's talking a lot of shit. If you guys didn't see, this dude, Mark, been talking a lot of shit. Not really talking shit, but this was Mark. This was Mark. And he's going to pay for these transgressions. I hope he does it again. I hope when he walks in right now, he does it again, flips off the entire crowd again. I'd love to see that shit one more time. Supreme Wrestling. Mark getting 33 takedowns? Nah. 
It's in Brazil. It's in Sao Paulo, baby. It's in Sao Paulo, baby. Ashley, look at me. All right, we didn't have a, a chat bet. We were scrambling right there, maybe. Holy shit. Mark ain't getting KO'd, maybe subbed. I think he's going to get hurt to where he panic wrestles and then gets subbed. But this dude, Cowie, has got some wild kicks, man. He's been fighting forever, too. This dude's one of those guys that's been fighting, like, his whole life. Taekwondo and Muay Thai and stuff since he was a kid. Jiu-Jitsu. It's good everywhere. I just hope it doesn't get out of the first round. I hope it doesn't get out of the first round. I'm excited for this one, though. This should be a good fight. I believe in you, Papa. Let's go, baby. Is that fake crowd noise they're pumping in? <laughs> Is that fake crowd noise they're pumping in real quick? Oh, no. They're, they're loud. Look at this guy. Woo! Dude, that place is like a main event. They all know it's lock of the week, man. Mark is going to smoke your boy. Get the fuck out of here. This guy's fucking locked in, man. This, play, this guy's fucking locked in, baby. Obrigado. Muito forte. Muito forte. Huh? Where's my Portuguese speakers at? This dude is muito forte. Muito forte. Let's go, baby. Cowie Cal actually seems a little crazy. He's a tough dude. That fight that he lost, that decision, he was dead tired. I mean, dead tired in the third round, trying everything he could to try and knock that dude out. He's wild, man. He's wild, baby. Where is babyface Angelo? I don't know. He was shooting doves all morning or some stupid shit. He thinks he's a tough dude. Goes out there and just walks a field. That place is bumping, man. Oh, watch that head kick. Muito forte, amigo, yeah. Obrigado. Yeah, they just chant, you will die. That's like the Portuguese chant. It's like mujer or something like that. Something, something, mujer, something like that. I think the chant is just like, you will die, which is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Angel getting ready for World War III. Listen, if, if World War III breaks out and all the supply chains run down and, and we, we got to start feeding ourselves, Angel's good to go. I'm going to Angel's house. We're eating doves the rest of our lives because there is billions of doves around here. And Angel is pretty good at sniping some fucking doves out of the air. So I'm just eating doves for fucking ever. Like the stream if you haven't already, man. Like the stream. Let's get some good luck, some good charms coming in for Lock of the Week. First fight of the night. And then we're going to carry this momentum, no matter what happens, into the rest of the stream. Get this out of the way early. Get that first win early. And we're feeling good about it. Fighting. I'm so fucking hot and bothered right now. I'm feeling good. This air is feeling good. What are the odds close at? Let's see if I can catch them real quick. I don't think they're live anymore. No, they're not live anymore. Does anybody know what they closed at? It was at minus two, 200 the last I saw for Mark. Might have been minus 220. Probably closing or something like that. Want to take bets on which fight Angelo shows up in the chat and jinxes the bet? He might show up on this one. He hates Lock of the Week, man. He's going to tell you that he always roots for it and it's good for the channel and Lock of the Week does well and this and that. He hates Lock of the Week. <laughs> he, I, I pro he hates Lock of the Week. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Kawa is what Bruce said. He said Kawa. Right here, Jonathan. Round one. I'm going to time it up. Come on, Kawa. Come on, Kawa. All right, here we go. Let's have some fun tonight. Oh, they're chanting now. Dude, if he, start, if he sparks them early, imagine. 
Mark's standing up kind of tall. There's those head kicks. I don't want him to catch a kick and get taken down. That's what I'm worried about early for Cowie. Is he, th is he throws a, a kick that gets caught and he's taken down early? Kind of like that. He was, he was almost caught with that one. Good leg kicks. This is good range. Laying in those kicks. See that first shot from Mark. I'm interested to see that first shot. Is he going to pretend like he's a striker? He's lowering his level. Oh, good elbow there. And Cowie can get, Cowie's got good offensive wrestling too. If he gets on top, he's dangerous. And he's got some decent trip takedowns. If I, if I was Fernandez, I literally would have pushed the offensive wrestling, put Mark on his back, get him uncomfortable. Because Cowie's a good grappler, especially if he's on top. So if I was Cowie in this, I would push the wrestling and try to end up on top. But this is good. He's looking strong in the clinch. He's been doing judo, too. He's good judo, so he should be pretty good in these positions. That's a good little, little toss there from uh, Mark, though. And this is what I didn't want. The first minute on his back. He should have a, a decently active guard, but, I mean, that was, some, that was a good toss there by Mark. And, in the, and this is what Mark wants to do, right? Just lay. He's looking for some hips. Stand him up, Jason. Stand him up. Stand him up, Jason. The guy's not doing anything. He's just laying there, Jason. Stand him up. Looking for an arm. Uh-oh. 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 Armbar sweep here. I'm going to plot a sweep here. There's Cowie. There's Cowie. Now watch the gas tank here. Don't get too crazy. There's those sweeps, though. There's that ground game. We love seeing that. Just get back to space, Cowie. Oh, man. This crowd is going to go crazy when he's about to land this head kick. I don't like this fight for Cowie with his gas tank. There we go. Get back to space. There we go. Shake it out a little bit. There we go. We like this. Mark did nothing with the takedown. Little question mark kick. Mark's looking a little unsure on the striking. Mark looks like he had a little adrenaline dump. Mark had a little adrenaline dump, I think. Good leg kick. This round is Cowie right now. Mark's done nothing but get a takedown and did nothing with it. There's a takedown for Cowie. Here we go. Here we go. Mark's out of his out of out of his out of his mind right now. Keep scrambling, keep scrambling, keep scrambling, keep scrambling. Fuck. Mark's done nothing though. I think this round is still Cowie's right now. If I'm Cowie, right now is where I start working. There you go. Right now is where I start working. You can tell Mark's trying to catch his breath. Boo. Look at this dude, Mark, just doing nothing. He's doing nothing. Good elbow. Good elbow. Mark's done nothing. He's done nothing. He's landed three body shots and all this all this control. He's so obsessed with just keeping the position because he's scared out of his mind. He's doing nothing. Look how low he is just trying to hold on to those legs. What a joke. There's no way that they give this to Mark this first round. Work, work, get back to your feet right now before the round ends and you can still win this round. Dude, Mark has done nothing this round except for lay on top. And this position, he didn't even get the takedown for this position. Cowie is the one that went to the ground on this position. Dude, he's done nothing. Dude, he's done nothing. But I do worry about Cowie's gas tank. 
A mark's on fucking nothing. Nothing. Let's see the live odds. The live odds should be in favor of Mark because he should have the better gas tank. But I mean, fuck, man. How many strikes did he land? Mark's minus 220, so it's basically the same as a fight started. What's the strike lines? Did that count as a takedown of Fernandez? It should have. But he, he kind of lost the position right away, so I'm not sure. That could be, in Brazil, I don't know how they're going to score that. I think most judges are going to give that to Mark for the control time, but in Brazil, and Mark really didn't, literally didn't do anything. It could be interesting. Cowie didn't do anything. I mean, Cowie landed head kicks that were blocked. He landed leg kicks. He was landing elbows from the bottom. He had a submission attempt. There you go. Come on, Cowie. Please don't be tired, Cowie. All right, timer's good. Second round. Please have a good gas tank, Cowie. Good jabs. Good leg kick. And Cowie kind of took himself down both times. He engaged in the body lock and kind of got tossed to the ground. He went to the ground and lost the position. Ooh, good body kick. Good body kick by Cowie. Good leg kick. Oh, big miss by fucking Mark. I mean, Mark's breathing a little heavy too. Good body work. I don't want I don't want Fernandez against the fence. Reverse this. Reverse this, Fernandez. Good take down defense. Good underhook. Breathe through it. Watch the trip. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. There you go. Mark strong. Let's get some urgency here. There you go. You've defended it. Now let's get some urgency to get out of there instead of just hanging out here. Good knee. Boo! 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 Now just get out of there, Cowie. There you go. Just get out of there. Look, Mark just wants to hold him, man. a boy, Fernandez. Strut your shit now. Oh, he's tired, Fernandez. He's tired. He's tired. He's tired. Oh, there's that kick. Oh. Cowie doesn't give a fuck about that left hook. He doesn't give a fuck about that left hook. Oh, Cowie's tired too. He wants to wrestle. I mean, this is going to be a sloppy fight. Both these guys are tired. This is going to be fucking disgusting. The rest of this fight. Both these guys are tired right now. This is going to be sloppy and nasty the rest of the time. Oh, he didn't like that leg kick. Oh, he didn't like that leg kick. Don't get taken down now. Look at the desperation. Look at the desperation. Don't get taken down here, Cowie. Strong wizard, strong wizard. Fuck, man. You got to get back right now, Cowie. Stacked against the fence. Yeah, you got to fucking start sweeping right now, Cowie. You got to fucking start sweeping right now. You got to go right now, Cowie. Stand him up, Jason. He's just laying on him. Yeah, keep working. Stand him up, Jason.
What's the live odds? This is going to be crazy for Mark. This could be an interesting decision. Sense of urgency, Cowie. Sense of urgency, Cowie. Sense of urgency, Cowie. Sense of urgency, Cowie. Jason, stand him up. This is Mark putting on a show. Just both arms in. There you go. I mean, this is fucking insane right now. There's no way Jason lets him do this in the third round. Just kick him in the fucking head. All right, third round. I have no idea how this is going to be scored. I mean, that, that was probably Mark's round, but I mean, the striking. I, fucking, this is a fucking terrible fight. Holy shit. Mark is minus 500 on live odds. It could be 1-1, one, one, but I have no idea. I mean, fuck, man. What the fuck is going on? Mark is just fucking just laying there. I mean, it's going to come down to who wants it now. I think somebody get finished in this round. I don't think Mark can finish him because Mark's not really finished. I think Fernandez, if he lays down some fucking crazy pace, but I mean, they're gassed, man. Both these guys are fucking gassed. Oh my God, dude. Putting on the show. He's flipping off the crowd just to fucking lay on somebody for fucking six, seven minutes. Oh my God. He's not even trying to posture up. He's not even trying to like land elbows at least. Like, he's just so far down in Cowie's guard, just trying to keep position of his hips, just covering his hips. It's crazy. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no one's winning this fight. Somebody's losing this fight is probably how it's going to go. Somebody's going to lose, but there's no winners from this fight. Not right now. Let's see how much the heart the Brazilians got. Mark's going to try and get a takedown immediately, I'm sure. Watch the fingers. Good leg kick. Good jab. Good leg kick. Good leg kick. I mean, Fernandez is landing, and Mark's not doing anything on the ground, so this could be a wild a wild scorecard. That was a trip. That was a trip. He didn't even really land that shot, or he fucking, like, tripped and fell. Good take down the fence. Good take down the fence. You got to get out of there, though, Cowie. You can't get taken down this early. You got to definitely win this round and give yourself some chance. He's pulling his shorts, Jason. Are you, getting, are you fucking kidding me? He's holding on to his shorts. Cowie's got to win this round and just give himself a chance with that first round. He's got to make sure he wins this round, though. He's got to win this round and just give himself a chance for that first round. Come on, Fernandez. Dude, Cowie's so tired. He's so tired. This is what it looked like that fight that he lost too. He's going to swing wild. I mean, he's going to give himself a chance, but he fucking isn't going to have much beyond his shots. Look at Mark just trying to act like he's a tough dude. Trying to talk shit. He almost caught that knee. Or he's caught that kick. I think Cowie's getting a little pissed off. Oh my God. He got desperate, tried to take him down. He got taken down. What an absolute joke. Stand him up, Jason. <laughs> this guy's just looking up at the sky like, holy fuck. What do I do myself? What is this position, Cowie? You're just going to let him hold your arms up like that? What the fuck is this? Why is he just letting him hold his arm like this? He's trying to throw an elbow, but fuck, man. Do something, Cowie. Heart, Cowie! I 
I mean, this is why, I mean, I'll tell you right now, I'll tell you right now, Rebovics wouldn't be doing this. You know what I mean? Rebovics wouldn't be doing this. I'll tell you that right now. Rebovics wouldn't be doing this, just laying here like this. Jesus Christ. It's people saying they're talking about Prima that has nothing to do with fucking Prima membership. It's just a fucking pig. Holy shit. What are we doing, Cowie? This is fucking bad, man. Holy shit. How much are you down? Only a half a unit. I only put a half unit on. There's, I forgot to put the premium bets up. There's a premium bets. Half a unit. On Cowie. And that was like a last second fucking play too. I had inside the distance decisional action. But, um, you know, I figured that if he lost, it was going to be born like this. For sure. I, fi I figured, I mean, if he lost, I said if it got out of the, fir if it got out of the first round, we were going to be in trouble. And it got out of the first round. There's no doubt about that. Oh, my God. $2 from Ray Torres. Wasn't the original lock of the week your move to Brazil? I appreciate that two spot. Holy shit. We got to hope for a fucking... Hail Mary decision or something. I mean, well, Jesus Christ. I can't, I couldn't imagine dedicating my life to a sport and just, and just not just, and just doing this. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine dedicating my life to a sport and just, and then you just do this. And I'm talking about, uh, Fernandez too, not Mark. I mean, Mark's doing what he needs to do. I got no hate against Mark, but fuck. Oh, he's back to his feet. And, and with 10 seconds left, you decide you want to get back to your feet. <laughs> That's crazy. Holy shit. Well, we got that out of the way. Did Cowie have his hands up? Dude, he's yelling at him. Yo, was he yelling at him? Did you guys see that? Was Cowie yelling at him? <laughs> he looked like he went over there and started screaming at him. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Now he wants to show passion? Like, that That. That actually kind of drives me even more insane. When you want to... Now you want to show... 10 seconds left in the fight. 10 seconds left in the fight. You decide to get up. After the fight's over, you decide you want to show some passion and start yelling at the guy. It's like, what, you, you just had the entire 15 minutes to try and punch him in the face? What are we doing? I don't know if backup... I think the only backup lock of the week to ever win was Johnny Walker, and he was basically like a fucking pick -em. So he wasn't really even... I mean, he was the underdog, but... He's got his monster drink. They're taking a while for the scorecards. They're taking a while for the scorecards. It's a split. It's a split. I think it's a split. I think it's a split. Hometown, hometown judges here. Hometown judges here. Hometown judges. Do me, do. Do me, Bruce. Do me, Bruce. Do me, Bruce. Do me. Do me, Bruce. 3027. What a joke. What a joke. Dude just lays there. What a joke. What a joke. Who had the 2928 for uh Fernandez? That guy needs a fucking raise, is what he needs. Oh my god, Mark. He just won it all. What a great performance, Mark. What a great performance. All right, we got that out of the way. Back a lock of the week. It is what it is. You know, what are you going to do? We hit the plus 270 last week. You're going to have that when you get the backup locks of the week. I'll tell you right now, Rebovix, no chance in hell Rebovix goes out like that. And just for the fact, for the fans, that Rebovix-Brenner fight would have been fucking in.
insane. So we got our money back inside the distance decisional action. It is what it is. We got our money back. We lost a half a unit on Cowie money line. So we didn't go too heavy on that for sure. Um, we put them on the first round as well, but it is what it is. The read was right. We knew that Mark could come in and just lay on the guy. So, uh, we move on. We take the L and we move on to Mora. How many people are pretty confident Ruiz? Mark can't even walk. I mean, that one leg kick really did fuck him up, man. Rebovic's future contender, no joke. I like Rebovic's a lot, man. And I know a lot of people on Brenner. I felt, I felt really good about Rebovic's against Brenner. Because Brenner is dangerous on the ground. Rebovic's can survive on the ground. And, and Rebovic's would have been a way better striker than Brenner. And I understand Brenner's tough for sure, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Minus 625 more is trash. Minus 725 now. Holy fuck. More second round. What are we playing for this one? Is anybody on the Ruiz side? I mean, more might win first round. First round, sub or KO? More by sub, first or second round probably. Ruiz by sub? We could play Sprinkle on Ruiz. If it gets out of the first round, this is another one of those situations where if it gets out of the first round, you saw Ruiz start to have some success against Jacqueline after the first round. If Ruiz can survive, which she's a tough girl, if she can survive the first round, this thing could get very interesting for sure. But, I mean, she's just so undersized, man. So undersized. Mora second round. Maura. It's Maura, sorry. Maura. I do like Ruiz, though. That's my type of girl, man. <laughs> Ruiz is my type of girl, man. I tell you. Who wants the chat bed? What do you guys want? More second round KO meatball? We'll give it to you. More second round KO. Plus 650. Getting real specific meatball, but I like it. I like the energy. Let me put 20 on it. Let's get a start of meatball. 20 to win 130. Second round meatball. We got it. Put it on the board. Meatball. Meatball. All right. Stream bet. Under two and a half. That's not good. This, okay, let me do this. Under two and a half, yes or no? Under two and a half, yes or no? Because 165, I don't think that's bad value. I don't think that's bad value. If Moore wins, she should fucking smoke her. Ruiz got ass. Conejo. It'll be like the last one. You think that Moore is just going to lay on her? Or Mora is just going to lay on Ruiz? I know, Mora, she's kind of a nasty girl, man. Over two and a half. She's going to sub Monster Rat. <laughs> <laughs> Monster at Ruiz. Oh my god. Ruiz was just TKO'd, right? Amor just kind of like postured up and because Ruiz has good she should have good submission defense. So TKO should be a decent play. More is more safe. She can lay on me, Jacob. Should have went with Lewis for the lock. If yeah, if Derek Lewis wins. I mean, my, my original lock was Rebovic, so, you know, it's like, fuck, man. It is what it is. Ruiz isn't winning. Nah, she she shouldn't win. More going to get the TKO? I want to go heavy on something. I want to go heavy on something. More first-round TKO? You guys are saying first-round TKO? Put it in the chat right I'm going to put $80 on one of these. KO or sub? Put it in the chat right now. K or... K or... KO or sub. And I'm going to look at the chat real quick. And I'm going to put $80 on one of these. And you're going to get blamed if I, fuck, if I fucking lose this. KO, sub, KO, KO, neither. Sub, 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 sub. KO, sub, sub, sub. KO, KO, sub, sub. Subbington City. KO, KO, sub, sub, sub. KO, sub. Put 40 on each. That's boring, though. 
And a lot of people are saying, sub, can Neho headlock submission? Imagine she throws that head and arm, a little head and arm toss. All right, I'm putting 80 to win 340 first round submission on Mora. 80 to win 350. Was it 350? 340. 80 to win 340. Do I have uh, anything on this one? No, I just have more in parlay. Nothing for this one. Ooh. And this is your guys' fault. I mean, it, it doesn't hit. It's your guys' fault. And then we also have the second round chat bet from Meatball. And that is Mora. Second round TKO, KO. And we put 20 on that to win. Uh, 130 on that one. So if it gets out of the first round, I guess no matter what, we kind of win by sub. But if she wins in the second round with a uh, a TKO, we'll be all right as well. So that's how we're playing it right now. We have Meatballs bet. Let me make the name a little bit bigger, man. That's too small. That's not good enough for me. Where are we at right here? Meatball? Meet the ball. Meet the ball. We got Meatball as the chat bet. More second round KO, TKO. 20 wins, 130. And you guys decided, not me, you guys decided more first round sub, 80 wins, 340. And we'll see how it plays out. Yo, $1.99 from Andres. Did you get my Whopper? Laugh out loud, smash the like, y'all. Whopper, what the fuck are you talking about? I appreciate the dollar ninety nine. Did you fucking send like a, a Whopper in the mail or something? Holy shit! I do love Whoppers though, man. Ruiz getting manhandled. She's wearing white too. If she starts bleeding, not a good situation. She's just so small. She's just so small. She's a a, a Mexican national wrestling, like a seven time wrestling champion. And she was just getting ragdoll by Jacqueline. Ruiz, or I mean, uh, Moore did miss weight. But it was a lot. And anytime people miss by three and a half, four pounds, they usually look pretty good, to be honest with you. It's a big girl. Is she hot or not? She does kind of look like Kayo. Somebody said that in the, in the, in the Discord, that she kind of looks like Kayo. Like, Kyle, you ain't fooling anyone. Or maybe on Twitter or something. She's got the same kind of like jawline as Kyle. <laughs> who who all would be in the Adam Weight division? I don't think the UFC has enough females in the Adam Weight division, but I'm all for I'm all for adding uh more uh <laughs> more female divisions. I'm saying that. She ain't hot. She looks like a dude. Dudes could be hot. Dudes are hot all the time. Ruiz got that crazy look in her face. She's hot. I mean, Ruiz is hot. I mean, Ruiz is fucking hot. This looks like a like a UFC online fight. I mean, Ruiz is going to give herself a chance striking. I would love to see. I mean, I, I guess I wouldn't love to see it because I got more in a parlay. But Ruiz winning this fight would be wild. I mean, Moore's striking doesn't look... Anything too crazy right now. But, I mean, the range, she just can't... The range is just so extreme. There's a takedown attempt. Pulls guard. Look for a sweep. That's the strength, man. That's what that's what Jacqueline did, too. Little go Omoplata trying to step over. Jacqueline did that same thing. Just swept her so easy. Just swept her so easy. She's got a cut on her eyelid, too. Get this sub, man. Get this fucking sub. Four minutes to work with. We'll see if Ruiz goes all defense or if she tries to get back to her feet. The issue is Ruiz doesn't have an advantage in the striking and she can't hold top position. So I don't know what she, what her game plan is. Because she got the top position right there and was just immediately swept. We hope she gives up her back. But if she just plays this game with like a deep half... This is going to get out of the first round. 
how can they be the same weight? Well, they weren't. <laughs> more, more is like probably fucking 10 pounds heavier than right now. Get the, give it back. And this is one of those fights. She might be looking for a head and arm. Um, this is one of those situations where when somebody just tries not to get submitted, it's really hard to submit somebody when they're just going all defense. Oh my God, go for the head and arm on the other side. Yeah, there you go. Go for the head and arm on the other side. There it is. Go for the head and arm on that side. There it is. She's going to get the head and arm. Go for the head and arm on the left side. Sneak that arm over. She's got it pinned down. She's got it pinned down. She's got to switch her head. She's got to switch her head. Get that head and arm on that side right there. You got it wrapped up. Go for the head and arm. There you go. Give her the back. Submit her. This is the game that Ruiz kept playing with Jacqueline, too. Full mount to give up your back. Submit her. There you go, Ruiz. Ruiz, give up your back. Please give up your back. Give up your back. Go for the, Just get the head and arm right there. She's choking her with her own arm. She's choking her with her own arm. She wants the TKO. She wants the TKO. Give up your back, Ruiz. Give up your back. Dude, poor Ruiz, huh? Poor Ruiz, man. She's choking her with her own arm. She's like trying to pin her own. These are baby shots. These are baby shots. I mean, you can tell Ruiz knows what she's doing. <laughs> she's just fucking outmatched. Come on, Ruiz. Give up your back. Darcer. Darcer. There it is. 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 She doesn't have a hook in. No. Give up your back, Ruiz. Give up your back, sweetie. You want you don't want to punch that sweet little face. You want to get choked out. You don't want to break that sweet little face. You want to get choked out. You don't want to take any more damage. Get the back. Get the back. Give up your back. Get that leg free. She's back to her feet almost. Get those hooks in, Mora. Get those hooks in. She's trying to roll through. Ruiz is tough as shit. She's just so small. Fuck! She's just so small. She's in the crucifix. Dude, she's so tough, man. She's so tough. Go for the arm bar. Go for the arm bar. She's going to go arm bar. She almost went arm bar. Get that choke in. Immediately get that choke in. Fuck. Fuck. Dude, Ruiz is so fucking tough. Dude, she's just been, been beat on for... <laughs> Jesus Christ. We didn't get it. Fuck! Fuck! Can't believe the ref didn't stop it. I mean, those were for the most those elbows were bad, but for the most part, those were like kind of pitter patter shots. All right, now we now we need we need a TKO now, and she's shown good submission defense. She's shown good submit. Now we are all on TKO. It was always round two. Now we are all on TKO. We are all on it, Meaty Ball. We are all on it. No more subs. No more subs. And you can tell Ruiz, is, she knows good submission defense. It was always round two TKO. It was always round two TKO. We'll see if, if, if Moore does that guard pulling shit and can't get the sweep, things could get a little bit interesting. I mean, there, it could be more. It could be tired here. I hope not, but we'll see. She's too big, yeah. If her was bigger, she you could tell she... Can you guys tell she knows what she's doing? That's what I feel bad. This is why weight classes exist. <laughs> like, this is... I mean, this is like a situation where it's like... It's just... She's just too small. She knows what she's doing. All right, second round. We'll see if more pulls guard or something stupid. Good right hand there, Rob Moore. 
Oh, they're excited now. I like Ruiz, though, man. I feel bad for. Oh, shit. Big breath there from Mara. She just can't get to her. This might go this might go the distance. If it doesn't end in, in this round, it might go to the distance. Oh, just gave up that leg. Good takedown. All right. Now TKO her. Get her against the fence. Posture up and just rain some elbows. Just a few elbows. And Jason's gonna stop this fight. Is that Jason in there? Who's in there? That doesn't look like Jason. Who's the ref? There it is. Elbows, elbows, elbows. There it is. Elbows. Just keep doing the elbows. Keep doing the elbows. Keep doing the elbows. Keep the elbows. Elbows, 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 elbows. Elbows, elbows. Elbows. Fuck. Ruiz is too fucking tough, man. Oh my gosh, she's looking for an Omoplata. Did you guys know that Vince Bichelle purposely didn't accept that fight to teach Ismail a lesson for missing weight? Did you guys know that? Vince Bichelle uh, made weight. Obviously, he missed it, but then he came back, he made weight. And they said, obviously, it was, it was his choice to accept the fight on the weight miss or not. And he wanted to teach Bond theme a lesson and, um, and did not accept the fight because of the weight miss. He basically did what Stephen Thompson did. He said, no, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight him. I got I need to teach these people a lesson that they can't miss weight. And that's probably what, <laughs> that's probably what Marie should have done. That's probably what Marie should have done. Don't go for the arm bar. Elbow, elbow. He's going to stop the fight. Just start teeing off. Stop the fight. Stop the fight. Stop the fight. Boom! Meatball, baby! You did it, sweetheart! Let's go! That a boy, baby! That a boy, meatball! Let's go! Let's go, meatball! That a boy! It was always round two, meatball. Stretch your shit. Vamos! Vamos! Obrigado, meatball! Obrigado, meatball! Vamos, vamos, vamos! <laughs> we making money now. Vamos, vamos, vamos! Meatballs love the night. What we got for the next one, Meatball? Too hot to trot, baby. Too hot to trot, Meatball. What do we got for this next one? Oh, but well, we got to go Denise like inside of this. It's so crazy, right? We gotta do something crazy for Denise, right? Former lock of the week. Meet Bali. Meet the Bali. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Atta boy. Atta boy. Should have slammed 80 on the KO. We had it first round anyway. Either way, either way, I was gonna lose that 80 because I was doing first round no matter what. So the 80 was gone. But Meatball came through in a big way with that second round. I don't have anything. Hill is too tough for a finish prop, in my opinion. What do you have, Meatball? You have anything on this one? I'll play whatever you want to play. It, it's, it, it's your world. We're just living in it right now. We're just living in it, Meatball. Denise Combs over 64 strikes. You know what I want to play, guys? It's right here. Oh, my God. It dropped to plus 700. I want to play. I want to play Gomes. Submission. Yeah, you know I mean, Gomes submission. A little forgot, a little forgotten about part of her game. 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 
I'm putting 25 on Gomes by submission to win 175. That's kind of what I was eyeing. It's greedy. It's greedy. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. We understand the toughness of Angela Hill. We understand the toughness of Angela Hill. But sometimes when you get in a bad position, you can't out-tough a submission, right? And if she gets hurt and she starts trying to wrestle, Denise has also been doing jiu-jitsu her, jiu her whole life. Damn, I like her voice, though. Eduarda? I kind of like her voice, huh? She said, obrigada. That means thank you. She wants the cash. She wants cash. She wants the bonus. She wants the bonus. She, she asked for the bonus. Look at Bisping with the Rolex. Something about it turns me on. I'm telling you right now, every girl looks good in braids. You could put any girl, any girl, I don't give a fuck. You bring any girl into this room right now, if she's got braids and Vaseline, <laughs> and Vaseline on her face, I'm ready to go. Muito bom. Muito bom. Vamos, vamos, vamos. You throw a little Vaseline on a girl's face. <laughs> He throw a little Vaseline on the face. You know what I mean? I go like this. I swipe it off her forehead. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. You guys see what I went with that? <laughs> oh, shit. Verna? Verna's hot, man. Verna's got a rocking body. Verna's got a rocking body. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. All right, what are we doing? You said meatball. You said Gomes by split. I'll play it. I'll sprinkle it. You're the hot hand right now. Split or majority. Is that what you want, meatball? We'll play it. And if you hit this one, if you hit this one, oh, if you hit this one, oh, if you hit this one. Actually, what is it? let me see something real quick. Yo, you know what's interesting? Ah, plus 115. I was going to say maybe play like a... If this goes to the third round, the issue is if she gets finished, if she gets finished, you lose this bet. But to play Angela Hill to win the third round, if it gets there, is interesting, right? Actually, Denise Gomes minus 145 just to win the first round. I'm playing that. Just to win the first round, Denise should win the first round. And she's probably not going to get finished. And then you win that bet. And if she loses the fight, it doesn't matter. So you're basically playing the money line. You're basically playing the money line, except if she loses the fight, it doesn't matter as long as she loses the first round or she wins the first round. And Denise should win the first round. I like that bet. Denise could win the first round, lose the next two, lose the fight, and we win that bet, and it's the same as the money line. I like that bet. I'm going to put $125 on it. I like that bet. All right, what'd you say, Meatball? Are you still in here? Meatball by split. Is that what he said? Let me exit this one out real quick. I'm going to place that. I kind of like that bet. Because then you don't, you, all you have to worry about is the first round. The issue, the only thing I'm worried about, and I don't want to jinx it right now, because I already jinxed it with the Cowie fight. The Cowie fight, I said, I don't want him taken down the first minute. He gets taken down the first minute, basically. I don't want Denise off her back in the first minute. You know what I mean? Denise split or sub, you choose. I already put the sub, so I'll do the split. I'll sprinkle the split. Split. I'll put uh I'll put twenty on it for you. Nah, we'll put fifteen on it. Nah, we'll put nah, we'll put twenty on it. I think I'm gonna play the decent Gomes first round. Does Denise Gomes win the first round? Yes or no? I 
I think Angela's Hill, like you guys are saying, her game plan is just going to be survive the first round and then start putting up the pace and the pressure in the second and third. Yes, my lord. Yo, your name is Burger King. Yo, your name is Burger King Whopper. I fucking love Whoppers, man. I fucking love. I love the Whoppers. All right. So everyone just everyone just look at the chat real quick and look at everyone saying yes, okay? So I'm placing this because you guys are confirming to me that you like that bet, okay? So this is half and half. I'll take half the blame for it. I'm not taking all of it. I'm not taking all of it. I don't have anything for premium. I have gomes in a, in a parlay, but that's it. Not a ton of premium stuff this uh, this stream. Down a half a unit right now, but we had more in a parlay. We just need Gabriel, and then that block of the week. If Gabriel wins now, then the lock of the week is covered already, so we're kind of already covered, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I had everything planned out so I could show the bets. I could show, Dude, my PC was like, the amount of times, this is what pissed me off about my PC. The amount of times that I've rebuilt my stream on my PC is like 10 times. I got a special, I spent hundreds of dollars to get a special overlay built for the PC. The PC, I, 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 we're past it. We're past it. All right, what was the first one I played? Oh, Denise by sub. We're past it. And we're moving on. And we're feeling good about this stream, man. I think this is going to be a good one for us. We got the nonsense out of the way. Meatball came through big for us. What was that? 25 wins 175. And then we also get Denise first round winner. Not a finish. Doesn't have to be a finish. So just so you guys understand, that bet is just a, she just needs to win on the scorecards that she win. And really only two of them. She doesn't even need to win all three, I don't think. The only way to lose that bet is she lose the first round of the scorecards or she gets finished. All right, that was 125. Wins like 85, basically. It's 86, but I'll call it 85 because I don't feel like typing it out, to be honest with you. Like like on the PC, too, I had talked to text on. Like if you donated, it was going to read your message. Oh, it's fucking... Two spot from Danny Lynch. Islam versus Oliveira confirmed for 297? Don't lie to me. Are you lying to me? I appreciate that two spot, Danny. Is that real? Yo, Eduardo Mora called out Deanna Belbita. I thought she kept saying Belbita. And she said, I'm going to teach her to bark like a dog. She said, I'm going to teach her to bark like a dog is the quote, apparently. By the way, me and Deanna, you know, I don't, I, you know, I don't, I, I'm not that guy to really brag about stuff, but, um, you know, I basically reached out to her the other day and was like, hey, I think me and you should get together. We should, you know, get some ice cream, get some candles, some chocolate syrup, establish a safe word, and just see what happens. You know, we should just see what happens. And this is how she responded. She did respond. That's a good idea. So, stay tuned. We are now very anti mora now. You're talking shit to Diana? Nobody talks shit to Diana, okay? Nobody talks shit to Diana. All right, and the meatball is back again with the buy split. Diana seems pretty cool as well. Uh, what was the split? Plus 700 as well? 20 to win, uh, same thing, right? 20 to win something? 20 to win 140 split. And I'm telling you right now, I don't want to hear any slams, any Denise, anything in the chat. Denise Gomes is hot. She is hot. So, there's just no argument about that. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. All female corner too. Love the power. Love the power play here. All female corner. I would do the same. I would do the exact same. All female corner. Love seeing it. Love seeing it. Yo, Jacob, give me the chat button on the Kyle fight. If I remember, Green Bat. Just say, just make sure you say, like, you told me. That girl in the background right there, fucking unit. That looks like a female Angelo right there, standing behind her. Angelo, that's very similar to Angelo's build right there. In all shapes and forms. So, I got a pee already, man. I'm hydrated. I'm being serious, too. Angelo's always wearing the baggy stuff on the stream. Boof. 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 Angelo's Brazilian cousin. And I'm telling you right now, there is no debate. Angela Hill might be the most sneaky hot female in the UFC. When you see her out and about, when you see her done up, when you see her on the gram, Angela Hill's fucking smoking. Angela Hill. We'll pull it up too. This is what I do for you guys. Angela Hill. We'll pull up the Instagram. Overkill Angela Hill. She's hot. She's hot. Whoops. Where's a nice little picture here? Mm. Angela over the hill. Ooh, good little pun there. Oh my gosh, she's on OnlyFans? She doesn't she does like the normal OnlyFans, right? Where it's just like the behind the scenes stuff. Looking at her in this little red dress now, too. Hold on, let me find a good picture. I gotta find something appropriate to Oh my god. I mean like Eesh. Eesh. your audience isn't that diverse. You know, I was thinking the other day too, and I don't know why I was thinking about this. It would suck. I mean, it literally would be awful to be racist. <laughs> like, 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 there's no way. There is no way. That's, you, you just eliminate all these fucking females out of your life for no reason. Imagine being racist. There's no way. Dude, it would be awful. You just got to hate people just fucking, fucking, why? What are we doing? Look at what you, look at everything you're missing out on. It's crazy. Fuck, man. I love everyone. I fucking love everyone. I'm telling you right now. And honestly, I can't afford. I can't afford to be racist. I'll be honest with you. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta get what I can get, man. I you. Know, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Even if I wanted to be racist, I couldn't even. I would have to pretend not to be. Twenty-three to thirty-eight. Fifteen-year difference. Technically, Angela Hill could be Denise Gomes' mother. Sixteen and pregnant. Technically, this could be a mother and daughter fighting. That's just, I mean, that really is just how, I mean, that's just science. The fact she's 23, and honestly, I don't think Denise is that good. Former lock of the week, by the way. I don't think Denise is that good. I compared her, and she actually looks like her now, and maybe she heard the breakdown. That's why she did this. I think she is the new Jessica Andrade. She is going to smoke everyone she should beat, and lose to everyone she probably should lose to. And Angela Hill is a girl that she should beat, so. Angela gives her a reality check. She's a tough girl. I think I my my take all week was this the first time that Angela Hill's gonna get finished. If Angela Hill's gonna get finished, it's probably in this fight. But we'll see. Oh. Jessica Panay. I watched her get arm barred by uh, Tabitha Ricci. Live, in person. UFC 285. All right, here we go. I got to fucking pee so bad right now. Holy shit. My prostate is throbbing. All right, first round. Here we go. Timer's good. See how it plays out. What are our, what are our bets right now? Denise by sub. We need Denise to win the first round. And Denise by split. 
This is what I, what I say. I jinxed it again. I jinxed it again. I said I don't want Denise to get taken down on her back in the first minute. Fight the hands. Fight the hands. All right, she's back to her feet. Jesus Christ. Angela's going to fucking win the first round now. Denise should be pretty strong in these positions. But she is young. I turn the stream on and I, all I hear is Jacob saying my prostate is throbbing. This is perfect for Angela though. This is savvy. This is veteran savvy. And the longer this fight goes, it's going to favor Angela for sure. Let's see if Denise's got some slick trips or anything. Oh, they're doing a little pirouette. Look at that fucking... That is that is immaturity there. That was immaturity there. She's got some good sweeps, though. A little half-guard sweep. She's got to watch her neck. But this is not the fight that Denise wants to fight. I mean, Angela's just dogging her now. We're going to lose this bet. She's just fucking dogging her. Baseball grip. Oh my God. That guy's speaking really good Portuguese. Love seeing that. All right, here we go. Back to space. Denise is going to try and knock her out now, get tired and lose. That's what's going to happen. You can definitely tell the immaturity. She tried the same toss again, man. This time she's on her back a little bit now. That must have been something they saw. Oh, good roll there by Denise. This is not a good pace for her, though. Yeah, it's not a good pace for Denise. It's good to see that she's got some scrambles, though, off her back. Oh, good little left right there. Here's where Denise goes, though, at town, though. That's where it's going to come down to toughness for Angela. That'll get, that should steal the round back a little bit for her in the, in the judge's eyes. Remember, these judges gave Cowie two rounds. There's a judge wandering around out here. Keep this in mind, okay? Keep in mind, there's a judge wandering around, and we don't know who's judging what fights. There's a judge wandering around that gave Cowie two rounds and another judge that gave him one round. So just keep that in mind. But I mean, Denise's got to get the fuck out of here. She's going to lose this round. All right, come on, Denise. You got to win this round. Not blind kicks. I hate those blind kicks. People get lit up all the time just throwing blind-ass, ra random-ass kicks. Oh, there's that right hand. Just stay in range. Don't try to take her down. Don't try to take her down. Nice takedown. Way to, way to take her down. Very smart to take her down. Armbar, armbar. Submission, reverse triangle, armbar. Armbar, 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 armbar. Oh, 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 did I call it? Did I call it? Did I call it? Did I call it? She's going to get it. She's going to get it. She's going to get it. Did I call it? 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 She doesn't have it anymore. Did I call it? Dude, Angela Hill's so fucking tough. She scrambled out of it. Fuck! I almost fucking nailed that shit. Oh, good little bottom shot there. But she's winning the first round at least. She won the first round now. I mean, there's no way the judges aren't going to give him the first round now. But fuck, man. Holy shit, is Angela Hill tough. She's going to try her own armbar now. Imagine. What a live odds. That should be Denise. It could be close, but two judges are going to give that to Denise. She got a nice old takedown at the end. She threatened the arm bar. She got back to her feet at the end. She landed some decent shots. Had Angela against the fence at one point, laying some shots. Angela really didn't do anything with the takedown. Should be 1-0, Denise. Thank God.
I would assume. And that's what that's what's tough about this bet or this style of bet is because you don't really know until the fucking fight's over. Because even when you read the scorecards, you don't know. Unless it's 30-27, you don't really know. So, see what the live odds are. It seems like most people are pretty comfortable. That's 1-0 Gomes. Remember, these are Brazilian judges. What are the live odds, man? What the fuck is going on? Dude, if we would have got that. Angela Hill's minus 160. Not in Brazil. Not in Brazil. Not in Brazil. That's a Denise round. I could see with the live I could see people loading up on Angela though. I think Denise won that first round, but people are loading up on Angela because she didn't get finished. That's probably what's happening right now. Denise won that first round, but people see that she's in the fight and they're expecting Denise to get tired and they're loading up on Angela. So that's probably what's happening with live odds. I do like the grappling, though, of Denise. It looks like she, she wants to grapple more, too. Ooh, really overextending with that right hand. Ooh, dude, she just ate that right hand from Angela. <laughs> that was the hardest punch Angela Hill has landed in 10 years. And she didn't even fucking budge. Ooh, a little head kick. That might stun her a little bit. Oh, good little right hand by Denise. A little step in right hand. Ooh. What the fuck was that? That looked like me trying to do something. This is gonna turn and this is gonna turn to a nasty fight. This is probably gonna be a split decision, meatball. And we'll see if Denise is young or if she if she can tough this out. Because this is going to be a dog fight for the, for the finish now. Angela, she's gassed. I don't think she's gassed yet. But Angela's landing. Denise is getting a little sloppy. I hate the spinning shit. Yeah. I mean, that's immaturity. Oh, good right hand by both of them, honestly. Trade right hands. Denise is kind of stalking her a little bit. Good uppercut. Good knee, too. This is veteran savvy here from Angela. Good knee there by Denise. Showing some urgency here. Good knee again in the clinch. Good knee. She's showing some urgency here. Like, right now, Cowie in this situation was done, right? We saw Cowie get put against the fence, just kind of hold on. Angela was controlling that position, but Denise... But Denise was uh, at least landing some knees and stuff. Oh, she almost landed that elbow. Dude, Angela is so tough. I mean, she just eats everything, too. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. She's kind of got it, but that's smart. I'm so glad she didn't go for that. She kind of had that. Her hand was underneath that the neck. But she would have lost the round if she would have went for that. I mean, her, her hand was underneath the neck. Those bot those those teep kicks from Angela are are are, are what's going to win her that fight. Right to the body, those teep kicks to the body on Denise, just wear her down even more. <laughs> She's just swinging wild. Damn, Dan Dominique just said what I said. Worst case scenario here. Oh, good, good scramble there. Oh, 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 we had it. Oh, we, it was all the way out. All the way out. ESPN just came to shut it down, shut down the stream. That ass cheek was all the way out. Why didn't they, uh, the camera work there was fucking atrocious. Camera work was fucking atrocious. Fire everyone. I want everyone fired. I want everyone fired. 
The fact they didn't switch cameras on that, I want, I want the whole fucking trailer cleared out right now. The whole fucking trailer cleared out. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Fuck, man. That's what we live for. That's all I'm here for. God. You can't even rewind and watch watch it back. There was nothing there. Denise is being an idiot right now. I don't know who won this round. Denise land, looked like she landed the more impactful shots, but Angela's kind of been all over her too. Trying to switch. I'm trying to hit a switch, man. Dude, she's fighting like a 23-year-old right now. She's trying to hit a switch. She's fighting like a 23-year-old, but she's not really too tired. I don't know who won this round. I don't know how this fight's going to be scored right now. Live odds, I think, should be almost a pick'em. Angela Hill's minus 250 right now. I have no idea how this is going to be. Angela won the second easy. I mean, you guys are all split. You guys are all over the place. I'm not going to argue with anyone. I have no idea. I have no idea, but I am going to play some action on uh, Denise here just because Brazilian judges. Plus 175 for Denise. She, I mean, she could be up 2-0 no, or 2-0. Oh. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I put 50 on Denise plus 175 live odds just because the judges. But this could be the split meatball. I mean, this has all the makings already. No matter what happens in this third round, has all the makings of, of a split. But Denise has got to win the split. Live odds aren't moving either. Nobody's playing anything. They just locked them. Denise's just got to lock it in. No stupid shit. All right, timer's good. Third round. She's all over early. Denise says, I'm going to win this fucking fight right now. Those teep kicks are fucking wicked, dude. She like jumps into him too. Dude, she just ate that right hand. Angela just ate that right hand like it was fucking breakfast. Like it was cornflakes. Fucking Bisping now after it looks like Angela Hill is kind of winning the fight. It's kind of wild that she was the underdog, in my opinion, after she's looking good. What a, what a Bisping thing to say. Looking for a Kimura sweep. Looking for a Kimura sweep. Nope, gave it up. She's going to try and roll through. She's going to like try to Grammy roll through or something. Denise's at least shown that she's got some urgency when she gets in these positions, or she did. She's going to try and roll through. Get back to your feet, Denise. There you go. Like, imagine if Cow, imagine if Cowie had this sense of urgency. Imagine if Cowie had 40% of the toughness of Denise Gomes. He would have won that fight. If he had any, any, if he had 30% of what Denise Gomes has right now. Denise's tired. She's getting kneed in the, in the, in the stomach and stuff. She's getting taken down. But she's still working to try to get back to her feet. She's still doing shit. Women are just so much tougher than men. It's crazy. Hill's getting a little too aggressive, in my opinion. She should just control this and win the round. Because if she gets too aggressive, she's going to lose the position. Denise's got to get the fuck out of here, though. She came out like a fucking bullet. Break those hands. Fight those hands. Those girls are flexible, too. Don't do any, don't do, don't hit a switch or anything. Just fucking break the hands. You know how to get at it. Don't hit a switch. Just fight the hands. Fight the hands. Fight the hands. Get your underhook. Get out of here. Angela Hill, round three at plus 115. I should have played it. 
There you go. Get your underhook. Now get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, Denise. Angela Hill's minus 2,000 live odds. Minus 2,000 live odds. Denise is showing some spirit here. Showing some fight. Showing some heart. She can't just walk into a takedown, though. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Denise, she's folding. She's fading. Minus 2,500 for Angela right now. She's looking for a sweep. Dude, she almost had that fucking arm bar too. What a joke. As long as Denise won the first round, we're, we're, we're sitting golden. And Denise could win this fight still. I mean, this could be a fucking wild situation. Angela Hill could get fucking juiced on this. Watch that front choke. Angela will go for this too. She'll go for this Darce or something. Get up, Denise! These Brazilians got no heart. She might get top position. If she can sneak that shoulder through. Oh, she got the body lock in. Oh, no, she, she's got the half deep guard. She can get a twister here. Angela could get a twister here. Angela could get a twister here if she wants it. If she gets that under, she gets that. Not anymore. Denise just giving up. My stream just refreshed. I don't know what's going on. If Angela Hill wins by submission in the last 30 seconds, I'm not seeing it. My stream just refreshed. Hold on a second. Not seeing anything. Angela Hill was lock of the week, right? Didn't we have that lock of the week? These, I mean, these scorecards could be wild. I just want to warn people. Vitor decision coming. I mean, Vitor could do the same thing. Look good early and then gas. Oh, they're back to their feet. My stream's back. We'll see what these scorecards are. Gomes is fucking terrible. She's young, man. You got to remember, she's 23. She's 23. So. And these scorecards could get interesting. I mean, that, that looked like a 23-year-old uh, a versus a 38-year-old, basically. I mean, came in, looked good early, had some success, almost got the arm bar, and then just started fading. Just started fading. Gomes split robbery for the culture. I believe in a meatball. I do believe in it. I do believe in it. I think that this could get wild. I think this could get wild. The live odds were closing like minus 3,000 or some shit. Hill won. We'll see. I just need Denise to win that first round, honestly. And we won't we won't find out until they release the scorecards. Split Denise, rigged easy for my boy Jacob. I mean, this for this for meatball right now. I think I hit my bet. I think Denise won the first round. As long as we don't get two 30-27s, I think Denise won the first round. So I think my bet should have hit. If we get two 30-27s, we're, we're screwed on that bet, but we'll see how it plays out. I'm not looking at the chat. I got a PF for this one, too. I'm not looking at the chat. Does he have the big scorecard? If he's got the big scorecard, things could get interesting. That means it's a split. Always look for the card that Bruce is holding. Denise just looks disgusted. Two twenty nine twenty. So it's definitely for Angela Hill. They 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 panned over already. That twenty nine twenty eight should be good for our for our uh, bet though. I think our bet hit first round winner. We got two twenty nine twenty eights. That should be the first round. So I think that Denise first round winner was a play, man. I think that Denise first round winner is a play. Two twenty nine twenty eights, man. Two twenty nine twenty eights. That's it. We hit that fucking bet. Almost hit the sub too. Holy shit. 
These Brazilian fans are about to leave. Holy shit. They're, they're one and two? <laughs> Angela Hill's cool, too. I like Angela Hill. Arena is quiet. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Brazilian fans are not like the greatest fans. They're kind of bandwagon. Like when Glover, Glover lost and retired, right, against Yuri in Brazil. I think that was in Brazil. They just, they just straight up left. They didn't stay for his shit at all. They just straight up left. All right, we're getting back on track here, though. Yo, Meatball, that wasn't a bad one. What do you guys want for this one? Who wants to chat one for this one? We'll go back to Meatball. Did we get the round one win? We should have, yeah. It should have been that, that first round one. If, if there's two 29-28s, those two round winners should have easily been uh, Denisi for the first round. We'll know when it pays out. They have to look at the scorecards first. So that one's a one that like takes a little bit to cash out. But it should have been uh should have been a winner for us. Touch and go for sure, but should have been a winner. Because the De Denise, I don't think, won the second round. She definitely didn't win the third round. And two judges gave her a round, so it should have been. I think I think Petrino just smokes this guy, right? I, I don't want him wrestling. He shouldn't wrestle. If he starts wrestling. Things will get weird. Things will get weird. I mean, Vitri I mean, Vitor should just smoke this dude. Modestus does not eat shots very well. Snap City, I'll play it for you. And I'll play round two. Come on. Work, 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 work. All right, I'm going to play this for you. What do we want on it? 30 when one's 35? Let's go 50. Let's go 50 to win 225. That's the chat bet for Snap City, baby. Chat bit for Snap City. Snap City. Snap City. All right, now what do we want? <laughs> Vitor by submission again. I love chat bets. Typically, they're, uh, they're pretty hit or miss, but when they get rolling, I mean, sometimes they get rolling. Petrino will wrestle according to Vegas, two and a half takedowns. Yeah, I played the under on that, to be honest with you. It was three on uh, this, but yeah, basically two and a half. I played the under. Um, and when I played that, it was minus 115. Because, I mean, I don't know why he would want to wrestle. Why, why would you want to wrestle this guy? I, I know that Vitor is not like a, a, a technical striker, but he eats shots well. Modestus doesn't have a ton of power. He should be able to just walk into Modestus' face and just fucking knock him out. Just, I mean, she just, he should just be able to walk him down and knock him out. The issue is, which we've seen with Vitor in the past, is sometimes he'll crack somebody and then take a shot. And if he cracks this dude and then takes a shot, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to fucking throw up. I'm going to fucking throw up. Modestus is tough. He's chinny, though. He gets hit. He doesn't react well to getting hit. All right, we got the first round lo laid up. What do you think? Under two and a half? I mean, Vitor is not going to just lay on him for three rounds, is he? If he just starts wrestling, we're fucked. Do you think Elvis Brenner is a good pick? He's tough. He's going to lay on him. I mean, Vitor should be a knockout guy. He just, when he came to the UFC, he decided all, all of a sudden, he's like, oh, I, I just want to start wrestling now for no reason. For no reason. I'm playing Petrino minus three and a half. Even if he lays on him, he should win this fight pretty convincingly, right? He's shown a decent gas tank, right? I'll put 50 on it, and then I got to pee real quick. Fuck. All right, let me let me let me go back to this stream. I'm gonna pee real quick, and then I'm gonna, I'll put the chats in. We got the first round KO. We put 50 for uh for Snap City, 50 to win uh 225, and I did a Vitor minus three and a half. I put 50 on it to win like 37 or something. I'm gonna pee real quick. Be right back. One second, please, please, please hold. Please hold.
Lewis really should win this. Oh my god! If we if we if we start hitting some bets and stuff here, we're I'm, I might get crazy on Derek Lewis. We might get crazy on Derek Lewis. Not even joking. Not even joking on you. The fuck is this? What am I looking at? Sorry, I'm just trying to type in. I'm trying to look at my fucking premium bets. Oh, there it is. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. All right. Sorry. I'm distracted. I'm distracted. Ba, ba, ba. Minus 115. All right. Now, what was the uh, stream bet? Was Vitor. Um, minus three and a half. And that was just 50 wins 35 or something. It's 35 and some change. We'll just put 35. Well, you don't get too greedy on that. And then we had the the Snap City came through with the chat bet, which I like. So we went a little bit heavy on. Vitor, first round KO. Just puts this guy's lights out. Easy peasy. And that was 50 wins. And I think it's going to be a chat bet night, man. I really do. I think it's going to be a chat bet night. Wins 225 on a bitch asses. 225 on a bitch asses. All right, let me make this a little bit bigger. So we're all on on, uh, on Vitor here, but I don't think he's that good, man. If you guys are if you guys are being if I'm being honest with you guys, and I said this all week, there's a there's a couple people. One of them was Ishmael, which that fight dropped. I don't think Vitor is that good. I think he's got the KO power and the toughness, and and should even if he wants to wrestle, should be able to win this fight. I don't think Vitor is that good. We're down bad. We just won. A, we just won a bet. We won on the first fight. We won on Mora, or we didn't win on the first fight, but we won on Mora. We just won again. We're not. We're, I'm not down bad. Just looks like a monster. Yeah, he's physically very intimidating. That's for sure. But he's got. I mean, he's got no head movement in the striking. He's got no real like tactical striking. His wrestling is more power than it is like technique. So if he gets fraud checked here, I'm not going to be crazy surprised. I mean, just like Jelton, I don't, I don't think Jelton is very good either. He's just been smoking people that don't know how to wrestle. The way that Vitor is walking now is kind of the way he fights, just kind of very, just methodical. Hopefully this gets a crowd going too. If not a first round KO, it's going to decision. It could, yeah. How many people on Modestus? Damn, he's dapping up the cut man too. This dude's dapping up everyone. I think Vitor gets him down to the side. I don't want Vitor wrestling at all. Have ever looked like look at like Cole Beasley? I know Cole Beasley, but let me real quick see if we're gonna ban you real quick. Cole Beasley. Yeah, you're banned, probably. Yeah, you're probably banned. What do you guys think? Is this a is this a yes or a no? Do we ban him or not? Yes or no? Hold on, let me make it bigger. Is this me or no? Doesn't look anything like me. Doesn't look anything like me. Doesn't look anything like me. Get him out of here. Somebody ban that dude. Somebody fucking ban that dude. Doesn't look anything like me. Twins? All right. Hey, mods, anybody that says yes and twins and all this stuff, get him, get him out of here. We don't, we don't need him. We don't need him. Get him out of here. We just lost half the chat. 390 people just got fucking slammed. This is... Bru Can I be honest with you? I think Bruce has gotten a little bit lazy on his on his coats, on his jackets. Do you guys agree or disagree? 
he used to come out in some shit, man. He would come out and announce the fighters, and you'd be like, man, that's a fucking, that's a fucking get up there. That's a fucking jacket there. Now he just, I think he's getting lazy, man. Is he, is he running out of stuff? Max Crosby, I'll take Max Crosby. Same, I'm, I'm basically the same size as Max Crosby. I'll take Max Crosby. Victor. I mean, look at this guy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at this guy. Fuck, man. That's me. I, I'm telling you, and nobody's going to believe it. That when I get a pump, that's me. If, if, if I went to the gym right now, got a pump, and walked in the camera without my shirt on, you guys would think that Vitor was running this stream. And I'm, I'm being, that's not, there's no, there's no cap or whatever on that. That's serious. Oh my God, Mark Goddard is going to let Modestus die. I mean, me with a pump is like, oh, Jesus Christ, it's wild. Oh, the crowd's chanting again. Get Vitor fired up, baby. Knock him out, Vitor. Don't wrestle, Vitor. Don't wrestle. Vitor's looking fast hands here. Just explode in and knock his ass out, Vitor. Look how fucking dialed up he is. He just looks so powerful. I'm on pins and needles. Vitor doing his thing. Modestus definitely looks a little bit hesitant from the counter power early. Trying to get some feints in. Trying to draw out that big shot. See what he's going to throw. Keeping the distance with the kicks. Just left and then right hand down the pipe. There's a left. Good little left hand there. Good head movement off that left too. Got off the center line. Modestus really doesn't want to get in there. Ooh. Oh, check that. Vitor always does that. Anytime he gets hit, he always goes like, like, what was that? Like, that's all you got, pussy? Oh, he's getting a little aggressive here. He's getting a little aggressive here. Every time he gets hit, he gets a little bit pissed off. A little bit more pissed off. Oh, Vitor taking his time here. No wrestle, no wrestle. Oh, he's got range. He's got good range. Oh, he's got his hands up. Usually he doesn't have his hands up like that. It sounds pretty simple, but... Oh, oh. Modestus really doesn't like being in this pocket right now. Woo! I wish that left hand would land it. He doesn't know how to cut the range just following? Yeah. He's not very good. His his defense looks a lot better. Vitor's de striking defense looks a lot better. Oh, there's a little jab. There's a stiff jab. There's a stiff jab. Snap the head the head back. Hair went flying. He's got that Nathaniel Wood haircut. We know what happens to Nathaniel Wood. Is that a takedown? Oh my God, is he going to get two takedowns right here? That should be only one takedown. Fuck, man. I don't think that first one's going to score as a takedown because he didn't control the position. Finish him now. Just If you're going to do it, just fucking finish him, Vitor. Don't just fucking lay on him. Get the finish. He's not going to get a finish. Are we just going to do this for fucking 15 minutes? Holy shit. He doesn't have the, he doesn't have the, he's not going to be able to keep the positioning. Yeah, you can, he can't keep the positioning. So when he, anytime he tries to posture up, Modesta's going to be able to try and squirm out of there. So a TKO situation isn't going to work. He's just going to have to hold on to him. Because the second he tries to posture up or anything, Modesta's going to get the space. He's going to try and get out of there. 
Petrino special orders his cup. I think that's molded. It's like a fucking, like a gum shield. What a joke. Oh my god, is he gonna do this for fucking the entire time? Stand him up! We need Goddard in that fucking DeCasey fight. Oh my god. Don't, it's not going to be like this the whole time, is it? We're not doing this the whole time. Fun. Fun. Everyone having fun? We're all having fun? I mean, Vitor's just not good enough on top to do anything. He just doesn't know what he's doing on top. Like, he can be there and just hold the position because he's strong and big, but he just doesn't know how to do anything. He doesn't know how to advance the position. He doesn't know how to do anything. The only reason he got that submission was because what's-his-name was fucking just tired as fuck. He just doesn't know what... And even in that, if you guys watch back that Vitor fight when he got that submission, he was like looking at his corner like, what do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do now? Like, he just doesn't know what he's doing. He's just an athlete in there. He's just bigger and stronger than everyone. And this is what and this is what Jay Alton has been doing to everyone. This is, I mean, this is, you know, I don't want to try to bring this to the main event, but this is what Jay Alton's been doing to everyone. Now, he's obviously much more talented than... Uh, Vitor on the ground, but he's basically just winning with fucking athleticism up to this point. And I don't know if that's going to work against Derek Lewis. 10-8. Not a fucking 10-8. Those Brazilian judges, though, I guess it could be. Fight of the night? Fuck, man. The minus three and a half looks like it's going to fucking hit. I need Vitor to spark this dude immediately. Did he get take did he get two takedowns on that one? All right, round 2. He's plus 480 live. Just spark of Vitor. Oh my god. Oh my god, no mouth guard. Wow. Get him Goddard. Oh, we gave him one of these, too. Get it together. Good eye by God Goddard there, huh? Get it together. Get it together, commission. There you go. Draw those big shots out of him, Modestus. I mean, this is, like, wild. Dude, fire something, Vitor. Don't just fucking look at him. You're in the pocket, in range, and you're not throwing. And then he gets back to range. Vitor's going to take a shot. He's getting lit up now. He's getting a little... You can see him get a little antsy now. Modesta's feeling himself, too. Vitor is a little unsure of himself right now. Vitor is very unsure of himself right now. Oh! He fucking did it. We hit the fuck. Oh, premium bets. Fucking under three takedowns and the fucking fight does not go the distance. He fucking slept his ass. Let's go, baby. The minus three and a half as well. Fuck it. Yeah, let's go. Actually, let's play this one. Woo! Under three takedowns. Fight does not go the distance. Minus three and a half. Part. Get to the good part. Fast forward to the good part. Yo. Turn it up, motherfuckers!
Oh! Right when I said he was getting unconfident in his striking, fucker sleeps his ass. I was scared to death. I was scared to death that he was about to get up because Mark Goddard kind of hesitated right there. And if he got up, when he got up, there was a, I'm telling you right now, there was, I'm out of breath. There was a 500% chance that Vitor was going to take him down if Modestus got back to his feet. Do we all agree on that? Do we all agree on that? He would have shot a takedown for no reason. If Modestus would have stood up, Vitor would have just shot a double leg and we everything would have been lost. <sighs> second round was the play, man. How many people cashed on that second round? I saw a lot of people talk about the second round. <sighs> Bro, I live in the hood. Please don't play that again. My neighbors think I'm a meth or something. I think you're just having a good time, baby. That Brazilian funk. That Brazilian funk. Woo! All right, what's the next fight? Oh, we got the Brenner fight. I'm all ears on this one. I'm, I'm literally all ears on this one. Whatever you guys want to play. Whatever you guys want to play on this one. Let me know right now. I'm all ears. What is, um, hold on. What about this? What about Brenner inside the distance decisional action? This seems like it should be great value. Brenner is tough as fuck against a short notice opponent. Right? Renat is next? It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that right here. It doesn't say that right here. Are we sure Renat's next? Did they change the order or something? It's the Brenner. It should be Brenner. Google's never right. If you're looking at the Google fight card, it's never right. I'll look at the Dana White tweet. That'll tell us. Hold on a second. Oh, it is Renat. Renat's warming up. Dana tweeted it. It is Renat. They got it. They got it mixed up. Oh, you're right. It is Renat. All right. Do we feel good about Renat? You guys were right. You guys were right. 100%. I was wrong. You guys were right. All right. Well, we're not. Does this fight go the distance? Yes or no? It's got to go the distance, right? It's got to go the distance. I mean, Zaleski is tough. We're not KO. I mean, I, this feels like it could be the Mark DeCasey fight. I mean, this feels like it could be the Mark DeCasey fight. And I like Zaleski. Zaleski is tough. Zaleski's got good takedown defense. He's got good striking. But when you come in and you get like um, kind of manhandled a little bit by a Bubakar, not a good sign. Not a good sign. We're not minus three and a half, minus 210. I mean, I kind of like this value a little bit. We're not mid first. We're not to killer. We're not decision. Everyone's on Renat, right? Is there anybody playing Zaleski? Like on a lucky KO? Zaleski throws hard. Should we sprinkle Zaleski on a lucky KO? And then play Renat minus three and a half? I think this is what we should do. We should load up on minus three and a half for Renat. And then sprinkle a little Zaleski KO just as a hedge. Does that seem to make sense to you guys? You kind of load up on the three and a half. The, the three and a half, you get inside the distance. You get a 30-27 decision. You're going to win either way. But if he gets slept somehow, you're, you're, you're hedging it. Plus 800. Don't be a bitch and sprinkle. We're not round one. Who wants the chat bet? 
Zaleski, lucky KO. I feel like that's a pretty good way to play this fight. Because I don't see Zaleski, like, grinding out rounds. You know what I mean? I don't see Zaleski grinding out rounds. He's either going to sleep this dude, or he's just going to get kind of bullied for three rounds. We're not, we're not round one. Sub round two. Yo, Preston, you want the sub round two? I'll play sub round two. I kind of like the round two stuff. We'll put 20 on to win 180. 20 wins 180. You'll take the heat for Zaleski by KO, Patrick? All right, we'll sprinkle KO. Just like 15. 15 to win one... Uh, yeah, 15 to win 120. Nothing too crazy. Zaleski KO, just as a hedge. Just as a hedge. And then we'll go to Renat, minus three and a half. And we'll put like 150 on it. 150 to win 71. So we're basically kind of, if he gets slept, we're almost breaking even. If he wins inside the distance, we win. And if he wins a dominant decision, we win. And then we also have second round too. Did I place that second round? There's the 150 we're putting in. All right, and where's the, um, did we put the second round in? Did I do that already? Second round, no, that's the KO. Second round, I did, okay. All right, we should be good now. Jesus, that fucking came out of nowhere. All right, chat bet. It's going to be a little split jobby here, okay? It's going to be Preston with the um, Renat round two sub. That was 20 wins, fucking 180. We're going to do a little two for here. And then we have our hedge, which is going to be uh, Zaleski by KO. And that was just 15 wins. You know, and you guys know how I feel about hedging. But in this situation, Renat is just like, you know, it's kind of a wait and see. He should be the real deal, and I do kind of trust him as a real deal. But at the same time, it's like, does anybody else have that feeling a little bit? And I don't want to try to jinx anything, because I have a normal bet on Renat as well. Oh, I kind of forgot that I actually kind of just doubled up my own bet for premium. Premium just hit back to back. Love seeing that. Stream bet is... Um, we're not minus three and a half, and that was one fifty wins, like seventy or some, some like that, something silly like that. So, nothing too crazy. It's actually seventy one forty three. We'll just put seventy one because we don't go fuck. Is there anybody playing Zaleski like straight up? I know, I know. There's probably people like sprinkling on like KO and stuff like that. Is anybody playing like Zaleski like straight up or anything like that? By the way, I'm growing the hair out. I got it in a ponytail right now. Growing the hair out. Looking good. All right. Let me see. I don't think zaleski has got it anymore, but we'll see. Renat. Minus three and a half. Minus three and a half. <coughs> Minus 155. So the minus three and a half we used to be minus 155 when it opened. What is it now? What did we just get it at? Yeah, so this opened at minus 155. This minus 210, it opened at minus 155. And it's moved a little bit. People are just trying to find value. What about takedown lines? Over three and over three takedowns. That one could be interesting. This one could hit in the first four minutes. I mean, this literally could hit. Zaleski's not a bitch, and Zaleski can get back to his feet. Just like that Vitor, like two takedowns hit, like boom, 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 or like boom, boom. This over three takedowns could hit in the first three minutes. He failed a roid test. Yeah, he was never really the same after that. And that was Benoit Saint-Denis. 
up and wait short notice? Hmm. Crowd should be fired up now. If he sleeps or not, that place going to go crazy. Should we play the over three takedowns? I kind of want to sprinkle that as well. I'm not going to write that down, but I am going to play this a little bit. I'm going to put 2192 on it to win 2088. Nothing too crazy, but I kind of like that. Did they close him yet? I kind of like that over three takedowns as well. All right. I'm not going to write that on the thing, but you guys, you guys saw what's going on there. All right. Let me go to the board. This was round two sub, right, Preston? Round two sub, Preston? Someone's probably going to go night-night is what uh, Dominic Cruz is saying in this one. He thinks it's going to be a little slobber knocker, huh? And then who had the uh, KO? Fuck. Who was it? Oh, it was you, Patrick. Right, Patrick? Yeah, Patrick. Patrick, the Z-K-O. We got Preston with the sub bet, round two, and we got Patrick with the Z-K-O bet on our hedge. He's taking he's taking credit for the hedge, Patrick Wilkins. So we got Preston and Patrick coming up. Is he? Did he come out to the final countdown? Is that what I just heard, the final countdown? Oh, he's getting slept. Oh, he's getting slept. Oh, you come out to... I hate corny music. That's so corny. That's so corny. He's getting slept. Now, this is a walkout. I mean, this... We're not just does look a little bit terrifying, huh? Cheyenne's in labor, Elizabeth? About time. I wonder if that was induced... Because she tweeted, or she put a story up uh, earlier today, like it seems like a good day to have a baby boy or something. So I wonder if they induced her, because it seemed like she was past due. And I saw that uh, Roman Delize couldn't find a fight in December, so he went back home to spend some time with his family. Good timing. Oh my God, we lost the feed. I, I bet she was induced. The final countdown. Oh my God. It's Kendall Jenner's birthday. She is 28 years old. <clears throat> Let me make sure my lighting's right for this. This is important. Me- this is a very important message. Make sure like this one. Wait, they, oh, whoa. that one. This one? Should we go blue on it? I think we go blue on it. Brings out the eyes. Teeth look nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nobody type in the chat, please. Nobody distract me. Excuse me. It's Kendall's birthday. Excuse me. I got to send a message. Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> hey, Kendall. <clears throat> no. Redo that one. Don't. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, Kendall. My name's Jake. I'm the leader here at We Want Picks. We have over 3 million total views. I noticed it was your birthday today. I just want to say happy birthday. Hope you uh, have a great day. If you want to reach out, maybe get some coffee sometime. I'd love to make you a cake. Love to see your cake. Reach out. My Instagram, JT underscore lines. Can't wait to see you. Happy birthday, baby. All right, sorry about that. If somebody clipped that and sent it to her. That was smooth. I, I guarantee she will never see that, but if she saw that, oh my God. Oh my God, she just messaged me. I'm not even joking. She's watching the stream. She literally just messaged me. Hold on, I'll show you right now. She literally said, laugh out. She said, laugh my ass off. That is hilarious with all these fucking, like, hilarious with emojis. Hold on, I'll show you right now. Wait. 
Oh, wait, fight starting, fight starting. Hold on. After the fight, remind me after the fight. I'll show I prom it's right here. After the fight. Hold on. After the fight, I'll show you. Hold on. After the fight, remind me. Remind me. Dude, she's watching. Kendall's in here watching. That's so crazy. Yo, Dollar Night, they just did a little hug too. Dollar ninety nine from Patrick Wilkins. Damn, my girlfriend said Bruce needs a better suit. Who said that? Uh oh, oh, he slept already. It's over. It's over. Zaleski's tough, dude. He slept them already. Zaleski's done. By the way, the premium bet is minus three and a half as well. He could tough this out. <laughs> Holy shit! He's almost slept them already. That's crazy. Dude, this dude's a grappler. Just sleeping, everyone. Zaleski should be able to stay safe, though. But I don't know if he's going to get up. That over three takedowns is going to be a fucking disaster, too. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't load up on that. I was shocked to find how old Bruce Buffer is. How old is he? I'm going to say... 68? 72? Somewhere around there? I, but he's a good look. If he's that old, that's a good look in 68 or 72. And this could be the, uh, I mean, this could be the DeCasey fight here. Holy shit, dude. Was that a left hand? Zaleski's a tough dude, but he's going to go for a ride here probably. He's going to keep drag, get dragged down. Look at the head position. Oh, that's got to hurt like a bitch. He's 66. That's a good guess by me, huh? Abu or Kayo? I think we're going to play that like in a two-part way. Renat isn't like Mark. He will do stuff. I agree. But I'm just saying as far as like a decision type fight, it could turn into that. He might look for a head and arm here. He could sneakily sneak in head and arm out of the situation. Uh-oh. No, he doesn't have the angle. He doesn't have the angle. He's going to just try to crank it and maybe get the angle with the crank. It's a face crank now. If he can go the other way with it, he could crank the shit out of him. This is what Pat Sabatini does. This is what you might see. If you guys are looking for next week and you're looking at Diego Lopes, and I, don't, I know a lot of people like Diego in that matchup, and honestly, I might too, but this is what Pat Sabatini does really, really well. He doesn't let people leave this position. And if Diego starts playing the jujitsu game, he could find himself in this exact same situation. Pat Sabatini is so good at just holding this position, which is a really hard position to hold. He did it with the Kimura sweep, though. He got out of there. Zaleski's live now. How's that chin going to hold up? Good range management by Renat. Oh, big right hand from... Oh, he got hurt again. He's tough, man. Renat's got to be on his P's and Q's when he's trying to chase something. If he thinks he has him hurt, he's got to be careful. This could be a situation where Renat crashes in thinking he has him hurt and then gets slept. But Renat looks sharp, man. Diego all day. Diego is a better striker. If I'm Diego, there's two people. There's two people on that card who should not wrestle or grapple at all because they have such an advantage in the striking. One of, us, one of them is Diego. Diego is a way better striker than Pat Sabatini. Pat Sabatini does not like getting hit. He doesn't respond well to getting hit. Renat's throwing, throwing fucking wild, man. He doesn't throw he doesn't respond well to getting hit. Diego should not wrestle, should not grapple, don't play the guard game, sweep to get back to your feet, strike the entire time. The other person, the other person who I've been screaming for them to wrestle forever. We've sat here stream after stream every time she fights and said, just wrestle, 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 wrestle. She finally wrestled her last fight. When Loopy fights Tabitha Ricci. She should not try to wrestle. 
She should just strike. That's it. Because in the wrestling, Richie's going to have a shot to reverse positions, to do some stuff. Is we're not getting tired? But in the striking, Loopy is a way better striker than Richie. Richie's striking is terrible. What are they doing? What are these guys doing? Are they? Are, is this a fight or are they having a sparring session? Where's the killer instinct, Renat? What are we doing? Well, you just, you, you just turned your back on them. They could have just fucking laid you out right there. What the fuck is Renat doing? It's a spy. Oh, a spy. I thought you wanted, I thought you wanted a spy. Oh, a spy. Renat round two. Round two sub. Is he going to try to knock this guy out or is he going to try to wrestle now? I think his corner needs to calm him down a little bit. Renat's throwing a, a little bit too wild. I think he should get the takedown immediately or try to get the takedown immediately in the second round and work that game. Oh, a spy. What monster is that? Same one as always, my man, Artem. Hey, Artem. I know you're loving it. And I saw the tweet, too. You're loving those Francis pay-per-view buys, baby. Oh, you're loving those Francis pay-per-view buys, baby. Dude, he did. Dude, Connor and Floyd, which it's, it's different, did what? 3.4 or 4.3 million buys in pay-per-view. Francis and, and uh, what's his name? Did fucking 75,000. 75,000. What is Renat doing? The biggest mistake I ever made was deleting that tweet. I didn't know you could mute it. Yeah. Dude, 75,000 buys. I feel I bought that fight. I feel like an idiot now. I thought everyone was buying that fight. I, th I feel like a fucking idiot buying that fight now. I, I didn't know that nobody was going to buy that fight. Dude, Renat's got a fucking... What is Renat doing? Dude, Renat is going to fucking do something stupid. Dude, what is Renat doing? Dude, what is Renat doing? Dude, Renat might fuck around and lose one of these rounds. Oh, he almost got him. Dude, he's fucking just swinging for the fences. Thank God he's got a good gas tank, but fuck, man. He almost got him out of there, and I was just trying to knock him out. He didn't get dropped. He got tripped. Bisping, relax. Dude, what is Renat doing? Can his corner say something to this guy? Can his corner do something? Can his corner do something? Tell this guy to fucking calm down. He's slowing down now. Oh my God, he's slowing down big. Look how slow those hooks are now. Renato, he's, too t he's not going to be able to get a takedown. If he needs to get a takedown, he's not going to be able to get it now. If he gets in trouble and needs to get a takedown, he's not going to be able to get it. He's like gassing himself with these fucking stupid ass shots. He's going to lose a round. What is he doing? A lead uppercut from 15 feet away? Shoot a takedown. Oh my God, dude. Zaleski's tired too, so he doesn't have a ton of pop on his shots, even if he lands one, but still, man. And we're not winning this round still, but it's going to be closer than you fucking would wish. Renat's not tired. He's just like, he's obviously you're not going to throw the same style of punches in the first round as the second round, but 
He's still moving forward and shit. I mean, look at that fucking hammer fist moving backwards. These guys are just having fun in there. Thank God he got that takedown. Second round sub! Get the head and arm! Over three takedowns? Did we get it yet? Grind on his ass, we're not. Grind on his ass. Fucking grind on his ass. Grind on his ass. Second round sub, Renat. Hail Mary it. Flying triangle. Do something for us, baby. Is that over three takedowns yet? Is that two takedowns? Or three? I don't know. Is that two or three? Can somebody give me a count? Does anybody know? Renat should be up 2-0 at least. Let's look at the live odds. Should be like minus a thousand or something for Renata, I imagine. Looking for that Kimura sweep again. I don't think it first counted, so two. There's that Kimura sweep again. A lot of confidence. He's down two nothing. Where's the confidence going to come for? He's losing the striking and the grappling, Bisping. He's getting a lot of confidence because he got up. He got up in the first round, too. He got up in the first round, too. Oh, the Denisi did win, too, by the way. The first round finish for Denisi. They cashed it out, baby. So we're on a little bit of a roll here. I'll show you right here. So there's the uh, Denisi first round. If you guys didn't hear, we we the only money we really put on Denisi, we put some other bets, but my stream bet for Denisi was to win the first round. And if she lost the fight, that's what we described. If she lost the fight, it didn't matter. We just needed her to win the first round. And she won the first round. So that paid out. Round one winner, minus 145, Denisi, 125 to win 86. So if you played that, if you tailed along, it, it uh, cashed out. I think it just did. Or at some point during this fight, it did, so... Now, let me see if I can find the live odds real quick. Arguably 1-1. One, one. I'd be very upset if, if they sneak around in here for fucking... But this could be interesting right here. Minus 450 for Renat, that's it? Why is it only minus 450? Because Renat's fucking around? All right, third round. Renat could fuck around and lose this round, though. Hopefully his corner told him it was 1-1. One, one. Ooh, that spinning back fist was close. This, should, this could be an entertaining third round. Oh, look who's wrestling now. Oh, look who's wrestling. <laughs> We're not starting to laugh at him. Like, what are you doing, boy? What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't believe he got dropped that early and then really has had nothing. Renat's tired, man. I told you that when I told you in the second round that when Renat tries to wrestle now, he's not gonna be able to get it because he gassed himself throwing those fucking stupid ass shots. Renat's minus five fifty now. I need this fucking thirty twenty seven though. We're not still marching forward. He's a good striker, Zaleski is. He's dangerous against a fence, too. Those takedown attempts are terrible. There, now he's going for a real one. This is a real one. Head position, head position. He's going to dump him off to his right. Head position. I would love if he got this takedown. There it is. Run the pipe. He got away from it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're not getting a little emotional here. We're not getting a little emotional here. Zaleski's going to have a shot in this one. He's going to have a shot because we're not just fucking going to go crazy these last three minutes, it seems. Good jab. I mean, we're not just getting... What the fuck is, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> 
I mean, Zaleski probably could have won this fight if he, if Bisping is right in that regard. If he was just moving forward and doing more, Renat's giving him a chance to win this fight. And this minus, minus three and a half might get fucked right now. I mean, this minus three and a half is going to get fucked. Renat's losing this round. Somebody's corner is fucking screaming. That takedown attempt is fucking terrible. Good knee, though. He almost walked right into that head kick, too. He's got to catch one of those kicks or something to get a takedown. This scorecard could, should be interesting. It feels like Zaleski's winning this round, but... That 30-27 is going to be fucked. There's a left hand there by Renat. I need Renat to fucking win this round. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It hurt him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's hurt. His body's hurt. You can't recover from body shots. Oh, my God. He that 3027's fucked for sure. Renat looks like he's recovered at some, some point. He's looking at the clock, or he's trying to find the clock. 3027 is fucked. Oh my god, he almost fucking pulled it off. Is this going to be a 10-8? Is it going to be a draw? Renat's fine now, I think. Unless he gets submitted. Renat's being very casual with this defense. Fight the hands. He's being so casual with this. He's very casual with this. He's not even trying to defend it normally. He just knows that he's good. Yeah, he knows he's good, but fuck, man. You don't want to stay there. It's under now. His chin's under now. Head and arm. There we go. Oh, my God. Imagine the upkick landing. Dude, the, 30, the minus three and a half just got fucked, man. Holy shit. I don't think Zaleski's going to get this decision, but he fucked a lot of shit up. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Holy shit. He almost did it. Is he going to win? The, there's no, I don't think he's going to win this decision. That's not a 10-8 either, I don't think. We're not just fucking around, man. Holy shit, he's just fucking around. That's what happens. That's what happens when you're in there just having fun. This isn't a, this isn't a fucking sport to have some fucking fun. We just got juiced on everything. Fucking we're not, man. I hope he uh, fucking... Fuck. If, I mean, everyone was talking about everyone getting fraud checked and fucking Renat just almost got fraud checked. He might have gotten fraud checked. And honestly, I think he did get fraud checked. If he's going to fight like that against top level people, he's a fucking fraud. I mean, he should win. I mean, he should. it should be 29-28 for Renat. But Zaleski almost fucking pulled that off. We're not one, but he's a fraud. Yeah, I agree. I'd be very surprised if Zaleski won this decision. And they're going to start booing the shit out of it, but that's just the way it is. I almost just lost my house. <laughs> I mean, there was a, uh, like I said, there was a judge that had it 2-0 or uh, two rounds for uh, Cowie. I just didn't like how he was, like, not defending that choke at all. Like, he knew he was good. All right, I'm not looking at the chat.
A draw. Majority draw. Majority draw. That was a 10-8. Look, he's excited about it. That's a 10-8. Dude, I don't know if that's a 10-8. Dude, I mean... Look at Renat. Like, why is Renat? This is what I hate. Renat right now, not being disgusted with himself, not being like he's just like in there having a good time. That's an, that's an instant fade. Look at him pumping up the crowd. No, nice job, guy. Renat's a fucking fade forever. He's a fucking fade forever. You're just in there having fun? No thanks. No thanks! I don't know if that's a 10-8. I lose money either way, so I'm not biased. I don't know if that's a 10-8. I mean, he hurt him to the body. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. Is that a 10-8? Reese with the two spot. We're not, won't have any trouble getting fights now. Yeah, everyone will be willing to fight that guy. I mean, he was staying safe. He almost got it. I mean, he threatened to take down after he got dropped. I don't know. That's a 10-8, man. Oh, I forgot to play DraftKings at all. I just realized I have no DraftKings lineups. That was a fixed fight, $1.99. I don't know if that's a 10-8, man. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look, we're not like having a good time. Like, he's taking pictures with the fans and stuff. Like, that's not a competitor. I'm sorry. That's not a competitor. That's not a that's not a killer. If somebody, if I went in there, and I was a big favorite, and I had won 20 fights in a row, and I went in there and, and, and laid an egg like that, almost got finished in the third round, survived, and had a draw, I'm not in there celebrating. I'm not in there clapping my hands, taking pictures with I'm fucking, in, I'm, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted with myself. I almost had the guy out of the first round, and it came down to that, and it ends up in a draw. That's not a competitor, man. Fuck. Shit. All right. I'm all ears on this one. I'm all ears on this one. That piece of shit is a forever fade. Yeah, fuck, man. All right, what are we doing for this one? I'm all ears for this one. I don't get, whatever you guys want to do on this one, I'll do on this one. Kanan. Oh, what was I going to play on this one? Inside the distance, decision, no action, right? You guys didn't move the line on me, did you? You guys moved the line on me. You sons of bitches. This was minus 180, wasn't it? Wasn't this minus 180 when we were looking at it? You guys all played that and moved the line? Bren, Bren, Brenner getting fraud checked? He's a tough kid, though. I think I think Brenner, round two, could be the play. Elvis Brenner, round two, submission. Round two submission. Brenner's not like a, a super dangerous guy on the feet. Club and sub type type situation. This card is rigged. If it was rigged, they would have had Cowie fucking get that decision. Just killed your ROI. You had Renat and all the parlays. Yeah, parlays got killed with uh, Renat for sure. I did not have him in parlay. I just had that three and a half that got fucking killed. We could play, oh, yeah, I don't mind playing round one, Kanan, KO, even though Brenner's a tough guy, he's been put on skates, Brenner has been put on skates before early, his, his, his striking defense is not great, Kanan, round one, KO, and then Brenner, round two, submission, four of... Four or five of uh, Zaleski's past opponents have been from Russia. That man's on a Drew Dober type mission. You guys want to play round one KO from Kanan. 
And then round two submission from Brenner. Do we agree with that? Yes or no? And then we'll find something else as well. No? No? Psst. You guys are no fun. Shit. Shit. You guys are no fun. Shit. Shit. We're not robbery. Just reduce my parlay odds. Didn't wipe it out. Yeah, just going to reduce your odds. It's not a loss, but you're not going to get paid out as much as you would. I think money lines just uh, void out as well. At least on bet online, they'll just void out your money lines. Even though you can bet draw, technically, technically they can make you lose all those money line bets because you can bet draw. The bet is an option, but typically bet online will just void your money line bets too. <laughs> But technically, the books could fuck you. Because you could bet uh, draw. You guys are not helping me, man. Nobody's saying shit. It will void you, yeah. And then just Brenner inside the distance. I kind of like this inside the distance decision of action. Oh my god, somebody got canceled. Rodolfo and Armin is canceled, guys. Oh my god, this card is fucking... What's with these fucking cards, man? Rodolfo and Armin is fucking canceled. Armin got fucking sick. What a joke. What an absolute joke. So that means they're gonna kill fucking 20 minutes right now. I bet they move that Brenner fight. They're gonna move that Brenner fight to the main card now. Probably. My stream kind of stopped, so I don't know what they're saying right now. Wow, dude. I felt decent about... That's, that's going to kill a lot of people. I know a lot of people are probably on Armin. Wow. DraftKings is going to be fucked. Because those are that was probably a high play in DraftKings. Both those guys were like, what, 8,000, 8, 8,200? Jesus Christ. What a fucking disaster. Holy shit. I like my value on Rodolfo, too. Oh, my God. I only have, like, two bets left now. Armor was about to sleep that old man. Psh, shit. Shit. So glad this isn't a pay-per-view because of what a shit show. Yeah, I mean, fuck, man. I hope that they just start this next fight. They're not going to. I, hope, I was hoping they'd just start this next fight and then just shorten the main card. Like, just, who gives a fuck? Start the main card at eight and just fucking keep it rolling with four or five fights. Fuck, man. They moved it to the main card. That means we got fucking 20 minutes to kill. What are we going to do now? Just look at Instagram pictures? Oh, my God. We got so much time to kill. It's crazy. La -da 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 -da. What are we going to talk about, man? Should I just so, should I fire up Fortnite and just start playing Fortnite right here? I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of fucking hungry. Oh, I got jerky right here, I think. Nibble on some jerky. I'm, gl I'm so glad now that I didn't play DraftKings. I literally just finished saying that I forgot to play DraftKings this week, and then that just fucks everyone. How many people just got absolutely fucked because of DraftKings? That sucks so bad. That was going to be a good fight. I think that was going to be a good fight. Yeah, Rodolfo and Armin is canceled, everyone. Holy shit. This is the most irritating, irritating shit. All right, let's get back to this. We got time to discuss it now. Oh, this is back to minus 180. Is that a sign to play it? All right, we got to win some money now in these fights. How long until this company folds? I don't think it's that serious, but it sucks. I mean, they fucking lost three fights now. I mean, technically four fights this week. 
because uh, Reba Vix dropped, Ishmael fight dropped, um, uh, the fucking uh, Victor Hugo fight dropped, and now the Rodolfo fight dropped. Four fights dropped. Shit. Shit. Brenner gets hit a lot. I'm definitely gonna let's lock in this Canyon first round KO. Because I do, I do think he gets hit early and often. What do we, what, I mean, what, 25 to win 375? If, if this card's going to get crazy, we might as well get crazy with the card. You know what I mean? If this card's going to get crazy, let's get crazy with the card. Kanan, you got to match energy sometimes. First round KO. What I put? 25 wins, three. what, 375? Something like that. What are you guys playing for Brenner? Everyone that's playing the Brenner side, what are you playing? That's all I want to play on Kanan. What are you playing on the Brenner side? I think I want to play something like second round or something, right? Pandy says, please place my chat bet Brenner by decision. You guys know I hate playing fucking decision bets. I hate playing decision bets. I hate rooting for decisions. Round three, Chubb. Round two, round three. We don't think he's going to KO him, do we? It's weird that these are even. I mean, Brenner's definitely more of a submission guy. Round one, Brenner fraud check. Should we play some parlays here? Should we get a parlay going? Let's do a parlay. Let's take let's take votes right now for a parlay. And we'll we'll parlay the, the rest of the main card. We'll see how it plays out. I'll put a hundred dollars on it. I'll put hundred and three dollars and ninety-three cents. Put it in the chat right now, Elvis or Kanan for the first fight. Let's let's parlay the, the main card. Let's have some fun. The arena is empty. I'm telling you. They're not great fans. They're not great fans. Elvis, Elvis, Kanan, Elvis. Elvis, Kanan, Elvis, Kanan. Elvis, Elvis, Elvis. Brenner, Brenner, Elvis, Brenner. What are you snacking on? I got a little bit of beef jerky left. It's actually just dog turds. That's just the big old chunk of frozen poopy. It's not going to focus. Oh, oh, oh. Just the big old chunk of frozen poopy. All right. Elvis Elvis is the winner. Elvis is the winner. Kayo or Abus? Kayo or Abus? It's probably going to be overwhelming Kayo. And we can start hedging. Like right now, we have Elvis... We hedged with Kane in first round KO. We might do the same with Kayo. We might play Abus first round KO to hedge this parlay a little bit. Kayo, 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 Kayo. Abus, 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 Kayo, Kayo, Kayo. Kayo, Abus, Kayo. Everyone that is saying Abus, are you okay with us being... Oh my God, the odds are moving. Are you okay with us playing the Kayo on the parlay, but Abus first round KO? Does that make sense? We'll hedge it a little bit. Not too crazy. We're not going to hedge it like we just hedge Kanan. But play Kayo in the parlay, but play Abu's first round a little bit. You pick, you guys pick Kayo. We'll pick Kayo. All right, Rodrigo or Dante? Rodrigo or Dante? And remember, Dante Mays. Indiana, baby. Dante, Indiana. He has the Indiana State flag fucking tattooed on him. I don't even have that. Dante's got the Indiana State flag tattooed on him. All right, let me go through this. Dante, Maze, Dante, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Maze, Dante, neither. Rodrigo, Dante is dust. Rodrigo, 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 Maze, Rodrigo, 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 Rodrigo. Dante Mays trains with John Jones. You know who else trained with John Jones? Walt Harris. 
that's what I was talking about in Discord. This, <laughs> John Jones had like a, a thing, like a, a promo video before the gun fight, and hats off to him, he smoked gun. But he was like, I trained with all killers. I trained, <laughs> these were the names he listed. John Jones is like, I trained with all killers. I trained with Dante Mace. I trained with Walt Harris. I trained with Maurice Green. I trained with Jorgen DeCastro. All killers. That's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty weak list. And Walt Harris got fucking smoked after training with John Jones. So, I think you guys picked Rodrigo on this one as well. You guys are chalk so far. Gabriel or Dolby? It's got to be Gabriel. Right? I'm not putting Dolby in a parlay. Now, be honest. Okay? If we put J Jalton in this, if we put Jalton in this, it's 100 to win $328. Okay? Yeah, Rodolfo fight's canceled. It's 100 to win $331. Okay. We switch this around. It is 100 to win $1,700. It is 100 to win $1,700. So, and I need to be serious. Don't chase the money here. Just let me know right now. The final leg of the chat parlay. Are we going Derek Lewis? Or are we going Jarlton Almeida? And be honest with me. Play the under one and a half. I think it can go over, over one and a half. We could do the under one and a half if you want to. It's kind of bitch made though. It's kind of pussy shit. Kind of pussy shit. But if we're sitting here and all of these hit, boom, 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 and we got Derek Lewis in the main event, this could be very fun. This could be very fun. No under one and a half pussy shit. I agree. Might as well just play Jalton if you're going to play the under one and a half. Fuck it. I think we do this right here. $103.93 wins $1,702.20. Now, Lewis is not, not as bad as people think. Let's do this. Let's play one more parlay. We locked that in. I mean, that's locked in. That's locked in. Let's play another interesting... Let's play a two-legger parlay right here. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to put $50 on it. Brenner and Kanan, is it under or over one and a half? Over or under? We're going to play a two-legger here. We're going to do this one and this one. Whatever you guys choose, I'll put 50 bucks on it. Over or under? If you want to take Lewis, take him KO or TKO. Yeah, you can't parlay that on a battle line, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would. Over, 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 over. A lot of overs. All right, over. It seems like over is overwhelming. Overwhelming over. All right. Now we got that. All right. Shh. All right. It's enough. That's enough. This next one, Kayo and Abus. Over or under? Two and a half. And this will finish off the uh, the uh, the parlay for the 50 for these next two fights. What am I watching? We're just trying to fucking kill some time now because the Rodolfo and Armin fight got dropped. And now they're killing time. So now we got to kill time. All right. Now we're on this. Abus and Kayo. Over or under two and a half? It's a tough one. I agree. Under. Under. US, UFC gave us a sign Lewis is getting waxed. Was he getting waxed on the promo video they just showed? Is that what you guys are saying? <laughs> is that what you guys are saying? He's getting waxed under, under, over, over. Literally under, or ideally under, over. Post the parlay, I missed it. 
Brazil isn't going to let Lewis win. I mean, they didn't do Denise any any justice. They did give two rounds to Kaya, though. Brazilian rat wax? He went and got a Brazilian wax? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Over? It seemed like more people were on the under. Over, over. Now the overs are flying in now. The only good fight, the only finish we've really had is the the Vitor fight, right? Over, over. You guys are playing the over. All right. I think the overs came through and won. 50 wins, 128.75. And this is your guys's. This isn't me. I'm just listening to the chat. Hmm. Abu's going to be hungry but smart. He knows his gas tank is sus. I could see that. I'll play that. So we have the over one and a half on the next fight and the over two and a half in a parlay. 50 wins 128. So let's remember that as well. The full card, main card parlay that you guys chose for the most part was Elvis, Kayo, Rodrigo, Gabriel, and Derek Lewis. Is it really empty right now? Like actually empty? That's so crazy. I mean, it's not really that crazy, but I mean, they left for the uh, for for Glover's fucking retirement, man. Glover's your your dude, man. Felt bad for him. I think I, I I've been I've been leaning on a boost the more the week goes on. Kyle feels like it could be like the Renat fight. To where, like, he comes in and, like, acts like an idiot or, like, is dancing around trying to do the karate stuff. And then it's, like, all of a sudden, he just all of a sudden, he's, like, losing. And you're, like, oh, fuck. Like, well, like, what happens now? Dude, they all, they did all leave, huh? They said, fuck this. We got shit to do. We got, we got dance parties to go to. We got dance parties to go to. Dean's looking sharp, though. Got the sweater with the jacket. Damn, that place is like fucking empty. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Some of the, I mean, obviously the New York crowd will be good. They're a good crowd. The, um, some of the best crowds are honestly, like Texas is always good. Like UFC Austin will be fucking insane. How safe is that night there? I think it depends on where you go. I mean, I'll be living there. I mean, I'm going to be living there pretty soon. <laughs> pretty soon. Damn, all these guys are, like, warming up and stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, that almost lost my contact. Don, tail me. He's a little slow. Fuck, man. Abu's chin tested. When they left Clover was the biggest disrespect I've ever seen from the audience. Yeah. Like, that's your boy, man. That's a former champ. That dude's doing it. People are screaming to fade a boost. He's large and in charge. There's nothing worse than that to kill time. Did you guys watch the Fury fight? Dude, I was I was literally worn out waiting for that fight to start. I turned that card on when there was one fight left on the prelims at whenever it was, like at 3 o'clock or something like that, my time, and the fight didn't start until like after 6 p.m. I was on my couch just like fucking worn out when they were killing all that time before the Naganu fucking Fury fight. That was insane. Holy fuck, that was insane. And by the way, she hasn't responded to me, but that chick that performed, I like her. What was her name? Martha B or something? Martha B? Something B. It's like, uh, fucking, what's her, fucking, what was her name? Becky, Becky G, Becky G, is that what it was? Something, something B, Becky G, Becky G, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, here we go, I haven't even looked at her Instagram, I don't think, Becky G, Becky G, you guys know Becky G? Ooh. Oh my God. 
She's got 37 million followers. Holy fuck. That's my girl, I think. This is why you guys got to follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Become a premium member. So I have a shot with girls like this. I got to get... That's all I care about. I'm straight up and honest, man. I just want to get fucking to that level to where I get to send a little message and they're going to look at it because that's all it takes. I mean, fuck, man. Jesus. Focus. Holy fuck, man. We're going to go on a tangent here. Yo, $1.99, you forgot to show us the message from some chick. I don't remember what you're talking about. Appreciate the $1.99, uh, Dr. Y. I don't remember what you're talking about. But yeah, this girl is uh, something else. And she was, and you know what's funny too is I've assumed that she was from some Latina country, some Spanish country, Mexico or something. She's from fucking, she's from California. But, you know, good for her. Does anybody else have something like ra really random like that? That you think is like top level female? That you think that, who's the, okay, let's do this. And this is very for very scientific. Who is the hottest girl that you know about that you think that nobody else knows about? That's the question I want to ask. Who is the hottest girl that you know about that you think nobody else will know about? You know what I mean? Is Kane on short notice? Yeah, like four days notice. My girl, my sister, your mom. I mean, I'm trying to be serious. This, I'm trying to have like an actual genuine conversation right now. Did we place that round two for Brenner yet? Oh, we didn't place the Brenner stuff. We got to finish placing this Brenner stuff. Oh, shit. All right, we're playing uh, Brenner round two, right? Round two submission or just round two? Eva Mendez. Eva used to be my fucking girl, man. Pollyanna. You guys are naming people that everyone knows. I needed to know a name that I don't know. Mia Khalifa. I've watched all the videos. Sharon White. There, I don't know that name. Let me look at Sharon White. Sharon White. Sharon White official. That's a fucking ginormous ass. Is that her actual? That's not her actual Instagram. Sharon White. Does she have an Instagram? It doesn't look like she has an Instagram, but there's some pictures of her on here. If this is who it is. Does she have a ginormous ass? Elsa Jean. Elsa Jean. Elsa Jean official. Wait. Why does it say Sapphire or something? Elsa Jean. And don't fucking, I swear to God, if you send me one of these and it's like a she male or something and I'm in here like, oh my God, she is like smoking hot. And then you guys are like, ha, 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 she's got a cock. I don't want that. Okay. Jinx Maze. We got to place this bet. Hold on. We're placing a round two Brenner submission. I, we don't give a fuck at this point. I'm putting $50 on it too. Who gives a fuck? Three seventy five. dollars I mean, if this card's going to turn like this, well, let's turn with it. Who wants that chat bet? All right. Jinx Maze. Are these just all... Are you just naming porn stars? Are these just porn stars? This sounds like a porn star name. 50,000 followers? I don't even know if these are official. She's got an OnlyFans. She's pretty hot. What else we got? Blair White, that seems like it could be a she-male. Just, I don't know why. Blair White. I can't even find these people's Instagrams. They're like just fan pages. Do they have actual Instagram account accounts? You're spamming it, but I'll look for it. Send ya... Marin, half human. Oh, 
Oh. This isn't a dude, right? Oh. Nah, this ain't a dude. There's no way. Oh. Yo, whoever spanned that? Hey, yo. Yo. Hold on. Let me make sure I can look. Hold on. Let me type this in real quick. Brenner. Round two sub. Yo, this might be the winner in the clubhouse right now. Wins. I think that was 350, something like that. Yo, this might be winner in the clubhouse right now. I mean, holy shit. Is this a man? No way this is a man, right? Hey, yo. You like her, don't you, Jakey boy? That's good, Steve. I like that. All right, moving on to the next one. What do we got? Blair is a he? That's not a fucking... That's not a dude, right? <laughs> That's not a dude, right? Keep scrolling. Oh, is it going to be like all of a sudden it's a dude? That's not a dude. There's no way. Nah, there's not a dude. That's not a dude. Oh, shit. You're right. Keep scrolling. Yeah, it's not a dude. If that's a dude, it, it is what it is at that point. I'm in too deep at this point. It is. All right. Alexa. Alexa. Nar. 1.9 million followers. Oh, Policia. Oh. 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 Is she actually a police officer? Where is she from? Where does this where she live? She's actually a police officer. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, I've been bad boy. Oh, I've been bad sissy boy. I've been a bad sissy boy. All right, what what's the next one? Blair is a dude for sure. It is what it is at this point. Blair is a dude. Blair is not a dude. Oh, Blair is a dude. I didn't even look at Blair, did I? I was looking at Senya. Where's Blair? I don't see Blair's Instagram. There's like fan pages or something. I never looked at Blair. Hannah C. Palmer. Hannah C. Palmer? This is not a dude. I can tell that immediately. Not bad. I've, I've kind of gotten off of the blonde thing. I honestly have kind of gotten off the blonde thing. She's obviously hot. I mean, that's a good call. Obviously hot, but I've kind of gotten off the blonde thing. I don't know why. Kind of gotten off the blonde thing. Blair was on Joe Rogan. Blair is a famous conservative YouTuber. What's her What's her uh, fucking Instagram? Because if I just search Blair White, it doesn't come up with anything. Christine Chandler. Christine Chandler. You got to put like their Instagrams in here because I can't find them when I'm just searching for the shit. I'm just finding random people like a thousand followers. Is this an MMA stream or a horny ass stream? Well, this card went to shit, so we're going to shit with it. Okay? Everyone just start putting your uh, girlfriend Instagram in the in the chat. I think that's a good idea. Honestly. If you just, everyone just spam it with, like, their Instagram. <laughs> Fuck it. Girlfriend's Instagrams. Who's got a hot girlfriend that just wants to show it off to the world? Who's got a hot-ass girl? I mean, if you want to show it off, you want to stretch your shit and get a bunch of people DM, and I'll DM her, too. I'll DM her, too. I just fucking unplugged my headset. I just stepped on my cord. I mean, I'll fucking DM her, too. Somebody wants to throw in their girlfriend's Instagram? Somebody put it in there, S2K1M. That's your girlfriend, huh? Something feel about this feels like a trap. 600,000 followers. I'm not caught. Something, something about that feels like a trap. What happened to the Armin fight? Armin started throwing up in the back, in the back because he knew he was about to get fucking submitted very easily. And he fucking left. Elizabeth has a very serious question. Here we go. Elizabeth has a date. She has a question. For a date night, which one would you choose? A, a short sweater dress with knee-high boots. I'm horny already. <laughs> I don't even need to see the second option already. Or jeans with a black bodysuit. 
A or B, everyone? Does she wear a short sweater dress with knee-high boots? Or jeans with a black bodysuit? I need help. I haven't been on a date in years. Knee-high boots is going to get anybody going at any time. I'll tell you that right now. Knee-high boots is going to get anybody going at any time. Look at all the A's. It depends on... And honestly, it probably depends on what your goals are here tonight, Elizabeth. Because all of these A's are here for a, for a reason, Elizabeth. You know what I mean? The A's are here because if you want to send that tone or you want to send that message like, Hey, I'm in charge and I'm here and I'm the alpha, that's the A. If you want to kind of just kind of play it a little bit cooler or whatever... That's probably the B. You know, so. But the bodysuit, yeah, the bodysuit is like. So it's a bodysuit with jeans. So like the top is like tight with the bodysuit, but you have jeans on, right? I kind of like that too. I kind of like that too. All right, you said Sydney. Sydney. Cleaver? I don't see that Instagram. <laughs> Maya Jamma. Maya Jamma. Oh. That's a good one. This is like this is like this is my girl here. Like you want to talk about like my type? Whoever said Maya Jamma, this is even if this is a guy somehow, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, even if this was a guy, I don't give a fuck. Like there could be a there could be literally a dick hanging out right there in that picture. I, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. I literally would not care at that point. But yeah, have fun on the date, Elizabeth. Look, Elvis got hair implants, by the way. All right, we're locked in again. Main card time. Elvis got the hair implants. That shit's going to grow in nice, but right now it's a little bit frosty. That's why he couldn't dye the hair. Kenyon's looking a little bit softer than his Dana White Contender Series fight. So that's why you want to go to Brazil? Why? Why? I mean, if you're with the girl, I'm, t I'm telling you right now, if you're with that girl, if that girl walks in and then drops a dick out of her pants, you're going to tell her to leave? No. You're going to just r roll with the punches, man. That's what life's all about. Sometimes life gives you lemons and you make orange juice. You know? You just got to... All right. We are live for the main card, finally. We've lost hundreds and thousands of viewers in this fucking 30-minute wait. Nobody could deal with the horniness of the stream, but we're going to try to build it back and still make some money on this fucking card. I'll tell you that. I don't have anything for premium on this one. I only have like two more premium bets, to be honest with you. Fifteen and one, Brazil versus Brazil on this one. The judges are very confused on who they're going to rig this one for. The judges have no idea what to do on this one. Brazil versus Brazil. They're just sitting there shook. Oh God, what do we do? What do we do? What's your opinion on Asian girls? I was uh, the last girl I dated was Asian. I've been with everyone. Literally, I'm pretty, I've been with literally everyone. I like them all. <laughs> I'll be honest, I like them all. <laughs> I'm not real picky, man. I like them all, man. Brenner getting chin. All right, we have Canyon first round KO. We got a little bit wild with that. And Brenner second round sub. I think it's all we played, right? 
Did we play something else? And we have Brenner in that parlay. That main card parlay. Oh, my God. Wow, that ref fucking sucks. I hate this ref already. All right, here we go. We're back to the action here. Brenner does get hit. He's tough, but he can't get chin. There's no doubt about that. Is that going to hurt if he gets if he starts rubbing on his head? Is that going to pull all those plugs out? He's going to have a nice ass hairline though. Brenner's going to look fucking crispy with that hairline. I mean, he is going to look fucking crispy with that hairline. <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh, heavy kick. Nice old right hand there by Brenner. It'll be interesting to see if Brenner looks for takedowns early. Because his takedowns with Garam were more of like um, opportunistic than they were like actually like forcing takedowns, I would say. And he's probably an opportunistic fighter. We had the over one and a half on this, right? So it's looking good so far with this, with this pace. We have a Brenner in a parlay and then you guys played the over one and a half on another parlay. So we'll see how those play out. Yellow is going to get dropped, I think. Brenner doesn't have like crazy power. And Brenner, that's why I hate blind leg kicks. Dude, people get lit up so much throwing blind kicks. You got to set them up. The worst one I ever saw was when, um, I think it was Jason Witt versus, um, who was that? Jason Witt very early through like just a lazy blind kick. Oh, it was a headbutt. Look at a headbutt. Oh, 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 they're trading now. But Jason Witt threw like a lazy ass fucking uh, leg kick and just got fucking sniped down the pipe and put out bad. I can't remember who that was. Keeneland? Yeah, it might have been. That sounds right, actually. That sounds right. Like, just the laziest kick ever, and just right down the pipe, just fucking destroyed him. And Jason Witt just kind of is what he is. In his, in his nickname. Oh, oh, oh! That was a good left hook. Good heavy leg kicks, too. And this would have been, Re Rebovix would have been my lock of the week against Brenner. So let's, let's try to imagine if this was Rebovix in this fight. I think Rebovix would have been the better striker. But Brenner definitely is a little bit more measured. Maybe it's because it's short notice. He doesn't really know this guy very well. Dude, Kenyon kind of looks like a uh, like a video game character. The way he's just marching forward. There's dun, 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 dun. It looks like a fucking AI. Like he just stays in the same position the whole time. Like, he's not really doing any real big feints or anything. <laughs> he just fucking like, dun, da dun, da dun, da dun, da dun, da dun, da dun. Ooh. It seems like the crowd's kind of back, though. Maybe they just went out to smoke or something. And I have to imagine the longer the fight goes, it's going to favor Brenner. Brenner's a tough dude. He's got a good gas tank. Oh, shit. Now they're trading now. Whoa! NPC fighter. I'm going to get that neck tattoo, I think. You guys be all right if I got a crown neck tattoo? Oh, he slept them bad! Oh, my God. I fucking missed it, too. I just saw it was just like a, like a left hand or something. He fucking destroyed him. Face planted him. Holy fuck. Yo, I think the Cowie loss. <laughs> I think the Cowie loss was a little bit better than what Rebovix might have got. Oh my God. He slept him bad. Oh my God. That could have been Rebovix. That could have been Rebovix. Holy shit. That was not over one and a half, but Elvis hit for the fucking parlay at least. First leg of the main card parlay. Dude, put him on a stool. He's not okay, man. Put him on a stool. Holy fuck. Oh! 
Was that on? Was that like right on the temple, dude? He was out cold. Dip the head. Oh, right behind the ear, right behind the fucking ear. Whoo! Right on that little soft spot, that little soft baby skull, right on the ear too. Out cold. And good for him for not following up. A lot of people probably would have fucking landed one more shot on that. Dude, for him to be knocked out that cold and be standing up and fine 30 seconds later is wild. Oh my God. Dude, he was he was fucking fully slept. And then 30 seconds later, he was just up and good. That's kind of crazy recovery, to be honest with you. Dude, if this was... If that was boxing, he might have been able to make an eight count. He might have been able to make an eight count. I mean, he was out cold, so they would have stopped it. But, I mean, he was like... That was wild. Talk about a lucky punch. What? If that's a lucky punch, then every KO ever is a lucky punch. That's just a that's just a good left hand over the top. Holy shit. Let's go with this main card then, baby. That's the first leg. You guys played the over uh one and a half. You guys played the over one and a half. Shame, shame. Shame, shame. Everyone that said over one and a half. You lost me fifty dollars. Shame, shame. Shame, shame. All right. Are we doing... Oh, man. Are the Brazilians just going to run the main card now? Is Kyle going to do the same thing? The man that said it was Lucky Punch lost his money? Could be, yeah. Lost his 75 bucks. Charles Oliveira minions cannot be stopped. Yeah, that Rebovix fight would have been interesting. Rebovix is obviously a, probably a better fighter than uh, than Kenyon in that matchup. So uh, it would have been interesting, but we didn't get it. So it is what it is. Good win by Brenner, though. There's a reason he was a favorite. Should have been a bigger favorite, probably, I guess. Oh, oh, Greenbat, you're back. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? I said I'd give it to you, Greenbat. And don't do anything stupid, Greenbat. Don't be a don't be a fucking weirdo about it either. Don't be a fucking pussy about it. Green bed, green bed, green bed. All right, what's the uh, chat bet on this one? Fight does not go the distance. I mean, there could be value, but if this card starts going like this, are we gonna play the the Abus first round KO? I think we should. Second round submissions locked. You want Kyle? Oh, my God. Look, Green Bat. Oh, the first round. Oh, they're watching the stream. They're watching the stream. Look, they locked it. First round, Abus locked. Kyle, round two sub, locked. Oh, they unlocked it. Abus deadly in round one. Dude, what about Abus round one submission? What's Abus just round one? Oh my god, the odds are dropping like crazy. Everyone just saw a knockout and they're losing their minds. They're losing their minds. I'm putting 20 on it to win 180. They just locked it again. Unbelievable. They just locked it again. Oh my god. Everything's getting wild. They're trying to protect themselves. Everything's getting wet and wild. No, not Kyle round one. What the fuck? Oh my God, all the odds are flying around. It's happening fast, everyone. Hot and heavy. 2020. Let's do 25 25. This is for you, Green Bat, if I can get it in. Oh my God, they're just fucking locking everything down, guys. They're locking everything down. Look at all these odds changing. Holy shit, look at all of them flying around. They're locking everything. I'm trying to play anything I can, I can't play anything. That KO was crazy. I'm just trying to play something, dude. Please. Let me give me you. I just want to donate. Let me donate some money. 
Let me donate some money. Kyle, round two. 25. Unlock that shit. Just let me donate some money here. Oh, it plays. We got, we got second round. 650. You want round three as well, Green Bat? We'll do 20 on it. Round three. Fuck. All right, we got round two at least. Fuck. Is there anything else we might play? I mean, Abus could get a takedown, right? Over two takedowns for Kayo? I almost want to play both of these. Abus could get a takedown. Abus can wrestle. When you panic gamble, you're definitely donating. Oh, this is what we do, baby. Look at him just locking all this shit down. Makes me sick. Makes me fucking sick to my stomach right now. Just give me 15 on it. Fucking assholes, dude. Fucking assholes, dude. Dude, people are just flying around on these bets. Abus. Unbelievable, dude. Fucking dickheads. What about a boost second round KO? A boost first round submission, maybe? Imagine. Oh, well, fucking let me play that. All right, well, I guess we have 10... I guess we have fucking $10 on a boost first round submission. Should we just play round one? Plus 600? I mean, fuck. I need to get that round three submission Kaio in. Round three? Can I play round one? 20 on each? Doesn't let me play the round three. It'll let me play the round one, though. All right, well, we have round one and round two now. I'm trying, Green Bat. I mean, fuck. What are they doing to us? Round three. What's everyone else playing on this one? I mean, it's a, it's a, what a fucking joke. This is absolutely a fucking joke. Cash out after round one. Sprinkle up boost for value plus 375. Cash out after round one. Well, there's no cash out on Bet Online. This ain't, this ain't fucking pussy shit, Bet Online. You know what I mean? Maga met up by decision. What about this? What about we play split decision on this? This could be a split decision, huh? Anybody else feel split decision? Fight goes to a split. Oh, it's only plus 350? Holy shit. A boost round one based on what? Well, he was kind of not smoking Sean Strickland, but... Did we get the round... I can't even remember what we placed at this point. Did we get round one? No, we didn't. We got round one submission. I mean, this is a fucking... This is absolute fucking catastrophe happening right now in front of our eyes. And if I boost wins in first round KO, I'm going to be really upset. Really upset. All right, can we get round three submission back? This is crazy. This is wild. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. They're panicking right now. Look at all the lines just flying around. Kyle's minus 300 now. You could have Magomedov most significant strikes and wins by KO. I think we should play that. If he wins, I think we should play that. Plus three, plus 750? I chose Rebovix, but that punch would have bodied him. Yeah, he's a little bit of a different striker, but I mean, Brenner definitely looked good for sure. It could have been, it could have been even more embarrassing than the, uh, than the fucking Fernandez fight. The Fernandez, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's literally what I mean. If it gets out of the first round, I said if it gets out of the first round, I mean, now they just cancel all the lines. I right, we're fucked. They just shut. They're gonna shut it all down. It is what it is. I was very, very clear that if it leaves the first round, that that Kyle was probably going to lose that fight. And he won the first round on two scorecards. So, it is what it is. All right, I'm going to see if I can bet, bet this on my phone. Because I think they moved it all over to the live betting right now. And the live betting on my fucking computer gets a little bit weird and wet and wild. 
All right, I can play this. I can just I can only do the round lines though. I have Kayo first round submission. Kayo second round submission. This is just turned into a fucking. This is turned into what the cards turn into. Just a fucking disaster. I have Kayo first round submission. Kayo second round submission. Abus first round submission. Who knows? I don't like anything about this fight. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like anything about this fight. Jacob has a man crush on Kyle. I do like Kyle. I don't have anything against a boost either, though. A boost should be able to get it done. How many people just have straight money lines on a boost right now? Did you take the under on Brenner? No, everyone in the chat told me to take the over. It has to be a boost round one or Kyle round two or three, surely. It feels like this is going to be a boring decision. Because a boost is good, man. I mean, these odds are probably pretty disrespectful for a boost. He's good. He just got tired. But he's good. Damn, is Abus going to win this fight? I'm almost want to bet a money line. And I mean, the chat, you can, you can tell this fight is wild because the chat's all over the place too. Everyone's like, Abus, easy, Kyle by KO, Kyle by sub. I mean, you guys are all over the place right now. They fucked you, I said take the under. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't like completely split, but there definitely was some of you that said under. I was leaning on the under as well, but... Why did they show the Abus throwing a head kick at Sean? All right, let me pee real quick, too. I got to pee real quick. Be right back. How's that boost look? Does he look confident? There's a lot of Vaseline on that eyebrow, I'll tell you that. But the Pacers are in a fucking barn burn right now. Halliburton's got 43 points, and they might lose. They're down three to the Hornets with 40 seconds left. Halliburton's literally got... Where's the fucking box score? You guys watch NBA? Halliburton's got 43 points. He's hit eight three-pointers. He's 8 for 12 from 3-point range. 43 points, 12 assists. The kid's unreal. Buddy had 17. Bruce Brown's been shit. Ben Matherin's been shit. Namebar's been shit. Holy shit. Fuck the Hornets. <laughs> Somebody said Abus is tired already. There's some stairs. Yeah, that's walking up the stairs. He did look a little winded. It looks like Angelo a little bit. We might need Angelo to show up to flip this card around. Maybe, maybe Angelo not jinxing one fight in turn has jinxed the entire fight. Or I mean the entire card. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we need Angelo in here. Kyle's fired up, huh? I think we might just bet something fight does not go the distance with this energy. Holy shit. Minus 188. We'll put a little. I might put a little bit on this, just for personal reasons. He seems pretty fired up, man. All this just to lay on somebody, maybe just a body triangle somebody for fifteen minutes. I'll boost, and it's so easy money. I mean, there's a lot of people that are very confident on both sides of this. This is a very hot topic. I would say that this is the most. Hot back-and-forth fight of the week. The Rodolfo and Armin one, 
But since that one dropped, I think this one is definitely the one where people have been like so confident. Oh, there's Myra Boone and Silva. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and, um, oh my God, I can't, uh, Gloria DePaula. That's her girlfriend or her wife. Girlfriend, I think. What a power couple that is, man. M Myra Bueno Silva and Gloria DePaula. That might be the, the hottest couple in the UFC. Myra Bueno Silva's got some fucking. She's got some stuff. You know what I mean? She's got some things working for. <laughs> I mean. She's got some things working for her, man. Shit. Shit. Oh, Kyle, what a great guy. What a great guy. Dude, imagine he did that. Are you allowed to do that? There's no way that's legal, right? To put your toes in the fence and like push off like that. Imagine somebody did that. They should do that more often. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I forgot to update the bets. We have Kyle. Round. I don't even know what we have at this point. Round one, two, subs. Win something. And then we have fucking Abu first round submission. Is that what we got? I mean, what a joke. This, I mean, this guy all got to, went to hell. First round sub wins, wins even more. First round sub. I mean, the bets all got fucked up. It is what it is. We'll, we'll move on to the next one. I think we got, we ended up with the first and second round, right? Second round submission wins 162. First round submission wins 100. So we put 20 to win 100 on the first round submission. 25 to win 162 on second round submission. We didn't get third. Green bat, I, I apologize. We only got the fucking second round in because they locked us out. And then we have $10 to win $250 on a boost first round submission. And I placed just a little bit on the fight does not go the distance just for whatever. But here we go. Got her. Abusha stands there fainting all fight. Fans are fired up. They're back, baby. Did the Hornets win? Fuck. All right. Timer's good. Kyle just stands so straight up and down with that chin. I just don't I just don't like that, man. His neck tattoo says free spirit. And then his bicep tattoo says fight or die. But yeah, the one on his, on his neck says free spirit. It's interesting that he gets English tattoos. Oh my god, are we just going to do this for fucking... It's going to look like this for until Kyle gets a takedown? Oh my god, I'm already bored out of my mind. His English is good though. Yeah, but just being from Brazil and stuff, it just... I don't know. I guess... Americans get like Chinese symbol tattoos and stuff all the time. Oh, Abus ate that. That was a good, that was a good left hand there. He rolled with it, and that kind of saved him, but that was a good shot there by Kayo. The issue is with Kayo is when he crashes in, he could get caught. Because he's he's not like, he's like all in or he's not. He's not in there pumping a jab and throwing combinations. He's like footwork all the way in, and when he goes all the way in, he like crashes in. And that's like, it's not good sometimes. It's good when it's good, but it's not good when it's not good. But this is like... He's not wrestling so far. And Abus is definitely fucking taking his time. Let 
There's a little jab for there from Kyle. Magomed is playing it smart and waiting on the counter. Oh my god, my stream just stopped. Oh my god, I gotta refresh. If somebody gets knocked out right now, I'm not gonna see it. I gotta refresh my stream real quick. Oh my god, my stream just stopped. I'm not seeing anything. Nobody tell me nothing. Please don't get please don't be knocked out when I come back. Please don't be knocked out when I come back. Alright, nothing's happening. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Abus has got good pressure now. I don't know if something happened during that uh, little break I just had, but Abus is good pressure. This is smart pressure, too. Because with, with Sean, he was pressuring, but he was, like, constantly throwing and throwing and throwing and throwing with the pressure. This is smarter pressure. But, I mean, Abus is still mouth open already. Three minutes in. He doesn't look physically tired, but, I mean, he's breathing out of his mouth already. Am I dropping frames now? Oh, I dropped some frames. Hopefully we're still there. Why do the commentators hate each other? Bisping and Cruz, are they arguing? <laughs> There's the first takedown. He stuffed it pretty easy, too. Whoa! Oh, he was close on that. That looked like something he fucking trained. Oh, my God, was he close on that. <sighs> Oh, my God. Dominic Cruz, that was pretty funny. We almost had this free spirit in the stand. Dude, he almost soccer kicked him. He almost fucking pele his shit into the fucking upper deck. Holy shit. Yeah, Kyle's in trouble. He's got to... Right now, he's got to hope that Abus does get tired. Because Abus is looking pretty measured. Abus was always going to be the better striker. He was always going to be the better striker. Oh. Oh, poked in the eye. That was a bad one, too. Are we going to do this? Is this going to happen now? Is this going to be a no contest? This is, I mean, it, there, there is, there was probably a 95% chance this ends in a go, no contest right now. The way that this, this one of those cards... I mean, he's, he, I, he's, I think he's going to be fine, the way he's already looking at it and stuff. I don't know. Oh, there's like something hanging from it. Oh, my God. There's like something hanging from it. It looked like there was something like in it. And this is the mistake from Goddard. Goddard should not bring the doctor in immediately. You should not bring the doctor in immediately. Give this dude two or three minutes on his own to blink it out and then get the doctor in to say, can you see? Because if the doctor, like right now, he's like forcing himself because the doctor is going to be like, can you see? So he has to make the decision right then. Goddard should give him two or three minutes. Goddard should give him two or three minutes by himself to kind of blink it out, then bring the doctor in, say, are you good? Because that forces the action for Kayo right there. Because the doctor right there is going to be like, can you see? And he's got to say, yeah, if he wants to keep fighting. But we're fighting. Thank God. And this is probably 1-0 Abus, I guess. Abus won this round, I guess? I don't know. It's a close round. They might give it to a fucking Kayo just because he's Brazilian, I guess. I don't know. What are live odds saying? Uh, give me the fucking live odds. For the love of God. Minus 250 for Kayo. Is that what I'm seeing? So they assume that he won that round or it's a close round, I guess. Minus 250 for Kayo. Who do you guys score that first one for? Abus is tired. Eye poking is cheating. I 
a boost barely round one 10 9 more aggression and control that's a i mean that was a, as close as it gets in my mind Kyle's minus 220 now, so it looks like nobody really knows what to do. Goes the distance is minus 130 now. Let's see if they get after it now. Is that arena still half empty? It's hard to tell. I don't think it is. I think they came back. All right, round two. Minus 220 for Kyle still. That's all they chant, too. <laughs> That's so funny. That's literally all they chant as well. They had three minutes of rest because the eye poke. They're both completely fresh. I don't know, Cruz. I mean, you can definitely tell Abus is definitely fucking more measured. That's for sure. Oh, Abus is laying some laying some leather. This is the Abus Dana wanted to have kick Sean down the rankings. Yeah. I mean, this is this is a win-win. I mean, right now it's not a win-win for this is actually probably worst case scenario for the UFC. Two prospects like this just kind of pitter pattering and not doing much. But as far as like a winner goes, that was a good right hand by Kyle. The UFC, I don't think, really cares who wins this fight. But they want somebody to win decisively. Like, they would love for somebody to get, like, a finish. But this fight right now is probably worst-case scenario for the UFC. Just, like, pitter-patter, one shot at a time. Kyle's kind of not even gone back to the wrestling at all. Oh! Oh! Two right hands by Kyle there. And Abus said it didn't hurt, which means it hurts. Abus is getting a little more aggressive now. This is where Abus could gas. If he starts getting a little bit more emotional. Because he's going to have to fight back. Dude, he got poked in the eye again. Kyle's winning the striking now. Good body shots there by Abus. I mean, Kaya was kind of fi fighting like Renat right now, but definitely more measured than Renat. Just abandoning the, the wrestling. Oh my God, they're smiling and laughing at each other. I hate this already. I mean, Abus is not throwing now after he got hit a couple times. And that little duck in his head and turning away is weird. Good body shot. Kyle looks good. Kyle looks fresh. Abu still has pressure, but he's definitely not throwing as much as he was. There's low right hand. I hate when they're fucking just laughing at each other when they land shots. I, I literally hate that shit. I literally fucking hate that shit. Round three finish, not sub. We didn't get that round three place. If Kyle wins by round three sub, now I'm gonna I'm gonna shit my pants. Hornets won. Fuck. Kyle is still minus two twenty on the live odds. That could be a decent value, huh? I mean, how do you guys score in this fight? I I don't know. Is this one one? Two oh Kyle? They froze the odds. I have no idea. Oh, oh, whoa. Dude, they're like best friends in there. I hate this shit.
Yeah, Dominic Cruz is annoyed with it too. Oh, good right hand by Kyle. I think he's going to win this round. Abus is split open a little bit now. I think Kyle won this round back. Yeah, Kyle won this round back, I think. It could be 2-0 Kyle. Dude, Kyle's only minus 180 now. Kyle's, oh, now he's minus 250. Yeah, the last, I think the last 15 seconds kind of started swaying people a bit more. He was minus 180 for a second. Minus 250 live odds. I think it could be 2-0. You guys think it's 1-1? It's probably 1-1 one, one or 2-0. Does anybody think it's... There's nobody that thinks it's 2-0 Abus, right? Minus 260 now for Kyle. The money's starting to come in on Kyle now. Minus 270 now for Kyle. 1-1. One, one. There's a lot... You guys... A lot of people think it's 1-1. One, one. I think it's probably 2-0. I think it's 2-0. Abu is tired. Abus. Minus 288 now for Kyle. They're getting a little bit wide now. I think he should be 350 probably going to this round. Abus haven't really seemed to land anything significant. And if Kyle was able to get a takedown, it's over. I wouldn't be surprised if Kyle went all in for it. Oh, get a takedown right there. I hate the hugging shit. <sighs> What I have for premium? Nothing on this one. I didn't have a lot of premium bets on this uh, on this card. I had Rodolfo subs. I had a parlay that missed because of uh, Denisi. The half a unit on the whatever. We're not whatever. We have fight does not go the distance that we hit. We had an under three and a half. Got our money back on whatever. We have Rodrigo. We have some. We have some for the last two fights coming up. We have a parlay too. Overall, nothing too crazy. Oh, there's another right hand by Kyle. That little step in jab that he throws is pretty slick from the southpaw. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Kyle should try to really push the pressure now. He's minus 400 now in live odds. He's really kind of taken over this fight. And I don't think Abus has anything left in, in his shots, even if he wanted to. Even if Abus lands a clean shot, I don't think he's got anything behind it. I think I think Kyle's just going to pick him apart for the last 330. Win a couple 30. It's going to be 30, 27, 30, 27, 29, 28. Something like that. Yeah, Boost doesn't have anything left. You can tell even the way he's throwing his feints, he's like, he knows he can't commit to these shots. Yeah, he's got nothing left in his hands. Kyle could break him if he wants to. I mean, he could break a Boost. We've seen him break. And I don't think he's going to have much power coming back. If Kyle wants to finish this guy, he probably can. In my opinion. He didn't like that. Yeah, he didn't like that. He's about to quit. He's looking at the fence. He's looking at the fence. Here's the quitter. Here's the quitter. Here's the quitter. He's about to go to a knee. Kyle, round three. If he wins my round three sub and I didn't get a place that bet, I'm going to fucking I'm gonna vomit. He's quitting. He's quitting. He's done. He's quitting. Look, there he goes. He's quitting. He's quitting. And if he gets a round three sub and I didn't get that bet placed, Albus is never going to change. He'll ne You cannot change that. You cannot, you cannot take that out of somebody. The, when, 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 the, when the going gets tough and you just fucking quit, you're always going to be a quitter. You're always going to be a quitter. You can't take that out of somebody. You can't take that out of somebody. If he gets a round three sub, I'm going to throw up. 
If he gets a round three sub, I'm literally going to throw up. And green bat, I'm sorry. I tried to place it. How many times did I try to place a round three sub bet? How many times did I try and place it? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to throw up. He's going to get, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to... Man, they go crazy for the jiu-jitsu in Brazil, huh? Ambus is in big trouble here. He's in big trouble. He's trying to get that shoulder in, though. Body, body lock in. Is he going to go full defense here and just not get submitted? Dude, this is terrifying now. In the middle of the octagon with Kyle on your... Dude, stop talking to him. What's he doing? You're just having a conversation with the guy? I hate that shit, man. I hate this shit. I mean, a boost for, for sure. I hate this shit for Kyle too. You're just sitting there having a conversation with them? But sitting there with a, with a Brazilian backpacking you and the crowd chanting, you will die, it's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Holy shit. He's not going to get subbed, though. Fuck, man. That's almost disappointing for Kayo, too, that he didn't get that guy out of there. That's almost disappointing for Kayo, too. Abusa, fucking fraud, though. Holy shit. Fade almost everyone? Yeah, I mean, Kayo, I mean, he's good, but... Holy shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Kyle won. It's probably going to be... A, it might be th all the way across 30-27s. You might get one twenty nine twenty eight in there. If somebody had Kyle th minus 3.5, they could get a little nervous. Could get a little nervous there. Heartbreaker. Dream maker. I mean, that's Kyle, man. How many How many decisions is that for him now? Yeah, Boos is like he's not he's not this level. He's not that guy. It's easy when you're just beating up on the regional guys. But the second the going gets tough, the tough get going. Or so whatever. Yeah, we're definitely Vitor has power, but he's not great. Renat is a fucking fraud. Kayo, he probably should have finished a guy like a Boos, right? He probably should have got he probably should have finished a guy like a boost. We'll see if Gabriel is the real deal. We're gonna see if Jalton is a good is a real deal. So at least we're learning, right? Denise is a fraud. But she's young. Denise is a fraud. She's young. Mark is boring. We know that. What were the other ones? That's pretty much it, right? Mora is good. We know Mora's good. But that was kind of an easy fight as well. We know Armin is a fucking pussy. He's throwing up in the back. Diarrhea. At least we're learning. At least we're learning. Everyone in Brazil is the best of friends. Fuck, man. Let's get this decision. I'm going to grab a water, too, real quick. Why y'all saying fraud? A boost was never top-notch. Nothing to be a fraud at. I mean, he was given Sean Strickland in a main event in his second fight. That's how good the UFC thought this guy was. That's why people are saying he's a fraud. 3027. Dude. Couple 2928s in there. So Abus was going into that third round. He could have won that fight. If he gave a fuck. That means two judges had it 1 1. Two judges had it 1 1. And Abus just fucking didn't give a fuck. All right, I'm going to get a water real quick. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a water, and then uh, put your bets in for the fucking Rodrigo fight. I have something for Rodrigo, but it is what it is. Oh, by the way, the full card parlay, 2-0. We had Brenner. We had Kayo. We had Rodrigo coming up next. That was $100 to win $1,700. We've got Rodrigo coming up. We got Gabriel. 
And we've got Derek Lewis to finish it off. It's going to come down to Derek Lewis to win a $1,700. And we're going to feel real fucking good about it. Free spirit, motherfuckers. I'm going to grab water real quick. Free spirit. He was telling him he already lost. Why don't you just fucking finish him then, asshole? All right, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Hill was a dog, yeah. Is that the only dog that's won? Um... Yeah, that's the only dog there. Yeah, Angela, Angela Hill's the only dog that won so far. So this is what's funny, too, and we'll see how it plays out. But when people, like, trash the lock of the week, like, I can't believe you're an idiot, and, like, only one dog wins, it's like, all right. Sorry. I wasn't going to pick Angela Hill. I'm sorry. You know? Kyle's a good guy, though, man. He is a good guy. All right. Almost had more pullouts and fights on the card. <sighs> I'm excited about next week's lock of the week. I feel real good about it. I already got it. Usually, I don't have it this early. Ooh, I got it early, man. Next week's lock of the week, I feel good about. This one was kind of like, it was back a lot. It is what it is, but. Jacob, why didn't you pick the only dog who won on the card? I'll be, a, I'm not going to be super annoyed if Derek Lewis wins because I want him to win. Oh my God, Gilbert with the, with the fucking cornrows, baby. Woo! Look at Gilly! Oh shit, Cornrow Gilly! Oh my god, that guy's beautiful. Pollyanna? No, they didn't show Pollyanna, did they? I gotta rewind. Did they really show Pollyanna? I'm rewinding. I'm literally rewinding my stream. Literally rewinding my stream. I got to go all the way back to the decision. Oh, wait. Fast forward 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Did they really? She was behind Gilbert? Oh, Gilbert was too distracting. Hold on. Let me fast forward. Fast forward. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I went back too far. I went back too far. Golly, show me that sweet Pollyanna. Is Pollyanna for the streets these days or is she still good? What do you guys think? With all the fucking like anime weird shit. Is she for the streets these days? Or are we still locked in on Pollyanna? She's still hot regardless, but... All right, I'm refreshing. All right, let me see. Let me see. All right, let me see. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Let me see Pollyanna. What was she looking? Show me Pollyanna! Come on! There's Amanda Lamoche. Amanda Lamoche, hot as shit, by the way. I'm ready for the pause button. I'm ready to pause this. Oh, there she is, huh? She's got a nose ring. She have a lip ring now, too? You could tell she's trying to get in the camera, too. You should tell you could tell she's trying. She's doing a little too much, man. I think these days she's doing I think she's doing too much. I think it works out for her and she's being successful with it. And I'm all for women to be powerful and do what they need to do. I got nothing. I'm not, not hating it on it as at all but for me i think she's doing a little too much you know we have to get some finishes now law of averages so we're we just gonna load up on like rodrigo inside the distance or something i mean if there's a fight that's gonna go the distance it's probably this fucking sloppy mess isn't it rodrigo att Minus 205. Hasn't moved much. Most takedowns and wins by submission. 275. What are we doing for this one? Who do you get? Who wants the chat bet on this one? Who's feeling good? We got to get back on, 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 the, on, the, on the winning side here. 
Abus had hella hype. Yeah, I mean, he was supposed to... I picked him against Sean Strickland. Jacob, please briefly break down Bonfine versus Dalby. Yeah, Bonfine's better. So, sure it all comes down to. Round one TKO. Rodrigo sub. I don't have a strong feeling either way. Yeah. I mean, this is a rematch. Rodrigo won by sub in the first one. So, does he come back and win by TKO on this one? I'll put some on TKO. Rodrigo, round one TKO. Stop being a pussy. Are we due for that? Plus a thousand. We'll get back on it. Hundred dollars to win a thousand. Fifty to win five hundred. There you go. There's the stream bet. Spliff knows how to get my money out. Call me a pussy. Shit like that happens. All right, who wants the chat bet though? There's the stream bet. Fifty wins five hundred. I mean, you tell me to jump, I say how high. Round two finish. Elizabeth, you want the round two finish? For who? For Rodrigo? I'll give it to you, Elizabeth. And we'll see how that date goes. Round two finish. Is that for Rodrigo Elizabeth? Repeat or redemption? All right. There's the chat bet. Elizabeth's locking it in. We'll put 25. So, Rodrigo, we need first round or second round, basically. Second round is just a finish either way. First round is KO or TKO. Lizzie Beth. Rodrigo, round two finish. 25. Uh, wins 112. There we go. Locked in. Put your name on the board. We need a hero, Elizabeth. We need a fucking hero. And we have Rodrigo in that parlay, too. That parlay's still live. We're, 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 on, we're on Rodrigo. If we get through Rodrigo, it's going to come down to Derek Lewis, or it should. If we get past Rodrigo here and he wins, we're going to have Derek Lewis to win $1,700. Lizzie Beth coming in. No one better to test your skills against. Well, Rodrigo first round KO is nice odds. Yeah, I hope that this doesn't turn into a boring mess, dude. We're due for a finish, right? Is that kind of the cadence it's been? Couple decisions and then a finish, couple decisions that a finish. And when you see this on his on his side, Dante Mays, this is an Indiana State flag. The parlay was Brenner, Caio, Rodrigo. It's basically a, a Brazilian parlay until the main event we took Derek Lewis. Mariah said hi. What's up, big Don? What's up, Mariah? How we doing, Mariah? Yo, Mariah. Single friends or what's good? I don't know. Can you let me know? You know what I mean? Don't tell. That's the Indiana State flag underneath his left nipple. Not the, not the one right there, but you're going to see it. Underneath the left nipple is the Indiana State flag, baby. Indiana lately has been doing pretty well. We had fucking Darren Elkins with the big win. We had Ashley Yoder got screwed out of that plus three and a half bet we had, but looked all right. Dante Mays, Indiana's own, baby. He's even got I-65, the interstate that runs through Indiana, tattooed on him as well, unless he covered that up. Rodrigo Nascimento.
Ooh, I like this music, though. I like this music, though. You change your mind, you're all over maze now? The last person that fought after training with John Jones got fucking put out in the first round. That was Walt Harris. Oh, that place is packed again. I think they just went outside to smoke. Do people smoke a lot in Brazil? John Jones training partners are bums. Yeah, it's Jorgen DeCastro, Maurice Green, uh, Dante Mays, and uh, Walt Harris. Very interesting. Because of the Indiana thing? Indiana tough, baby. Indiana strong. Indiana strong, baby. They all went for a bathroom break. There's Bruno So There's Gloria to Paula. Look in the background. Gloria to Paula is fucking... I would do anything for Gloria. Holy shit. Not even to like romantically and stuff. I would clean her toilets. I would fucking be the pool boy. Scrubbing pots. It doesn't matter, man. I'm doing anything for Gloria to Paula. Jones trains with camps. I mean, Dante Mays is the one that broke or that tore John Jones's pectoral muscle. So technically, if you guys want to play this game, John Jones has never lost. His first loss was a TKO loss to Dante Mays. Dante Mays is the only person to ever beat John Jones. He tore his pectoral muscle. If that was a real fight, John Jones would have lost that fight by TKO, Dr. Stoppage. There you go. Technically, Dante Mays is the heavyweight champion of the world. He screamed like a bitch, did he really? <laughs> I did I don't know if I heard the audio. There's that Indiana State flag, baby. There's that big 65 on him, too. Indiana. I lived right by 65 for a long time. I've been that interstate that he has. Tattooed on him, 65. I've spent so many hours driving up and down 65. Right there. Mm. Fighting out of Louisville, Kentucky. Dude, you got the fucking Indiana all over you. What a joke. This guy's getting smoked now. Fighting out of it. Pfft. Louisville, Kentucky. Get the fuck out of here. Louisville, Kentucky, we used to drive to down 65 to go to the strip clubs. Because Indiana strip clubs are 21. You have to be 21. In Louisville, you only had to be 18, baby. We'd drive down 65 a couple hours. Go to those Louisville strip clubs. Oof. Oof. They were full, they were full nude, too. That thing's full nude. I don't know if they still are. That is full nude. There's something different. When you're 18 years old and you got a full nude woman sitting in front of you, there's something different about that. That changes a man. That changes a man. Holy shit. This ref is wild. All right, here we go. The featured event for the main card for UFC Sao Paulo. And I'm about to fall asleep. We need some action here. Central Illinois checking in. Fuck Illinois. Nascimento's coming in hot and heavy. Heavy leg kick from Dante early. That's what happens when you throw leg kicks. You get hit. Rodrigo, crazy pat pressure, huh? Crazy pressure. First round KO. We're going to hit this for 500. Rodrigo's, it looks like he put money on himself first round KO. It looked like he, look at the lazy kicks. Rodrigo looks fucking locked in, doesn't he? Holy shit. This looks like a guy that's fought this guy and already won already. He's got that type of confidence. Watch those fingers. <laughs> Fucking lead. That, was, that's, that looks so, like, so slow motion there from Dante. That lead uppercut with a little left hook. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's, he's, he's protecting those pretty well. He's got a nice high guard, Dante. He's not getting hit with a lot of those. It's going to be the takedowns that are going to get big if Rodrigo goes for a takedown. Oh, good uppercut. Good left hand. Rodrigo's taking his time. I would love you to sleep Dante right now, man. A lead uppercut. Oh, I poke. The ref doesn't give a fuck. Look at the ref doesn't give a fuck. I told you that ref is a joke. That ref doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> that ref didn't give a flying fuck about Dante Mays in his fucking eye. Didn't even ask a question. That body shot hurt him, shot hurt him I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rodrigo's got to keep his hands up, though. Dante's a tough dude. Indiana Tough. This is Indiana Tough right here. You're seeing it live in action. You're seeing Indiana Tough right in front of your eyes right now. There's a lead. That lead elbow landed there. Here comes the chant. Who got hurt? This is sloppy, man, but this is fun. At least this is fun. Kentucky tough. Good jab there by Rodrigo. Good right hand there by Rodrigo. Oh, that hurt him a little bit. Yep. Is Rodrigo going to try and grab him and, and take him down now? Good knee. Good knee. Oh. Oh. Rodrigo all over him again. Dante, not good body language here. Slowly backing up with no hands up. Hands are low. I think he got hurt to the body. Hands are low. Body language isn't good. Good stiff jab there, though. Oh, right hand there. Get this first round knockout. Oh, he's, he's buckling. Stop the fight, ref. The ref looks like he wants to stop the fight immediately. The ref looks like he wants to stop this fight immediately. The second Dante is going to go down, he's going to stop this fight. Here goes the takedown attempt. Here comes, the, here comes the submission again. Dante says, fuck that. You're not submitting me again. Indiana tough, man. Rodrigo's tired. That's why he's wrestling. He's just trying to muscle that takedown, too. That wasn't good takedown defense. That was just a terrible takedown. Who's going to gas first? That's what it's going to come down to, probably. Second round. I'm feeling it. Hey, Lizzie Beth. I'm feeling it. Rodrigo's tired. This is like a just a typical heavy, medi mediocre heavyweight fight now. We're four minutes in and they're just gas staring at each other. <laughs> oh, that didn't feel good. Yeah, I, don't, I think if, if somebody's going to grit out, it's going to be Rodrigo. Just staring. I, I'm feeling this, Lizzie. We didn't get that first round KO. But this, oh, the premium is, uh, by the way, is by sub. It's crazy how fast they get tired. It was good pace, though. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty high pace for a heavyweight, for a heavyweight fight, for our first round. To me, 1 0 Rodrigo. Oh, oh. <laughs> a little axe kick to end the fucking first round from Dante. That's a, that was a fun round. Let's see what these live odds are. It should be 1-0 for sure. Minus 1,000 for Rodrigo. Minus 800 now for Rodrigo. Yeah, they're just all over. Maze looks like he's fading and not going to have anything really for Rodrigo. Minus 800. Is anybody playing the minus 800? Dude, our, our parlay is going to come down to Derek Lewis. Did anybody play that, that full card parlay we played? Did anybody play that full card parlay? Rodrigo, Kyle, Brenner, Gabriel, and Derek Lewis, baby. Someone's dying this round. Hopefully it's a submission, honestly, at this point. Second round submission for Rodrigo. We'll take that all day. All day. I would love if it all came down to Derek Lewis. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all.
Props are all fucked this card. Yeah. It just went it just went chalk, but didn't none of the chalks won the way they should have, type of thing. So it was like technically an easy card, but at the same time it was like a weird card. Oh my god, Gordon Ryan is back. Rodrigo should just blitz him early, honestly. Because I think he's going to recover a little bit better than Dante. You got a full card parlay live? They think Rodrigo's getting tired? Ooh! 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 Dante's thrown back, though. He wants it. Here's that Indiana in him. He wants it. He just doesn't want to get taken down, probably. I mean, Dante would much rather do this. Oh, I thought he got dropped. I thought he got dropped. He didn't get the takedown, though. That was a pretty good entry. I thought he got dropped when he fucking came in with that fucking takedown attempt. I'll be honest with you. Holy shit. Get him down to the ground. Get him down, Rodrigo. Get that trip. Get that trip, Rodrigo. Rodrigo's tired, man. This is like the most typical heavyweight fight I've ever seen in my life. Is he going to go to immediate level change? If I was Rodrigo, I'd go immediate level change. Just boom. Look how straight up and down Dante is, Dante is standing right now with his legs together. You could go straight level change right now and just scoop his ass. This ref hates Dante. He got poked in the eye, but the second that he grabbed Rodrigo's gloves, the ref's all over it. Oh, foot stomps. We got some foot stomp action. What was the first? The first fight was a second round submission or a third? There's that Muay Thai clinch. There's some good elbows from Dante. Both guys are tired. What is it? He looks like somebody when he blitzes in like that, and I can't, I can't fucking put my finger on it. When he, when he blitzes in like that, it's almost like um, I think Dillashaw does that a lot. Like the side, like the, the side to side, like that, the boxing side. I think Dillashaw does that a lot. I don't think anybody's getting finished. These guys are too tired now. Unless somebody, like, gets somebody a little bit hurt and then just fucking blitz them or something. Oh, that was right in the nuts. Oh, Bisping. Thanks, thanks Bisping. <laughs> the pace has slowed a little bit. <laughs> you don't say, huh? See if these odds have closed at all. I mean, this is kind of a close round, I guess. I don't know. Minus 1,200 for Rodrigo. Oh, they're so tired. Oh, good elbow. That was like a jump elbow in there. But Dante's still throwing back. Look at those bellies jiggling. Look at those bellies jiggling. Look at them bellies. The crowd is bored out of their mind. Look at them. They still got to do this for five more fucking minutes. They're bored out of their minds in here. 
They're never if they try to do another Brazil card, nobody's ever coming back. Oh my god, they're so tired. They gotta do this for five more fucking minutes. <laughs> they gotta do this for five more fucking minutes, man. Muito forte. Yeah, this is a fucking holy shit. Hopefully these next two fights will be a little bit more fucking action. If they're not, I don't know. I'm telling you right now, I think Jay Alton's going to be fucking scared to death in the first round. What is happening? Elizabeth, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Jay Alton's going to be really hesitant in that first round. Really hesitant. Rodrigo's live odds are minus 800 right now. Did anybody think that Dante won that round? Could this be 1-0? I mean, two a uh, one one. Is there anybody that thinks this could be one one? No way, right? No way, no shot. Dana ain't coming back to Brazil for a while. I mean, it's not really the fans' fault, I guess, but yeah, they I mean these. These fighters aren't doing much, huh? Maybe if he was Brazilian. Fight! Fight! The first minute of every round is when they're going to be somewhat fresh. Can Dolby extend and win? That would be a wild situation if, if Dolby came in and smoked their boy. Dude, they would all, I think they would all leave. I don't think anybody would stay for the Geraldton fight. If Dolby comes in and, and like boringly smokes Gabriel, oh, they're going to be so upset. Dude, If imagine if Gabriel and Geraldton somehow lose. Oh my God, they're going to burn the place to the ground. Oh, that was a good knee. Starting to heat up there in the third round. Dude, they literally just froze. Right? <laughs> they literally. Why did they run this back? I think it was Rodrigo wanted to fight on this card, and Dante was like, "Fuck it, yeah, I'll do. I'll fight him again." Something like that. I think Rodrigo wanted to be on this card, and Dante was the only person that was like, yeah, I'll do it, or something I, I, something like that. I don't know. That's that's the only reason. And I think the winner gets John Jones. The winner of this gets the winner of uh, Aspinall and uh, Sergey. Who do you guys have the, for the Sergey and Aspinall fight? Why is John training with this bum? Yeah, I don't know. Sergey, Sergey. Sergey's the dog right now, right? Let's check. He was the dog, wasn't he? Let's see. Sir, it's a complete pick of minus 110 on both sides. Minus 110 on both sides. I think Sergey might fuck him up. That, that's my initial lean. I haven't really taped it yet. But I think that, in my mind, Aspinall thinks that he can strike with this guy. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my God, Sergey got taken down by Overeem. And Sergey got taken down by Overeem. You, all Aspinall's going to do is take him down. That was a, that was a weird situation. Sergey was like in a clinch situation, kind of like these guys right now, and threw like a weird knee and basically just got tripped backwards when he threw a knee. It wasn't like he got like wrestling takedown. So he did get taken down, but it's kind of a weird situation. And that dude is fucking big. He is ginormous. And Aspinall is not like the biggest fucking heavyweight. He's a big dude, but as far as like just pure strength, I think I think Aspinall is going to come in and it might look like, you know what it might end up looking like? is Derek Lewis and Chris Dawkins. There's the sub. Where Chris Dawkins comes in, and for whatever reason, 
stands in front of Derek Lewis and thinks, oh, I can I can box. My, I, I, I box my brother all the time, and I'm beating up my brother, and we're the, I'm a good boxer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in and box Derek Lewis. And then, uh, and then he gets fucking slept. It could be Aspinall just coming in and thinking, I can box this guy. And then it also takes his fucking... Sergey's different, man. I mean, Sergey's fucking different. You and Angelo blogging next Saturday? Yeah, I think he's doing a... He's like dove hunting and shit. I don't know. He's fucking doing shit. I got a friend coming in. Big Don in the chat. I got a friend coming in. So we'll be at Angelo's house hanging out. Oh my god, this fight has turned into just fucking nonsense. Holy shit. Oh, the left hand there by Dante. Are they acting like it's a close fight right now? Is that what Bisping's trying to allude to? Okay, Bisping's reeling it back in now. It sounded like they were like surprised by the live odds or something. Aspinall will get crushed. I think he might, man. It's hard to bet against fucking Sergey until he looks humid. And I like Tom Aspinall. I'm not. I'm not a fucking Aspinall hater at all. All right. Well, another decision. Wow, so exciting. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Let's see how much more money we can lose on the fucking live bets. This is when live bets get fucking destroyed. Because all I do on these live streams is just bet finishes. That's all I do. So we, when we have fucking finish after, or fucking decision after decision, there's no hope. There's no hope with dope. There is no hope with dope. So just what it comes down to. It just is what it is. Holy shit. Do you know what this line opened up as? And we'll see if it hits. It probably won't hit at this point. Dude, this line, and I got it for premium members, open at even money. They opened this line at minus 115 for over half a takedown. Now, he's probably, it probably got juiced and everybody played it. And they probably trapped everyone. He's just going to like sleep Dolby and not get a takedown. But that opened up at even money, minus 115. And that's 325 right now. That's crazy movement. That's crazy movement. What's most takedowns? Minus 210. That's a little bit tricky too, because if Dalby does something stupid and and Gabriel tries to do the guillotine, doesn't get it, now he's taken down. That, that could be a, a kind of a trap play too. Let's get the results. Let's get these guys out of the fucking octagon and let's get some action in here. How about that? No interviews. We're sick of the interviews. Get these guys the fuck out of here. Why is Dante surprised? Did Dante thought he won that fight? He heard 30 27 and he was very surprised. By the way, it was 1 1, I guess. Unless Dante win that last round, I guess. Nice, Manto. Yeah, Mace was like very surprised at that fight. That's crazy. Bonfim will give us a finish. <sighs> Fuck. No dogs have won except for Angela Hill. Full card parlay is still live. Yeah, you shouldn't say that very often. Mays won the last round. Got it. Should I hedge Dalby on the full card parlay? I mean, if you're going to hedge somebody, it's decent value to hedge it. I mean, I don't know what you're, what you're dealing with, what kind of money you're dealing with, but I'm sure you could hedge Dalby and Lewis. If you have a full card parlay, you should be able to hedge both of them a little bit if you want to and still be up money, but... I mean, Gabriel should be pretty safe. Should be pretty safe. We still got that fucking parlay, too. 
We are Gabriel Bonfim and Derek Lewis away from winning seventeen hundred fucking dollars. What are we playing for this one? Under one and a half, yes or no? Yes or no in the chat right now. Under one and a half. I'm put one hundred and twenty-five dollars on something. Top fifteen. I mean, Gabriel should come in and just smoke him, right? I know Dolby's tough. But fuck, man. Definitely over. You're not winning that parlay with Lewis in it? Oh, you just wait and see. You just wait and see. Over one and a half. I'm playing the under. I don't give a fuck. I'm listening to myself. I'm listening to my inner gut. What do you guys want for the chat bet? Does anybody want the chat bet? Is anybody feeling good about something in this one? I know a lot of people are going to say round one. I already played round one, Gabriel, myself. Dolby decision. Psh. Who's a poor man's fizz AF? Let's go, Dolby. Oh, my God. We're watching promos right now. Let's go to the next fight. Bonfine should win. Dolby's good enough not to get finished. Yeah, I think a lot of people are saying that against Modestas too. Oh my god, power slap. I actually watched the first power slap. Um, what was it, last week or two weeks ago? Last week, something like that. I'll be honest with you. If you got nothing else to do, is this like a power slap contender series or something? Road to the title returns? Dude, it was kind of entertaining. I'll be honest with you. It actually kind of was entertaining. Like, I'm not gonna, it's not like an every week type of thing, but if there's nothing else to do, it was, oh my God, there's, uh, all the props just disappeared. Oh my God. Those assholes. Those assholes. Those fucking dickheads. All right. Gabriel Bonfim. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Type, 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 type. Yeah, his guillotine is fucking nasty, man. I hope that he grapples. All right, stream bet. I guess we got the under one and a half because we just want fucking action, man. I just drive my money into forcing action. That's all I give a fuck about. I just want to fucking lose my mind. We've had one crazy finish. That's it. I'm sick of this shit. I am sick of this fucking shit. When's 114? Fuck. Oh my God, they're back. Props are back. Nobody panic. Props are back. What are we playing? Who wants a chat bet? Who's, who's, who's fucking... I'm being serious. Who's been killing it right now? And probably nobody's been killing it if you're playing props because no props have been hitting except for a decision. It's going to go to a decision. Jacob, are you playing... You, you want to play Bonfine by decision? You want to be on the board, Jacob, with a K? Dolby decision bound to happen? I mean, I can see Bonfim by decision, I guess. You want Dolby decision? <sighs> I mean, this is how I lose my money. I put chat bets. I put tw I $25 at a time for chat bets. Because you guys say some wild shit, and I always give you guys an opportunity here. So I'll do it again. $25 to win $175 chat bet. That's not my bet, guys. There you go. This is this is you guys make me go broke. What are you L what are you LMA in for? Is this a joke, Jacob? Huh? 
Did you just con me into spending 25 fucking dollars? Fucking asshole. Are you American? Why is your name spelled with a K? Jacob the con man. Is that actually spelled with a K? Or is that how a different country spells it? All right, co-main event. We're going to hear Dolby fucking heaving and hoofing this whole fucking fight. I want to see Dolby love right now, and I'm American. Why? I've never seen Jacob with a K. How old are you? You got to be under 24 years old. That's like those near, like, like all the weird spelling of names, like all the girl names, like Kaylee, but it's spelled like K-A-H-L-E-E-I-E-Y-E. -E -E -E. He's 21. Yeah, there you go. Called that. Or like fucking like Briley or whatever the fucking weird names are. Fucking. I can't even think right now. Loopy or Ricci, in my mind, Loopy should be a fucking, you know the two, and, and, and here, I'll give you some intel right now. You guys know I am so biased on Tabitha Ricci and Amanda Hebos, right? You guys know I'm so biased on Tabitha Ricci and Amanda Hebos. In my mind, the Loopy fight versus Ricci, Loopy should be a minus 250 favorite. She should dominate that fight. She's a better wrestler. She's a better striker. She's tough. Richie's tough, but she should. she's a better fighter. Amanda Hebos versus Luana Pinheiro. Amanda Hebos right now is minus 300. If you guys want to put action on Luana Pinheiro at plus 250 right now, it's probably really good value. It's probably really good value if you want to put val action on Luana Pinheiro at plus 250. I think that those odds should be flipped. I think if anyone should be a minus 300 favorite, it should be Loopy over Ricci. And I think that Amanda should be... She should be the favorite, but it should be like... Minus 125, minus 150, something like that. Yeah, Loopy, I think it's good value right now. And I talked about it earlier. This is the one fight where Loopy should not wrestle. There is a world where Loopy tries to wrestle, doesn't really have the success she should, kind of gets tired and, and somehow loses the second and third rounds. She should just strike Ricci. Street Ricci is not a good striker. She has no power, no real technical striking. She just uses the striking to set up takedowns. Loopy should just defend the takedowns and just strike with her. And she should win easily. She should win e easily. So that's how I feel about it. But if Loopy starts... I mean, Loopy's still a better wrestler too. But that's going to be Reboss's... I mean, uh, Ricci's best chance. Yeah, Loopy's really good. Loopy's really, really good. And she's at a good camp now. Thank God she's at Lobo. That Lobo gym has is, is really kind of put her in a good mindset. She's like back to like that killer mentality. Diego Lopes. Aldana's there, but Aldana just kind of shit the bed. The other guy, uh, is it San Santos? They fight back to back to back. The Lobo's gym on that card next week fights back to back to back. They move the Loopy fight and the Ricci fight to the featured prelim. And then Diego opens up the main card, and the fight before the Ricci fight is um, is um, fucking the short notice fight. Who got dropped and who came in? Short notice guy came in. Jacob trying to win Ricci back? Nah. She got a little disrespect for me. 
The good news is the guy that she's dating, a little pasty, right? And I'm not pasty. I'm not saying I am pasty. But the guy that she is dating is a little pasty. And I was in her Instagram story well before that guy was ever in her Instagram story. And that's just, I mean, that's just the fact of everything. Dinah's dynamite. I mean, I was in her Instagram story. I mean, boom. Tabitha Ricci. That's me. That's me in Tabitha Ricci's Instagram story. And she thought it was very funny. And her sister messaged me as well, thought it was very funny. It was a nice little clip. I was reaching out to Ricci. Talking about how she didn't respond to my DMs. And she put me in her story. You know what I mean? So, he's just keeping her warm for you. All right, come on. Let's get some action here. Let's get a finish or something. Fuck. Premium bets. We got Gabriel in the first round. We got over a half a takedown. We hope he just takes him down and just fucking slays him out. We don't give a fuck. We got that at minus 115. That's what I was talking about earlier. Dolby's just going right at him. Gabriel's looking good, though. Holy shit. Yeah, this is this pace is going to be good for for Dolby. Oh. Get a takedown, Gabriel. I mean, Dolby's definitely game. He's showing he's not fucking scared. There's a takedown here for Dolby. Reverses. I'd like to see Gabriel reverse this position into a takedown. A half over a half a takedown for Dolby was like fucking plus 180 or something like that. And that's why I said that over takedowns was kind of a trap. Oh, oh. Show him your grappling, Gabriel. Show him your grappling, Gabriel. Gabriel wants to get to space. Dolby's, I mean, fucking all over him, man. Uh oh, oh, is he fading? Is Bonfim fading already? Gabriel's going to go all in for a takedown at some point because he's not going to like this pressure. There's no way he's going to like this pressure. This pressure's wild, dude. Bonfim's going to fucking start fading if he doesn't get a takedown because Dolby's not going to stop. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> we are live. Jacob, you are live. I mean, Gabriel's a, a grappler. I know he's got good hands, but he's a grappler. Is this where it's going to be where Dolby's going to start having real good success, start looking pretty good, and then he's going to shoot a takedown and get guillotined? Out of nowhere, after it looks like he's having really good success. Those are good jabs there by Gabriel. Damn, he's all over this kid. He is all over this kid. There's the takedown. There's that takedown. There's our bet hitting. Now we just need that sub, baby. All right, just first round. There's that takedown. Easy money. Over half a takedown. We got that at even money. That ballooned to minus 300. That's crazy. Two minutes to work with. I mean, this is where great Gabriel wants it. He can handle himself, but it's not a good situation for him. Oh, what a pass. Looking for an arm bar or something already? What a pass to side control. Dolby's in trouble here. He, he's got to be real careful here. He's got to be real careful here. He's got to go full defense. I wouldn't even really... I'd try to get your half guard back. He's got to be real fucking careful here. Gabriel just kind of taking his time, waiting to see what Dolby's going to give him. Good elbows. 
Good elbows. Make him panic a little bit. I don't want him rolling for like an arm bar, though. This is going to be interesting. Imagine he goes for a key lock or something. Dolby's trying to get his hips back. Dolby's just kind of staying safe. He doesn't want to roll to his fucking stomach. I know that. He just kind of squirming, staying safe. Full mouth. That was slick, too. Going for an arm triangle. He's going for an arm. Head and arm. Good pressure. He might go high on this mountain and go arm bar. He's losing it. Dolby's got his half guard back. Dolby's doing a good job here. Yeah, he's doing a good job. That was really good. He should go all in on an arm bar or something right here. With 20 seconds left? Oh, shit. I would go all in for an arm bar. 15 seconds left? He got out of the first round. We'll see if, if Bonfi can get another takedown because the striking's going to be iffy because Dolby's not going to stop. That's not going to slow Dolby down. He's got to get that fight to the ground again. I mean, that's where he that, that's where he excels. He's got to get that fight to the ground again. Because, I mean, Dolby's going to stay in his face with the striking. Jacob, how we feel, man? That's a, this is going to be an uphill battle for, uh, for Dolby right now. Dolby showing his veteran experience. Yeah, for sure. He didn't play that round. He played that round really well. He just, you know, he got taken down. It is what it is. Will Bonfine gas? Not if he can do that. If he gets on top again, he's not, he's not going to gas. But if this turns into him getting desperate for takedowns, because what this could turn into is he knows that he has such success with the grappling that now he gets too desperate for the takedowns. And if he gets too desperate for the takedowns and they start getting stuffed, then he'll get real tired, real fast. Live odds are minus 800 for uh, Bonfim right now. Like, if he goes in, like, he's, if he starts this round shooting takedowns and he doesn't get them, it could get really interesting. Over one and a half the Angelo special. Yeah, Bonfim, or, I mean, Dolby's not going to stop in the striking. He's got to use that aggression and take him down, Gabriel does. He's got to watch that chin, too, Mr. Gabriel. There it is. Over-aggression into the takedown. Yeah, that's, I mean, that was that was perfect right there. Striked with him. Oh, he's looking for, he's looking for that guillotine, too. He's looking for that fucking... <laughs> but this is interesting. Just driving through him. Dolby threatening a guillotine, which is stupid. Von Flutum. Von Flutum. He's going to Von Flutum. He's going to Von Flutum. He's going to Von Flutum if he doesn't let go. He's Von Flutum. him. He's Von Flutum. him. He's Von Flutum. him. He's submitting him. He's Von Flutum. him. He's Von Flutum. him. He's trying to. He didn't get it. Holy shit. He almost got that shit. We got one minute. Gabriel. Gabriel just taking his time. Uh-oh. Dolby got a double. Dolby's got a double. Good sprawl. Here's the guillotine. Here comes the guillotine. He's setting it up. He's setting up the darts. He's setting the darts. He's setting it up. He's going to feed that arm through. He's going to feed that arm through. Oh, he went to the back. Head and arm. There it is. Oh, that was slick. If he wasn't fucking so sweaty. Here comes the guillotine. Dolby's toughing it out, man. He's going through the spin cycle of submission attempts. Gabriel's definitely tired now. Gabriel's definitely tired now. 
This is interesting now. This is very bad for Bonfim. Over one and a half hit. I mean, if 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 Dolby can win this round, if he can win this round back, oh boy. If he can win this round back. Oh boy. Oh, is he going to pull guard? Dude, Bonfim's got that look on his face. He's got that look on his face. Bonfim better hope that the judges give him this round because there's no way he's going to win this third round. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Bonfim better make sure he wins this round and survive the third. Oh, boy. I mean, Bonfim's still being tough against the fence, but the optics here, just dip, duck, ducking the head, covering up. He's just bringing it to him, baby. He's going to win. The, he's going to win this fight. The undefeated fighter. It's time to put up or shut up. You can't just try and knock this guy out. He better hope the judges give him this round. Oh, my God. Good uppercut there. I mean, he's toughing it out because he's exhausted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Second round, Dolby finish. They're all going to leave. They're all going to leave. The cardio killer. Nicholas Dolby, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, <laughs> he is that dude, hats off the fucking Dolby, man, fraud check night, holy shit. What would the odds be? What the odds close at? Like minus 700 or something? Yo, Dolby by points didn't hit, but fuck, man. Holy shit. Oh, that knee fucking landed. That's what did him in. That knee folded him. Boom. I thought he was just tired and fell forward. Holy shit. Now Lewis is definitely not winning. I mean, he might for sure win now. Holy fuck. We were worried about Lewis to win us at $1,700 and fucking Bonfim just cost us. Holy shit. Woo! Dude, I was I was hoping it would get to the fucking third round. Obviously, the 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 odds probably would have been even or in favor of Dolby. But I mean, you I mean, that's that was the most typical fucking break I've ever seen. Oh my god. Dude, if Jolton gets fucking slept. Imagine. Yo, imagine. Jolton gets slept too. Yo, imagine. All right, we're at the main event. Dude, that was crazy. The, cra the crazy part was Bonfim looked like he was tougher than I thought he was going to be. Cause he was definitely tired, but he was still he was still fighting back against the fence like that, and then that knee obviously caught him and pretty much knocked him out. But he actually showed a little bit more toughness than I would have thought. A lot of those people fold a lot quicker. Like you saw, you saw a boost fold a lot quicker. You saw like um, like fucking whoever fucking fold a lot quicker. A lot of times those those undefeated fighters fight like a lot, fold a lot quicker when they reach adversity. He actually kind of fought through it a little bit, but. Oh, my God. That new Dolby. Is he going to be the most random champ of all time? 
That's like if Raquel Pennington wins. If Raquel Pennington wins the title, that's going to be like Sean Strickland winning, in my mind. Like, just kind of always been around, just kind of that tough, gritty. Holy fuck. Nicholas! Damn, man. The Bomb Fiend brothers took major L's. Holy shit. Holy shit. One didn't even get the fight. The yellow one fucking... Woo! Woo! Holy shit, man. We were wanting to finish, but fuck. Did they all leave? Are they all hanging around for Jelton? <laughs> Are they really amazing though? He's just making sure he's just making sure he leaves here safe. Dude. <laughs> Dude, Nicholas Dolby right now is making sure he gets home safe is what happens right now. Dolby is making sure he gets home safe after beating their boy in Brazil. You guys are amazing. I love everyone. He wasn't going to be the Mark to Casey fucking flipping everyone off. That dude's making sure that he gets home safe. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, toodle bame. Toodle bame. Do I have any cuts? Doesn't he have a cut on his face? Oh, my God. That knee just folded him. That's that. I mean, he probably would have won that second round anyway at that point, right? Woo! Good for him, man. Going to Brazil and beat the on the co main event and beat the undefeated bro. He said, "Do I have any?" <laughs> he said, "Do I have any cuts on my face?" Oh my god. It's a shame that he, what, he's 38? Man, if he was like 32, if he was like 33, 34, 33, I mean, dude, he's 38 years old. Who does he fight next? Hey, Copenhagen. Give him a main event in Copenhagen. Who gives a fuck? I'll go to Copenhagen. He's 38 years old, coming off. I mean, guy, I mean, this is the same guy that lost to Tim Means. Lock of the week, Tim Means, by the way. I mean, this guy lost to Tim Means. Decision versus Claudio Silva. Split decision versus Warley Alves. Beats Muslim Solikov. He's going to be 39 in a couple weeks. Went to a draw versus Darren Till in 2015. Won a split decision versus Zaleski. I don't know who he fights next. There's Charles Dubronx. There's Tiago Moises behind him, too. There's Pollyanna. Who's on? Pollyanna's on somebody's arm. What the fuck? Who is that guy? He looks like he's got no biceps. Not like me. Did they show Pajeda yet? I guess we doing Lewis Moneyline. Who the fuck is that guy? That was Dolby's first finish in the UFC. Dude, we're not killing time right now, right? Because we had a finish. Let's get this party started. Let's get this ball on the roll. <laughs> Bonfim was bound to get full of going into firefights. I mean, Dolby couldn't have played that any fucking better. He initiated the pressure early. Got some of the wind out of at a Bonfim. So when Bonfim was on the ground, he wasn't as aggressive as he should have been. And then when he was on the ground, I mean, Dolby just stayed safe. He didn't, he never gave up his back. He just stayed on his back, defending everything that was coming his way. He was a step ahead of everything that was headed his way. And then he and then he got to a point where he defended the takedowns. I said I said that if Bonfim, the second that you saw Bonfim start shooting takedowns desperately, is game over. It was gonna be game over. 
And honestly, I don't know if that's a gas tank issue for Bonfim as much as it was that Dolby forced that gas tank issue, if that makes any sense. Like, Bonfim in a normal fight, I don't think he really gasses, but Dolby just was durable, pushed the pressure, and made him fight that way. So, all right, what are we doing for this one? Just all in on Derek Lewis? What about a second round Derek Lewis KO? Fuck it. We'll put 50 on Derek Lewis by KO round one and 25 on second round. And we'll just go out on our shield at this point. And we'll just go out on our shield at this point. Because that's all we know. That's all we know. Lewis removes his pants at plus 1,200. Dude, if Jarlton loses this fight, that crowd is already pretty restless. <laughs> already pretty restless. I think Jarlton plays this pretty smooth. Like, play, plays it really casual in the first round. I don't think he's going to come through aggressive. Card is saved if Lewis wins. Hey, Jacob, that wasn't a bad call. Because if that knee doesn't land, I think that I think that Gabriel probably survives all that maybe, but I don't know. It's hard telling. Jalton is rushing in again and getting slept. He did try to rush in against Jarzinho. Let's just fucking place this. We don't give a fuck. Oh, sweet. Oh, they locked the first round. Sweet. We're not surprised about that, are we? Locking us out. Locking us out. Locking us out. It's moving. Everyone's loving. Damn, Jalton, round one is minus 175. What about Jalton, round two? What did I say? I was going to put 50 on it? All right, we got it. We got... Oh, that was just round one. I didn't do TKO. Uh, it shouldn't matter, right? 600. We lost plus 100 on there. Oh, we only lost 25 on that. That's that's whatever. It is what it is. At least hedge Jay Alton. I mean, that parlay's done. I'm not hedging shit on Jay Alton. I've been, I've been saying for a long time. I've been saying all week I think Jay Alton sucks. Now, should he take down Derek Lewis and do what he wants? He probably should. But Jay Alton's not that good, I don't think. I don't think he's that good. He's, he telegraphs his shots. He's got no real striking. Obviously, if he gets on top, he's pretty good. But as far as like getting to that position, it's a lot of just athletic bullshit, too. Both Bond Fiends got fraud check. Fraud check night. Yeah, I mean, Brazil's getting exposed. Right? Kyle kind of got exposed. I guess Rodrigo. Denise Gomes got exposed. So two dogs have won now, right? Dolby and uh, Angela Hill. Cannot wait for this match. -up. We had um, Brenner look good. Yeah, we're not kind of got exposed. Vitor is what it is, I guess. I mean, that is kind of what you expected with Vitor, but I still don't think he's that good. Denise got exposed. Mark isn't good, and Kyle's not good. Mora was good. But level of competition wasn't really there. He didn't really learn. He learned a lot from this card. Didn't lose or learn a lot. Kyle got exposed to the softy. Yeah. Just did Lewis by KO. Here's a tip: if multiple round, if multiple one round KO kings against vets take the vet, they all gas. Yeah, the writing on the wall was definitely there. Dolby being a, a durable guy, good gas tank, isn't ever finished. Against a first round finish type of guy, but that Von Flu was was close though. There's no doubt about that. That shit was fucking tight, and you could see Dolby fucking kind of squirming a little bit. Over one and a half rounds, probably. 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 Round one wins. What was that? 
I'm just glad we got this stream in. I, I'm, I'm glad that this stream, I know the stream kind of was the disaster because all the decisions and then we finally bet inside the distance for somebody and they fucking lose or whatever. Anytime, I mean, that's just the way the stream goes. Anytime there's a bunch of decisions, it, the stream, stream bets are never going to do well. But hopefully you guys had fun. We had a fucking disaster to start the stream. The PC crashed right when the fights were about to start. I had to switch over to my laptop. So uh, we hung in there. And we're still here for the main event. And I would love for Derek Lewis to fucking pull this out of the... A rabbit out of the hat here. I would love it. I would love it. What was the round two? 375? Honestly, the, the crowd kind of deserves... I don't know if they deserve it, but... A J Alton kind of domination. Other that that place is not going to be very happy if they don't fucking. Yo, whoever said that they had a full card parlay going? Did you hedge it on Dolby or not? Or are you like really fucking about to kill? It? <laughs> you fucking hurt yourself right now. Oh my god. Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Crowd is ass. They all left already. Yeah. That looks like a nice arena, though. A well, well arena. You hedged. At least you got something. All right, main event time. Let's see some magic here. The Dolby hedge is barely keeping you alive. Am I moving to Rio or Sao Paulo? It's Curitaba. Which I don't think you say Curitaba, but it's something like that. That's where it's supposed to be. It's close to Sao Paulo, though. I think it's just an hour or two away from Sao Paulo. It's supposed to be like the safer version of Sao Paulo, I think. That's what somebody told me. That's what a Brazilian told me. It's like a night. It's like the nice part of Sao Paulo. It's not really that close to it, but Curitaba. Curitiba. That's how you say it. Curitiba. Not Taba. Kuchiba. I knew it was something weird. I would love if it was like typical Derek Lewis. If he gets taken down and just fucking bench presses Jailton off him. Gets back to his feet. That would be fucking amazing. Fucking Amazing. You see the trailer for the Anderson Silva movie? Nah. Does it look pretty good or no? The two biggest favorites got burned so far, Bonfim or not. I think Moore was the biggest favorite, wasn't she? Or I guess not the biggest favorite, but but yeah. They went 0 0 one oh one. BJJ ain't real, baby. If you're moving to Brazil, get ready to get mugged. Shit. Shit. Lewis, please get this or my family ain't getting shit for Christmas. <laughs> How many people are just chasing money on Derek Lewis right now? I'll be honest with you. I think on, on, on my live stream bets, I think I'm down like six, seven, eight hundred dollars right now looking at my account. Because I always bet fucking, I, I literally always bet finishes. And that's why I always try to stress to you guys that, uh, that the live stream bets are fucking for entertainment purposes. Because we just want finishes, man. It felt like it was headed that way with the VTOR knockout and then it just all went to shit. Did the Pacers actually end up losing? Oh, they did, didn't they? By one point. What a joke. Dude, Halliburton scored fucking 43 points in a loss. Gordon Hayward had 23. Scary Terry had fucking 22. LaMelo Ball had thir or 11 and 11. Who fucked up for the Pacers? Bruce Brown. Naismith was one of five. Name Barr went three and nine. Miles Turner didn't do much. 14 and six. What a joke. 
KC or Miami tomorrow. Yeah, we got to win it all back on NFL. If you guys want to join the Discord, the, the Discord is 100% free. How many people are in the Discord? If you want to join the Discord, we do a lot of uh, NFL talk in there, too. We got a guy in there, Shevsky. I don't know if Shevsky's in here watching, but uh, he gives some really good... Um, oh, drop top, man. Derek Lewis coming out with drop top. Uh, drop top in Brazil. This shit goes fucking hard, man. This shit goes fucking hard, uh. Drop top and fucking Brazili. Look, they're not even chanting at this point. They're just kind of half ass booing them. They're not even chanting anymore. He looks locked in. He's got Big Tate with him. It's a great song, man. Have a good one, Matty Ice. Whatever you guys are doing after the after the uh, after the fights, whatever time it is, you guys are just hanging out or going to bed or out, going out, have some fun, be safe. I appreciate you guys joining me, man. I got to figure out a new PC or something. Fuck, man. I'm glad this laptop's hanging in there, though. I got to pee again. Colts should smoke the Panthers. I know that. They're only favored two and a half. I think the short notice is going to help a guy like Derek Lewis because he doesn't have to keep worrying about, like, keep worrying about, like, oh, the takedowns, the takedowns, and you spend fucking 10 weeks and 12 weeks worrying about this and worrying about that, that you don't fight your own game. You see that a lot with people. Like, you don't, you, you just get out of your own game plan worrying about what other people are going to do when you have long camps. When you come in kind of short notice, you might come in here and just do what you do, man, and that's just throw some fucking hammers. He's going to have fun tonight. This dude can get off the couch any day and KO anyone in the world. There's no doubt about that. Fuck. Let me refresh my stream real quick. So I don't miss anything because this one could be over quick. Fetal position coming up for who, King? Hopeful for drought then, baby. I've been a Jalton hater for like if you guys have been if you guys have been paying attention to listen to me and Discord and stuff, I I was I was gonna be so confident in Curtis Blades. And I know a lot of people hate Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades has been knocked out by the three biggest knockout artists in UFC history. Sergey Pavlovic, Derek Lewis, and Francis Naganu. And people are like acting like this dude's trash. He's like an actual fucking heavyweight. I think Curtis Blades was going to steamroll Jialton. Jialton was not going to ragdoll. Cur Curtis Blades is a fucking grown-ass, fully thick man. He's not one of these normal heavyweights that don't know how to wrestle that Jialton's been throwing around. He's going to stuff some takedowns, and he's a better striker. And Jialton's not a good striker. And he's got chin issues, too. How 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 <laughs> how many people have shit on fucking Derek Lewis right now? Does anybody have Jialton to finish up a parlay or anything? Or did Gabriel kind of fuck that up for everyone? It'd be kind of hard to realize if um if Jialton if you had Jialton in a parlay, you probably had Gabriel in a parlay as well, right? I did it the wrong way. Maybe not. I left Jialton out of my parlays, but I had Gabriel in one of them. JL turn round one KO.
Oh, Tate's going to fuck up the Vaseline on this dude. Look, Derek Lewis is about to put the Vaseline on Jay Alton. He's going to fuck this shit up. He's going to get in his eye and shit. Dude, imagine Tate just throws a, a fucking glob of Vaseline in through his eye right now. Yo, there's Gilbert. You can see him in the background, man. Gilbert looks good at those cornrows, man. He is beautiful. Jay Alton, that is a fucking body on that dude. Lewis has no chance. Well, he's got some chance. I think it's very clear that he's got some chance. Is that, is that Burt Chrysler in his corner? That looks like Burt Kreischer. The machine, baby. Jay Alton's got the machine in his corner. It's like a better looking Burt. Damn, he's kind of hitting on Tate, huh? He's kind of hitting on Tate a little bit. I think that Jay Alton's going to dance around for a good portion of this. I think he's going to dance around for a good portion of this first round. Really kind of take his time to try and find his entry because Derek's going to be fucking cocked and loaded, man. <laughs> he's going to be fucking cocked and loaded. Burt Kreischer? You don't tell me that guy didn't look like him? Is that how you say his name? I don't I fucking... It's a weird last name. I don't know. I'm fucking starving. I know that. Holy shit. My God. Five wins, three losses, and one draw for the Brazilians tonight. The full card Brazilian parlay did not win. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right now. McDonald's tonight... It's about the only thing that's going to be open when this gets done. Might have to. Ba, 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 ba. Artem had a perfect card going except for Bomb Fiend. I might, I might fuck up some Hawaiian rolls. There's no doubt about that. I live in Dallas. Derek Lewis is locked in, huh? He's locked in. He locked in. I bet Mark Goddard's gonna fuck up some pussy tonight. Is he married? I bet Mark Goddard could clean up in Brazil. I bet he cleans up in Brazil. You you guys see the highlight of Bruce Buffer when he said that. That Derek Lewis was like had two wins and nine losses or something like that, like early on in his career. <laughs> and Derek Lewis goes, <laughs> it was, if you guys have never seen that, look that up. When Bruce uh like fucks up Derek Lewis's record, Derek Lewis goes, like, what did he just say? <laughs> oh shit. Damn, they didn't cut the lights out. Usually they cut the lights out when he says it's time. A brawler. That's only prepared for you. Sometimes on destination cards, they do it too. I mean, they they cut the lights off for his um for his walkout. They cut the lights out for the for the walkout. Jarlton scared out of his mind. Scared out of his fucking mind right now. Dude, his average closing line is minus 628 favorite. His average closing line in six UFC fights is minus is 600 and whatever I just said. Dude, that's wild. An average... 
That's like most people get that like one or two times. Leave him hanging, Bruce. Oh, I wish Bruce would have left him hanging. Jarlton looks off. I hope so. I mean, imagine Jarlton at 205, though. He's a 205-pound man. Isn't that crazy? And he hasn't fought there in a while, but he's a 205-er. And the reason he went to heavyweight is because they're easier to wrestle. 205 is a little bit harder to wrestle. A lot of them know how to wrestle. Heavyweights don't know how to wrestle. All right, here we go. See how this plays out. Oh, here we go. Front kick to a double leg. There's the front kick. Oh, I'm on fucking pins and needles right now. I would love you sleep this guy. Oh, that got his attention. That got his attention. Derek's doing a good job defending. That was a good head kick there by Jarlton. <laughs> Dude, he, he froze Derek with that fucking head kick. He froze Derek with that head kick. Bench press on Derek. Almost straight to full mount. Oh my God, full mount right away. He's going to give up his back. <laughs> he just fucking steamrolling him. Head and arm. The fence is in the way. He got him. It's over. It's over. It's not over. Look at the strength of Derek. Look at the strength of Derek. He's still a full mouth, though. Fuck, man. Derek looks like he's about to take a nap or something. <laughs> Derek looks like he's just got his girlfriend on top of him. <laughs> Dude, he's not even trying to strike him right now. What is Jarlton doing? There's a little short elbows. Oh, there's a little explosion. He's got his legs hooked, though. Good wrist control by Derek. Derek's doing a really good job controlling wrist. You got to watch that arm bar, too, doing that. He's going to stand up. Baseball grip. He's going to get fucking. Derek definitely knows what he's doing here, but it might not fucking matter. He's going to try and spin. He's going to explode and spin into him. Dude, if Derek Lewis ends up on top right now, he can explode right now and spin into him. He's going to. Oh, my God. If he ends up on top. He got taken down again. Oh, he almost did it, man. He just let him go straight the mount too. Oh, my God. He went straight. He just let him go straight to Mount. Derek, like, almost, like, gave up because he got taken down again. He knows what... He definitely shows that he knows what he's doing, though. He should have just got out of there. And so he got too happy to try and strike. Derek was out, and he tried to stay in to throw that fucking short shot. When, when Almeida was hanging on that single, Derek tried to strike through him instead of just getting all the way out of there. It's pretty clear that Derek knows what he's doing. It's crazy seeing Jarlton just being on top of him and not trying to do anything. He's going for an arm bar. Now he's going for the head and arm. Dude, look how strong Derek Lewis is. Look how hard he's squeezing for this. He's almost got it now. Oh, my God. Derek Lewis might explode to his right if it gets tight. It's tight now. This is wild. He's gonna, he doesn't want to lose the position, though. Look at the explosion, dude. Derek Lewis is so strong. 
Dude, is Derek going to get a second round KO? Is Jay Alton laughing? Dude, Jay Alton's tired. This is a this is such a why I've never seen one someone just sit on somebody like this. This is so insane. Dude, he's just sitting on top of him. Derek Lewis is just controlling his wrists, controlling his strikes. Maybe go for an arm bar here at the end. Dude, look at this. He's just standing on top of him. This is the wildest shit I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Dude, these are the wildest positions I've ever seen. I think Derek might be good to go. Oh, my God. Dude, these are the wildest positions I've ever seen. I've never seen somebody just just sitting casually on top of somebody and then somebody else just fucking... <laughs> that is fucking wild. Oh, my God. Let's go, Derek's Round two. Cash us out, man. Dude, he's just so strong. Derek's not tired at all. Make him worry about it. I like that. I like that. Come on, Derek. He's already proved a lot. I mean, Derek already proved a lot. Dude, look how juiced Jalton's... I mean, that dude's got the ultimate pump right now in his arms. Sleep his ass. Faint those uppercuts. There you go. Put him on his back foot. Keep fainting that shit. Let him know about it. Let him know about it. Let him know about it. This is such a weird, wild fight. Jalton's tired. And he know he felt something with those strikes. <laughs> this is such like a high level chess match right now. Damn, he ducked right underneath it. Derek got too aggressive there. Legs laced. Derek went for it instead of just waiting. Jay Alton was patient enough. It's getting a little high. Might switch to an arm bar or something. I mean, it's very clear that Derek at least knows what he's doing. Staying him up. Who's the ref? Stand him up. He's doing nothing. I don't care if it's full mount. Stand him up. Stand him up. Jay Alton by decision. What was it? Is everyone going to get smoked on the over one and a half? What was under one and a half? Like minus two something? This is such a weird fight. <laughs> Dude, imagine if Derek Lewis threw an up, just fucking bombed him from the top or from the bottom. Plus 1,600. Over one and a half. He's going to spin into him again. I mean, Derek Lewis seems pretty casual <laughs> about everything. <laughs> Maybe Jake was right about Jay Alton. I thought he's not good, but... Yeah, Jarlton like doesn't know what to do. The guy's unsubmittable. A 
Are they asleep? Did they fall asleep? Are they spooning? What are we doing? Are they both asleep right now? Are they both asleep right now? Is this cute? This is how I'm trying to be tonight with somebody. He's getting desperate. I mean, Jarlton's getting, like, desperate with these, like, half ass chokes now, too. Derek Luce can explode into him. This is wild. Oh, good elbow there. Oh, good elbow there. Oh, good elbow there. Here comes a head and arm. He's like looking at his corner. We're asking what to do, too. Oh, my God. I forgot this is five rounds, too. <laughs> I forgot this. Is, imagine we do this for fucking five rounds. I literally just remembered this is five rounds. It's a face crank. He's getting so desperate, these face cranks. Palm to palm. Derek Lewis doesn't give a fuck about these chokes. He's not even panicking or anything. Brazil is for lovers, man. Get on, He can get him in a twister. Get him in a twister, Jayalton. Damn, man. Jarlton's getting angry now. I can't believe he just now decided to throw punches. Nine minutes into the fight. Fight to start round two was what? But Jarlton's going to gas himself doing these punching like this. Derek Lewis has him right where he wants him now. He's got him right where he wants him. I said Derek Lewis, round four submission was easy money. Like, Derek Lewis doesn't look tired at all. Dude, Derek Lewis... <laughs> Derek Lewis round four submission was free money. Absolutely free money. It's coming. I literally forgot that this was a five round fight. We might see this for another 15 minutes. I think Derek's, I think Derek's, I think he's been, I think he's just, uh, I think he's been sandbagging. You're going to catch him now. They told Jarlton. I mean, Jarlton sucks, dude. I try to tell everyone he sucks. Now, can you... Can, hey, guys, Curtis Blades would have steamrolled this dude. Okay? This is the shit that pisses me the fuck off. Curtis Blades would have rocked this dude. Oh, he's mad now. He's mad now. He's mad now. He's mad now. Sprawl it. Sprawl it. You can strength. He can outstrengthen a lot of these takedowns now. He can get a he can he can outstrengthen a lot of these takedowns now. Jialton's tired. Jialton's tired. Oh, a takedown for Derek Lewis. Oh my god. He should have just separated. He tried to get cute with his own takedown. He should have just separated. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. He tried to get cute with his own takedown and stayed in the clinch. He should have just separated. Dude, this dude Jarlton sucks, man. Look at him just looking at him. What is this guy doing? I've never seen a fight like this. What the fuck is going on? Lewis is going to hold on to him. He's going to stand him up. I've never seen somebody get stood up at a full mount. I've never seen somebody get stood up from full mount. He's going to get stood up and knocked out. I've never seen somebody get stood up from full mount. He's about to get stood up from full mount. Dude, I think Goddard really wants to stand him up, but now Jarlton's doing enough. Geraldton, what the fuck is going on? 
Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's giving up. Geraldton's giving up. Geraldton's giving up. He's a pussy. He's a pussy. He's a pussy. Just like the rest of them. Just like the rest of them. Just like the rest of them. He's a pussy. He sucks. Curtis Blades was going to steamroll this guy. No, Derek. Oh, my God. What the fuck is this fight? Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh, my God. Is this a real fight? Is this a real fight? I feel like some, I feel like this is a fucking Twilight Zone. This might happen for the next 15 minutes. Jay Alton's got no finishing ability left. But he's good enough to keep the positions. This is the wildest shit I've ever seen. Oh my god, he's grabbing his throat. Like, Geraldton has double wrist control on Derek Lewis, and he's just fucking not doing shit. He might gas himself right here, though. If he goes for a finish right now, he might gas himself. He's already pretty gassed, but... Dude, this is crazy. Dude, if you're Jay Alton, I might just stand up and just try to head kick him or something. This is like a bull riding. F side control now. Go for an arm bar or something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. It looked like fucking Lewis was about to steal that shit. How many people... I'm telling you, Derek Lewis, round four submission is free money. I mean, Lewis has been just kind of taking a nap for four minutes around. He should be good to go. Jay Alton's going to gas now. Try to take him down again, Jay Alton, and gas your shit. Damn, Derek almost had him, dog. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck this fight. This doesn't feel real. This doesn't feel real. Nothing about this happening right now feels real. I think Derek's gassed now. They're both gassed, but I think Derek's really gassed now. Derek got too cute with that takedown attempt. Fuck, man. High-level chess match. <laughs> what are the live odds? The live odds got to be fucking... They might have the live odds. I'm going to see if I can pull them up real quick. Oh, it's only minus 500 for Jialton. They're scared of it, man. It's only minus 500. This guy's been in, had, it's been, we fought 15 minutes. He's had 14 minutes of control time. He's only, he's only minus 500 because people are so tired or people are so scared. He's tired. Dude, sleep him, Derek. Dude, he's taken, he's going to get naked in the octagon. If he, if he wins this, if he KOs him, he's getting naked. There's no way his balls are surviving another minute inside of those shorts. He's getting naked. Does Derek have any pop left in his shots? I mean, he he KO'd Volkov. He 
Yeah, you can't strike through it. You just got to defend that takedown. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Straight the full mount again. Here we go again. Four minutes. I don't think Derek's going to survive this one. Championship rounds. Look at him just like sitting, like just kneeling beside him. Oh my God, this is crazy. Oh my God, Derek's exploding. Those are good knees. That's smart by Jay Alton. Dude, they're going to sleep well tonight, huh? Holy fuck. Go for an arm bar. Jesus Christ. Derek's got nothing left, and Geraldton's got nothing left. This is fucking so crazy. I'm so hungry. I just want to get something to eat. This was supposed to be over quick. I'm so fucking hungry. I I didn't even... I had to pee so bad before this fight, and I was like, ah, I'll just wait till after because it'll be over quick. Fuck. Oh, uh, here comes the Bisping. You got to give it everything you got. You got to get to finish. You've got to either stand up, sweep, or submit. Stuff in the head, Derek. Stuff in the head. Oh, my God. Derek fell asleep. Derek fell asleep. He's in the back of his head. Oh, rolling back over. Derek's, Derek woke back up. Yeah, it's time to make a statement, Jay Alton. Oh, Derek's standing up. He's not he's not gonna choke him. Dude, Derek Lewis is like, why the fuck did I come to Brazil? I mean, this is gonna come down to Derek is either gonna give up and just accept the choke, or he's just gonna keep trying to tough this shit out. Because he's not going to get choked out unless he he, he gives up. Because Geraldton's going to have nothing left, even in his arms, to squeeze. I mean, he's going to have no squeeze left in his arms, even. We're about to go to a fucking decision, man. Stand him up, Doug. Hey, this is a half guard situation. Doug could stand him up right now if he wanted to. That's only a half guard situation. Here comes the round four submission. He's gonna Derek Lewis is gonna get this guillotine. Dude, they're so fucking tired. <laughs> oh my god. Does anybody in the world have a Jay Alton round five finish ticket? Or a Derek Lewis round five finish ticket? Does anybody? Does anybody? I mean, Derek Lewis isn't quitting. There's definitely no doubt about that. And there's no way Goddard's going to fucking randomly stop the fight at this point. Derek Lewis has worked so hard to get to the fucking fifth round. There's no way that Goddard's going to stop it with pitter-patter bullshit like that. Oh my god, he's going to get the Kimura sweep. Dude, Goddard's like fucking annoyed, I think. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking wild, man. Are the scorecards going to be 50 to 40? But that's not the cloth from which he is cut. I mean, this is basically the Leon fight. This is basically Leon and Usman. Leon was just getting ragdolled. Leon looked like this in his corner. And then he found the knockout. Somebody needs to get in Derek Lewis's face. 
Come on, Rock! Come on, Rock! He's bullying your son! He's bullying your son! Well, come on, then! He's bullying your son! This is the moment. This is not the cloth from which he is cut. Everyone believe in it. Believe in something in your life. Believe in something in your life. Charlton just wanted another little breather there. Punch him right in the face. There you go. There you go, Derek. But that's not the cloth from which he is cut. I mean, this is just like Usman and Leon here. He's walking him down. Oh, he's walking him down. Oh, he missed it. 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 Oh. Everything you got, Derek. Everything you got, Derek. This guy's got the balance of a fucking fairy. Jalton's going to be exhausted right now. Jalton's going to be exhausted right now. Jalton's going to... Don't get him. Don't take him down, Derek. Just separate. Just separate, Derek. He's exhausted. Just separate and fucking throw some shit. Throw some fucking hot, stinky cheese at him. Throw some fucking mustard at him, Derek. Just separate. You had a chance to fucking separate, Derek. Oh, my God. Why didn't he just fucking get out of there and fucking throw some cheese at him? Oh, my God. He could have just got back to space. He wanted... Oh. 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 Jialta by decision was always the play. Staying him up, Doug. For the love of God. Jarrellton's minus 5,000 live odds. Stand him up, Doug. Stand him up, Doug. Stand him up, Doug. Stand him up. Stand him up. Stand him up. Dude, stand him up. I swear to God, stand him up. Stand him up. Stand him up. Stand him up. Dude, if, if Goddard stands him up and then he gets knocked out, Goddard's going to get fucking... He's not going to be safe in Brazil. If he just if he stands him up right now and then Almeida gets knocked out. Stand him up, Goddard. Plenty of warnings. Plenty of warnings, Goddard. He's gonna stand him up. Stand him up. Stand him up. Stand him up. Darius just trying to hold on to hope they can stand him up. You got to stand him up. It's only half guard here. You got to stand him up. A minute left. You got to stand him up. I keep saying Doug, I think, but it's Mark. Mark Goddard, not Doug. Stand him up! He's only in half guard now. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh my God, Derek had one more explosion left in him. He had one more left in him. He had one more left in him. But that's not the cloth from which he is cut.
Geraldton by decision was always the play. What are these scorecards going to be fucking, <laughs> fucking say? My God, this card turned into a fucking disaster. <laughs> Holy shit. Did anybody cash that shit? Did anybody cash that shit? Well, let's see what that, I mean, he didn't do a lot of top, he didn't do a lot with top position. This could be a weird scorecard here. This could be a weird scorecard here. I scored, I had three rounds to two for Derek. I think he did more. I think he did more. I think he did more. Let's see what happens here. This could be the weirdest scorecards. Have we ever had a 50-40 this has got to be 50-40. Right? Is that how that math plays out? Oh my god. Odds for a decision. It was like plus like fucking whatever. Everyone was like, oh my God, the lock of the century. It was minus, what was it? Minus, I think on bet online, it was minus, um, what is he doing with that flag? I think bet online, it was minus, I can't remember. Something, something crazy. Derek Lewis is going to sleep for three weeks. Almeida won five rounds. I was joking, guys. Of course he won five rounds. This I just want to hear these scorecards. It could be 50 fucking... I don't know what these are going to be. I just want to hear these scorecards. Damn, man, there was only one ten eight. I'm surprised there was. I guess he wasn't doing a whole lot with a lot of those positions and stuff. Oh, Jarlton looks fucking refreshed now, huh? There was only one ten eight in there, which is kind of a, kind of a, kind of surprising, to be honest with you. All right, well, there we go. There's another live stream in the books. Uh, no live stream next week. I'll be at Angelo's watching the uh, the fights, hanging out. Um, should be a, it should be a great card next week for sure. Definitely better than fucking whatever this turned into, but I appreciate everyone hanging out, man. Have a good, uh, rest of your weekends. Good, uh, good night and everything. And we'll see you back on, uh, tomorrow or yeah, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're feeling good about it. So, uh, thank you guys, man. And, uh, I'm out of here.